My dad rides my grandmother to school every day. Because my grandmother is a motorcycle. Even various vehicles on the street are transformed by women. It's because in this world women can awaken as mechanical maidens when they come of age. While men awaken as commanders. When men and women are paired together. They can transform into Mecca and conquer all directions. But today, during the awakening ceremony, as a girl walked towards the awakening platform. She transformed into a cool sports car in the next second. She is my girlfriend, Jiang Yuchi. She awakened an A-level race car called the Phantom Transfiguration Spirit. Just as I was happy for her, Jiang Yuchi unexpectedly broke up with me publicly. She said that only an A-level commander is worthy of driving her, and I am not compatible with her, however, the next moment, as I approached the awakening platform. A flash of light passed by, and I directly awakened as an SSS-level commander, possessing the ability to control infinite mecha. This talent allows me to form contracts with countless mecha simultaneously and forcibly pilot mecha that haven't formed contracts yet, turning them into puppets controlled by my psychic power. At this moment, all the teachers and students were shocked, the girls were eager to form contracts with me. Just then, a woman below the awakening platform looked at me excitedly, Su Tian, would you like to form a contract with me? I awakened as an S-level race car called Shock Wave, it's in perfect condition, never test-driven by anyone. She is our school's beautiful teacher, Yang Shani, although she awakened as an S-level four years ago. During this time, she either encountered commanders with low ranks or high-ranked commanders with ill intentions, which resulted in her not forming any contracts. As my teacher, she knows that I treated my ex-girlfriend well. And Jiang Yuchi just broke up with me publicly. So Yang Shani didn't have any concerns. At this moment, my face was filled with astonishment upon hearing her words, after all, in this world, a commander can only form a contract with one mechanical maiden, so, forming a contract is somewhat similar to marriage. It's like Yang Shani was saying to me, let's get married. I agreed. Cheers and excitement filled the air in an instant, countless people were waiting for my answer. But Yang Shani, looking at me with confusion, realized the gap between us, and tears filled her eyes, if you don't want to, it's fine, I won't force you, I'm just not good enough, not deserving of you. Yang Shani, I'm willing, I regained my senses and looked at her with determination. Meanwhile, when Jiang Yuchi learned that I awakened as an SSS level commander, she fainted on the spot. Yang Shani and I entered the contract room. At this moment, Yang Shani bit her lip, her voice choked, do you really agree to form a contract with me? It's a bit unfair to you, I'm not only 4 years older than you, but you are an SSS level commander, while I am just an S level mecha. I comforted her, Yang Shani, age is never a problem for me, you are the most popular goddess teacher in our mecha academy, furthermore, I believe there are no useless mecha, only useless commanders, you just need to trust me a bit more, and we will definitely make it. Upon hearing my words, Yang Shani nodded. In the next second, she transformed directly into vehicle mode, I saw a silver-white race car appear in front of me. Without hesitation, I opened the car door, and a panel appeared before my eyes. It displayed various attribute information about Yang Shani, but when I saw that the condition of the car was 100% brand new, I couldn't help but feel a flutter in my heart. This was the contract signing book that Yang Shani sent me, however, when I saw that it was a temporary contract, my smile instantly froze, why are you giving me a temporary contract? I don't want it. If we're going to sign, let's sign a permanent contract, I said, my smile disappearing. Young Shani explained to me, Su Tian, if you can sign me, I would already be very satisfied, but as an SSS level commander, your future is definitely immeasurable, it would be a waste to spend it on me, listen, sign a temporary contract with me, and I will never leave you. Hearing her words, my head buzzed, after all, in the era of the mechanical maiden, signing a contract was equivalent to marriage. And a temporary contract meant that she would give up her position as a wife and become a concubine following me. At this moment, I displayed my talent information in front of Yang Shani, do you want to take a look at my talent information before deciding on the contract? When she saw my talent for infinite mecha, she asked in astonishment, infinite mecha? Are you able to contract with many mechas at the same time? I nodded, yes. But some people only want to give me a temporary contract, as if she don't really want to become my mecha. Upon hearing this, Yang Shani quickly sent me the permanent contract, as soon as our contract was completed. 
Young Shani transformed back into her human form and hugged me, excitement evident on her face, she sweetly called out, Commander. Seeing this, I was taken aback, but Young Shani laughed at my reaction. What's wrong? We've already completed the contract, shouldn't you call me darling? In that instant, I felt like I had reached heaven, I couldn't believe that I had obtained such a beautiful baby who came with a top-notch racing car. Suddenly, there was an urgent knocking on the door from the awakening room. It was the principal, he anxiously knocked on the door and said to me, Su Tian, you have a bright future, your contracted partner shouldn't just be an S-class race car. You should contract with fighter jets in the sky. Or aircraft carriers in the sea. It shouldn't just be a superficial race car. But when I opened the door and told him that the contract was already signed. The principal instantly became weak all over. Seeing this, I leaned close to his ear and whispered a few words. In the next second, the principal regained his spirit, so that's how it is, no wonder you're an SSS level commander, today, I'll give you two a day off to go out and have fun, just make sure to come to school on time tomorrow, the principal said before leaving. Afterwards, I drove she to the training area in the outskirts. In this world where the Warcraft calamity had struck and numerous steel converted monsters roamed the human world. This place was where Awakeners trained and got rewards. Ten minutes later, I was stopped by security personnel, hello, please show me your mecha code, entering the outskirts training zone requires authentication records for official management, a female security officer said. Young Shani rushed the mech code to the security officer in front of her to check it out. Then a security lady handed me a business card, entering the outskirts training zone for the first time, it is advisable to only engage in battles at the edge of the training zone, the farther away from the edge, the higher the level of the Warcraft encountered, if you encounter any unresolved danger, you can contact us anytime. Upon hearing this, I nodded, after leaving, I looked at the business card in my hand with some confusion, Chen Yen, captain of the Frost team, the contact number for the security personnel was actually a personal number. At this moment, Yang Shani spoke up, I've heard of this Chen Yen, she is the strongest mechanical maiden in this area of the outskirts training zone. She hasn't found a suitable commander yet because she has high demands, I didn't expect her to give you her contact information. Upon hearing this, I felt a little puzzled and asked Yang Shani, Yang Shani, aren't you jealous when other women give me their contact information? Yang Shani explained, I am already satisfied that you can contract with me. After all, you are an SSS level commander, and the military will recruit you sooner or later, your talent makes it impossible for you to only contract with one mecha. I won't become a hindrance to your future, don't give up because of me, otherwise, I would be a sinner in this world. After listening to Yang Shani's words, I was instantly invigorated, I didn't expect that I had underestimated myself, I couldn't help but marvel at the fact that I had obtained such a precious baby. But just at that moment, the radar detection inside the race car suddenly sounded an alarm, Warcraft detected nearby, please respond promptly, commanders. Young Shani immediately transformed into her mech form, shock wave. In the control room, I lightly pressed a button. And a blade instantly popped out from shock wave's left arm. After pressing all the buttons and familiarizing myself with the control methods, I understood them roughly. At this moment, two cheetah-like steel beasts pounced towards Yang Shani. She swiftly dodged to the side. I controlled the central console. In the instant that the mech raised its arm, the blade popped out. The steel cheetah was instantly cut in half, at the same time, I killed the servant-class cheetah and obtained an energy crystal and 10 points. Yang Shani excitedly said to me, it feels so good to fight. The feeling of battle is truly addictive. Su Tian, let's go a little deeper into the training zone, I think my strength can handle even higher level steel war beasts, Yang Shani suggested. I nodded in agreement, but before we had gone far, the radar detection sounded again, battle class warlock mech detected nearby, please respond promptly, commanders. Yang Shani, be careful, I warned. Before I could finish speaking, a pair of sharp steel wolf claws pounced from behind Yang Shani. Although her mech was agile, she couldn't react in time to the sudden attack from behind. Seeing this, I immediately activated the ground state shield, the transparent shield unfolded in front of the mech. Yang Shani also regained her senses at this moment and kicked the steel wolf king. I controlled the blade on the mech's toe and thrust it fiercely into the body of the steel wolf king. Because we killed the battle class steel wolf king this time. I obtained a battle class energy crystal and 100 points. 
At this moment, Yang Shani's voice came tremblingly, luckily, you opened the ground state shield in time, otherwise, I would have been in big trouble. At this moment, my voice became serious, we are currently in the training zone, and there are hidden risks everywhere, we must not let our guard down, or we might not even know how we died. Meanwhile, in the Mech Academy, Principal Guo Hai immediately reported my situation to the Imperial Security Forces upon learning about it. Captain Zhang Lei was also quite shocked. After all, out of all the awakened commanders this year, there were only seven SSS level commanders in the entire Shanghai country. He never expected that one of them was hiding in his jurisdiction. But just then, the phone in his office suddenly rang. Report, Captain Zhang, we have traced two prisoner mechs that escaped from the Mamba prison. It appears that they are heading towards the outskirts of the training zone. Hearing this, Zhang Lei sat up straight and immediately ordered Qin Yen to lead the Frost team to pursue the prisoner mechs and eliminate them if necessary. After hanging up the phone, Zhang Lei's excited expression instantly turned grim. After all, the Mamba prison housed extremely dangerous mechs. If these two prisoner mechs managed to cross the outskirts and enter society, it would undoubtedly cause a major disaster. In the outskirts of the training zone, it only took me two and a half hours to kill all the steel war beasts. Perhaps the scent of blood in the area was too strong, as not a single steel war beast dared to approach me. This led Yang Shani to search for ten minutes in the outskirts without finding even a single ant. After several overwhelming victories, I gradually became familiar with operating the central console and memorized various skill releases. So, we decided to explore deeper into the training zone. But at that moment, the radar system suddenly sounded the alarm, warning, warning. Prisoner mechs detected 1800 meters away, please evacuate immediately. Hearing this, I was curious about what these prisoner mechs were. Young Shani thought for a moment and explained, they are violent mechs, although they are also human, they harbor strong malice towards humanity. I heard they were imprisoned in the deepest part of the outskirts zone. I never expected them to escape. I nodded and asked softly, what level are these prisoner mechs? Do you think we can handle them? Yang Shani was surprised to hear that I had the intention to fight them. Although she had heard that the prisoner mechs in the training zone were violent, their levels were not high due to their proximity to human cities. However, today was the first time they entered the training zone, which made her a bit scared. But my eyes were determined, after all, after two and a half hours of continuous battles, both my reaction speed and skill accuracy were impeccable. Now that I finally encountered opponents with similar strength, there was no better time to face them. In the next second, I controlled shock wave to transform into a red lightning and charged towards the red dot on the radar. Meanwhile, Chen Yan's frost team was desperately trying to escape towards the outskirts. Nevertheless, the two prisoner mechs quickly caught up. At this moment, Chen Yan was almost filled with despair, although she was an S-class mech herself, without a contracted commander, she couldn't fully unleash her true potential. This made her feel a sense of regret, just as Chen Yan was preparing to face death. Suddenly, a mech surrounded by red lightning dashed towards the two rows of prisoner mechs. Seeing this, Chen Yan desperately shouted at me, those are prisoner mechs, don't go there, come back quickly. But at that moment, I activated the ground state shield and thrusters. Shock wave instantly lit up with a transparent energy shield. And with the assistance of the thrusters, its speed became too fast for the naked eye to see. The prisoner mechs immediately opened fire, and the bullets with explosive effects came towards shock wave. I increased the power of the thrusters and swiftly maneuvered around the bullets. While leveraging the inertia, the blade on Shockwave's right arm popped out and fiercely slashed across the neck of the prisoner mech, heaven cleaving strike. Before the prisoner mech could react, its steel head was directly severed by me. At that moment, the members of the Frost team were left in awe. Chen Yan immediately shouted, all members, hurry up and support. But at this moment, the other prisoner mech, seeing its companion being killed, was completely enraged, energy projectiles were fired towards me. Through my precise control, I evaded all the projectiles. However, the servant-class steel war beast mechs on the outskirts, which had regained their senses, surrounded shock wave. With both internal and external attacks, I maximized the thrusters. And shock wave flew directly above the prisoner mech's head. The prisoner mech sneered, thinking that my shock wave excelled in close combat. But in the next second, the prisoner mech looked at me in horror. 
Behind shock wave, two cannons slowly rose, the quantum pursuit cannons, as dozens of energy projectiles were fired. The prisoner mech was instantly reduced to a pile of debris. Then, I chased and killed the fleeing steel war beast. At this moment, Chen Yen and the Frost team finally arrived at the scene, seeing the brutal battle, everyone marveled at the power of their commander. Chen Yan's icy heart began to melt at that moment. However, when she realized that I had already formed the contract, her heart sank once again. After returning to the base, Chen Yan immediately reported the situation to Zhang Lei. A powerful commander arrived at the outskirts training zone today, he single-handedly annihilated two prisoner mechs. Zhang Lei's mind stirred, and the face of a person appeared in his mind, what's his name? Chen Yan spoke again, his name is Su Tian, he contracted an S-class warframe called Shock Wave, I speculate that his level is at least above S-class. Upon hearing this, Zhang Lei couldn't help but smile, I know him, he is an SSS class commander, Chen Yan, you haven't formed a contract with a commander all these years because you have high standards. But today, in his first battle after forming a contract, he was able to annihilate two prisoner mechs. You can imagine his limitless potential in the future, you must seize this opportunity. But Chen Yan's voice sounded desolate, it's too late, he already has a contracted warframe, and it's not inferior to mine at all, I have no chance. Upon hearing this, Zhang Lei burst into laughter, let me tell you a secret, his commander talent is infinite mechs, which allows him to form contracts with countless warframes, so, do you still think you have no chance? Upon hearing this, she stood still in place. At the same time, in the outskirts training zone, after Yang Shani and I killed the last steel beast, the battle came to an end. We had been fighting in the training zone for over two hours, and our stamina was greatly depleted. Fortunately, we obtained a lot of rewards. Yang Shani, who had transformed into her human form, had a golden glint in her eyes, darling, you were amazing. The taste of battle is truly exhilarating. I smiled at her and asked, is that enough for you? Today is our wedding day. Hearing this, Yang Shani's face instantly turned red, and she quickly transformed into her race car form and headed straight home. After having dinner and taking a shower that night. The next day I was awakened by the sound of my phone ringing, when I opened it, I saw a post on the school forum titled, Su Tian, come out and accept the challenge. It had been pushed to the top of the trending list. The one who issued the challenge was my ex-girlfriend, Jiang Yuchi, when I saw that her commander rank was A-level. I couldn't help but sneer, even the terrifying prisoner mech didn't faze me. How could an A-level commander dare to be so arrogant? Meanwhile, in the security forces, Zhang Lei was listening to Qin Yan as she explained my battle report from the previous day. After reconstructing the data, we determined that Shock Wave's firepower was over 5,000, and its overall combat power was around 15,000. Zhang Lei, upon hearing this, stood up abruptly and snatched the data report, even a four-star mech wouldn't have such high overall combat power, right? Shock Wave is just a level 1 mech, it shouldn't have such formidable combat strength, he said with surprise. Chen Yen sighed and replied, I don't believe it either, but I calculated it many times last night, and it was always 15,000, so, the data is correct. Zhang Lei had thought about the terror of an SSS level commander, but he never expected it to be this horrifying. He looked at Chen Yen with a serious expression and said, Chen Yen, the national battle will begin next month. Last year, you only achieved a poor ranking in the individual competition because you didn't have a contracted commander. If you want to achieve a better ranking this year, Su Tian will be your best choice. Think about it carefully, in the afternoon, we went to the Mecca Academy. Zhang Lei's words struck a chord in Chen Yan's heart. After 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I arrived at the school, and as soon as the students saw me, they started making noise. At that moment Tian Hu, the commander of my ex-girlfriend, stood up and said, I thought you were scared and wouldn't dare to come to the school, after hiding all morning, you finally show up. Just as I was about to speak, a cold voice sounded from outside the door, if you want to fight, then let's fight, why so much nonsense? It was Chen Yen, seeing this, I was completely taken aback. But when I saw Tian Hu's gaze shifting towards Chen Yen, I took a step forward and stood in front of her. All right, stop staring. How do you want to fight? Let's go to the Mecha Combat Arena, I said, Tian who finished his sentence and walked towards the door. As we made our way to the Combat Arena, I quietly asked, Chen Yen, why did you come? 
Chen Yan explained expressionlessly, I came to visit you during the break and happened to see you being challenged, I thought I'd help you. Hearing this, I couldn't help but sigh at her indifference, but I already have a contracted mech, didn't you see it? I shrugged helplessly. Upon seeing this, Chen Yan rolled her eyes and said, I know your talent, this move is useless against me, I can temporarily form a contract with you, if you are satisfied with my performance, can you become my commander? I awkwardly scratched my head and replied, I need to discuss this with Yang Shani before making a decision, after all, I just finished my wedding night yesterday, I'm not the type to quickly get bored. Meanwhile, Tian who stood on the battlefield and shouted, let's have a fight, if you lose, you and Jiang Yuqi will kneel down to me. Hearing this, I couldn't help but laugh, I wondered where he got the courage from, since that's the case, let's do it. As soon as I finished speaking, Chen Yan transformed directly into an S-Class race car, the Icelandic Phoenix, the moment the vehicle appeared, I felt a drop in temperature around me. Another top-tier S-Class race car, the students who were spectating were amazed and couldn't close their mouths. At the same time, the principal and Captain Zhang Lei arrived at the scene. Tian who arrogantly said, so what if it's an S-Class race car? Watch how I trample you under my feet. Jiang Yuqi also transformed into a blue and pink gradient race car, while he simply opened the car door and sat inside. As I entered the race car, Chen Yan sent me a temporary contract. However, instead of reading it, I chose to forcefully log in. Chen Yan's information appeared before my eyes. Compared to Shock Wave, her Icelandic Phoenix was slightly slower in terms of speed. But the materials used in the car's construction were high-end, providing better protection, I was satisfied with both the appearance and condition of the vehicle. As soon as I logged into the mechanical maiden system, Chen Yan instantly transformed into her mech form, ready to fight. Tian Hu and Jiang Yuqi also prepared for battle. Tian Hu, operating the control panel, commanded Jiang Yuqi to charge forward. I stepped on the accelerator of the Icelandic Phoenix and also charged ahead. But when Tian who saw me coming, fear filled his heart. After all, the imposing aura emitted by my 3-meter-tall S-class mech was not something his 1.9-meter-tall A-class mech could compare to. He felt as if a massive blade was hanging over his neck, ready to decapitate him with a single movement. Just as Tian who began to falter, his phantom transfiguration spirit, which he was seated on, transformed from mech mode into race car mode. This happened because the commander did not provide enough energy to the mech, causing the mechanical maiden to be unable to maintain its mech mode. The principal, Gua Hai, furrowed his brows, in theory, in just a few minutes, an A-class commander's abilities should not be limited to this. Upon hearing the explanation from the security team captain, Zhang Lei, he had a breakdown and the energy core was affected, unable to continuously provide energy to the mechanical maiden. Many soldiers on the battlefield had perished due to this issue, causing both the mech and the commander to fall, this commander will likely have a difficult future ahead. Zhang Lei shook his head slightly, clearly disappointed in this challenge. I looked puzzled, did it already end before it even began? At this moment Tian who was trembling with fear because of the murderous aura Chen Yan had just released. Jiang Yuqi, on the other hand, was still not giving up, he angrily said, you may have won this time but you only have an S-class mech, show some guts and challenge me with a mech of the same level next time. I rolled my eyes in response, I'm afraid your commander will wet his pants if I scare him again, stay away from me and stop wasting my time. With that, I left the arena with Chen Yen. Zhang Lei, witnessing the scene, was extremely pleased, truly a perfect couple, he thought. Soon, I brought Chen Yen to Yang Shani's office. She had come this time to form a contract with me. However, since I had just formed a contract with Yang Shani yesterday, I needed to discuss it with her. But when Yang Shani opened the door and saw Chen Yen standing there, she looked puzzled, Chen Yen, why are you here at our school? I came to form a contract with Su Tian to be my commander, Chen Yen replied coldly. Hearing this, Yang Shani's smile became a bit stiff, in fact, from the moment she formed a contract with me, Yang Shani had already made her choice. After all, it was an honor for them to form a contract with an SSS class commander like me. She spoke up, actually, when you handed him your private business card yesterday, I was already prepared for you to become his mech, I just didn't expect it to happen so soon. But you don't have to worry about me, as long as Su Tian agrees, I have no objections, Chen Yen was relieved to hear this, she turned to me and said, then let's form the contract. 
I nodded, and Chen Yan instantly transformed into her vehicle form, the all-blue Icelandic phoenix appeared in front of me once again. After getting on board, Chen Yan handed me the contract, with a beep, the contract was officially completed. Then, I led Chen Yan and Yang Shani back home together. The next day, Zhang Lei brought me to his office, Zhang Lei looked at me and asked, do you have any thoughts about joining the military? I wasn't too surprised to hear this, after all, as an SSS class commander, I was equivalent to a military force on the battlefield and could even change the course of a battle. But I was only a one-star SSS class commander, my rank was too low, and I probably wouldn't have much impact if I joined the military, right? Zhang Lei shook his head in response to my words, if you really couldn't make much of an impact. Then how did your mech, shock wave, have a comprehensive combat power of 15,000 as a one-star warframe? That's almost equivalent to a four-star warframe. I scratched my head, unsure of what to say. Seeing this, Zhang Lei let out a sigh, in a few months, the military will have a national tournament, I heard that this year's rewards are particularly generous, especially for the champion. There are several high-level accessories and a large amount of energy crystals. Unfortunately, as a non-military personnel, you can't participate. My eyes lit up instantly, and I immediately chose to join the military. Zhang Lei stood up abruptly and burst into laughter, good. Truly someone with courage, just as I expected. He took out a file from the drawer, considering your exceptional performance in the outskirts training zone special mission, where you single-handedly killed two two-star prisoner mechs and defended the safety of the human survival area, I hereby award you the Tiger Medal. In addition, you have the highest privilege in the Imperial Capital Security Force and can freely enter and exit any area of the capital. At the same time, the security force has identified you as a key development target and will provide maximum protection for you. Lastly, as a token of appreciation for your cultivation, you are rewarded with 1 billion Shanghai coins. Zhang Lei slowly restrained his smile and said to me, Su Tian, besides the national competition, I have another favor to ask of you, I want to introduce my daughter to you. Upon hearing this, I was momentarily stunned. But when Zhang Lei saw my expression, he became somewhat annoyed, what's with that expression? You look down on my daughter. My daughter is an SS-level nuclear submarine, if it weren't for her support for nuclear energy, she wouldn't have been forced to become a mech technician. Moreover, she is tall, well-built, and beautiful, it's to your advantage to form a contract with her, are you still not satisfied with her? I quickly explained, Uncle Zhang, I don't mean to be rude, what I mean is that it's useless for us to talk about this now, I am willing, but what if your daughter doesn't like me when we meet? Let's discuss the next steps after we meet and if she is also satisfied with me. Zhang Lei's tense face slowly relaxed, if you really end up forming a contract with her, you must treat her well. You hear me? Before he could finish his sentence, Chen Yan's walkie-talkie suddenly rang. Calling Chen Yan, there is a riot in the outskirts training zone, we are doing our best to resist, but we won't be able to hold on much longer. Chen Yan quickly stood up from her chair, and Zhang Lei's face instantly darkened. Chen Yan, leave now and head to the outskirts training zone at the fastest speed, we must hold back this iron torrent and not let it break through our last line of defense. I quickly got up and followed suit. Although there would be a large number of steel behemoths attacking during the iron torrent, it was a great opportunity for me to kill monsters and earn rewards, how could I miss it? As we approached the outskirts training zone in my shock wave, the radar inside the vehicle started sounding urgent alarms. Warning. Warning. Large numbers of steel behemoths detected two kilometers away, please evacuate immediately. Ignoring the warning, I drove my shock wave towards the iron torrent. Meanwhile, at the edge of the human world, Chen Yan looked at the mass of steel behemoths with a furrowed brow. Because many flying monsters appeared here. Only the mechanical maidens equipped with thrusters or the combat aircraft type mechanical maidens capable of flight could engage in battle. There was not a single flying mechanical maiden in the frostbite squad. Just as she thought that they wouldn't be able to hold back the iron torrent, my voice suddenly came through. Chen Yen, you go organize manpower to face the next wave of the iron torrent, leave the first wave to me. I swiftly drove shock wave, disappearing in front of Chen Yen. Without delay, Chen Yan hurriedly rushed towards the frostbite squad. By the time I arrived at the heart of the battlefield, it was already a scene of devastation. The ground was littered with the remains of mechs, with steel fragments scattered everywhere, there were colossal steel war beasts as well as mechanical maidens. 
I glanced down at the radar scanner inside the vehicle and saw numerous glowing red dots within a radius of kilometers. Not only were the ground covered with steel war beast, but the sky was also filled with massive dragons. I transformed the rotor doors on the back of Shockwave into wings and, aided by the thrusters, flew directly at high speed to the top of the steel dragon's head. Although these steel dragons appeared powerful, they were nothing more than a group of servant-class beasts. I easily disposed of them without exerting too much effort, the more I killed, the more intense my killing intent became. However, the security personnel on the ground suffered, it was raining dragon corpses from the sky. They had to fight while avoiding being crushed by the falling dragon bodies. The ground battlefield was filled with angry shouts from the security personnel. Just then, the leading steel dragon realized that there was an anomaly among them, it roared angrily towards the sky, and all the dragons instantly looked at me. The radar inside shock wave sounded an alarm, detecting the presence of a battle-class warlock mech nearby, commander, be prepared, we're about to engage. Very well, my quantum pursuit cannon is ready to go. Yang Shani's voice came from inside the mech. With the continued acceleration of the thrusters, shock wave flew towards the steel dragon, after beheading one servant-class steel dragon after another. The leading battle-class steel dragon flew towards me in a fit of rage. Seeing this, I slowly raised the cannon barrel behind shock wave, aiming at the charging battle-class steel dragon, quantum pursuit cannon locked on. Fire. Dozens of shells were launched, pounding the battle-class steel dragon. Its 10-meter-long wings were instantly blasted to pieces, and its steel-like body was riddled with craters, the battle-class steel dragon was killed by me in an instant, falling towards the ground. I turned my gaze to the large number of steel dragons not far away, smiling like a savior as I headed towards them. On the ground, after Chen Yen dealt with the servant-class beasts that had emerged, she turned her head towards the depths of the training zone to provide support. At this moment, Zhang Ying Luo, the captain of the Tiger Squad, gasped for breath and said, Chen Yen, you've come just in time, we can barely hold on any longer, there are simply too many steel war beasts. We kill one group and another comes, seeing this, Chen Yen asked, where is your commander? Our squad's commander is away for training today, otherwise, we wouldn't have ended up like this, unable to perform at our full strength, Zhang Ying Luo replied, sounding somewhat exhausted. The stored energy was almost depleted, and she could barely maintain her mech form. Chen Yan quickly contacted me through the mechanical maiden system, Su Tian, I remember you can forcibly log into mechs without commanders, how many mechs can you forcibly log into at most? At this moment, I was engaged in a fierce battle with the steel dragon in the sky when I heard Chen Yan's voice, and I was momentarily stunned. I quickly replied, I don't know, I haven't calculated it specifically. Chen Yen anxiously said, can you please try? The Tiger Squad on the ground has a total of 13 members, including 1S-class mech, 5A-class mechs, and 7B-class mechs. However, their commanders are all away for training, which greatly diminishes their strength, please see if you can force a landing, otherwise, we might lose the ground. Upon sensing my current condition, I immediately agreed, as I initiated the forced landing, electronic sounds echoed in my mind. It detected a total of 13 mechs that could be forcibly accessed in the vicinity. I took a deep breath and prepared myself as I simultaneously initiated the login process, soon a notification of successful login sounded. Congratulations, you have successfully accessed the S-Class tank by force. Congratulations, you have successfully accessed the S-Class heavy truck by force. Instantly, I felt that half of my mental power was drained, and the rotational speed of the energy core tripled, fortunately, all the mechs were able to maintain stable power supply. Information about the 13 mechs was projected in front of me, leaving me speechless with astonishment. However, my mental power was still too weak to manage them simultaneously. Thankfully, I only needed to provide them with enough energy and let them move on their own. The members of the Tiger Squad on the ground were on the verge of collapse, suddenly, they felt a surge of power coursing through their body, before they could even think about the reason. A group of Iron Beasts attacked, another battle began, the fight lasted for 10 minutes and Zhang Lei finally arrived with the reinforcements. With the addition of long-range weapons, the mechanical maidens on the ground were visibly relieved. Zhang Lei looked at the significantly reduced red dots on the radar and couldn't help but think of the worst-case scenario. Could the Iron Torrent be advancing towards the city? If this continued, a larger-scale battle would likely ensue. 
Captain, we have detected a crimson mech engaged in a battle with the steel dragon in the high sky, it has already taken down more than half of them. Zhang Lei heard this and instantly thought of me, he couldn't help but sigh, impressed by the person he had set his eyes on, as I had truly turned the tide of the battle. In the other part of the sky, I controlled the 13 mechs that I had forcibly accessed, along with Yang Shani, although there was no shortage of energy, my mental power was indeed struggling. The tiger squad, fueled by abundant energy, was filled with enthusiasm. At this moment, as I watched the diminishing numbers of steel dragons in the sky, I sighed deeply, just hold on a little longer and we can eliminate them all. But just then, the radar by my side sounded another warning, warning, warning. Warlord class war beast mech detected 500 meters away, please evacuate immediately. What? Su Tian was about to spit out a mouthful of ancient blood, with a frown on his face, Su Tian rode the shock wave and killed the monsters even more forcefully, the war general level magical beasts haven't gotten too close yet, but the slave level dragon in front of him isn't afraid of death and is charging forward, I don't know what the deepest part of the far outskirts of the leveling area was like. How could there be so many steel beasts, however, since it was impossible to detect with human strength, no one knew what was actually inside, it was still impossible to see the deeper parts of the far suburb even though high technology was extremely advanced and satellite detection technology had reached its peak, it was as if there was an invisible substance interfering with the image. And there was no way to know whether these steel giants wanted to attack the city on their own, or whether they were organized and planned to invade the human world, all that was known was that whether it was these steel giants or the humans who entered the deepest part of the farthest reaches of the leveling area, they would all end up receiving a mysterious power, this power would make them powerful, but it would also infect their minds and spirits, most of the extremely evil mechs imprisoned. In the Mamba prison had suddenly become antisocial personalities and inexplicably powerful after coming in contact with the deepest part of the training ground, however, the desire to explore all of this was an afterthought, in the blink of an eye, a dozen more steel dragons clattered down from the sky. The blades on Shockwave's arms all popped out, and under the acceleration of the engines, Shockwave literally flew between the giants like a fish swimming in water easily decapitating a giant dragon every time it hit, however, the giant dragons whose numbers had already plummeted, joined by the vanguard of the war general wraith, attacked again as if they had returned a mouthful of blood, Su Tian controlled Shockwave's arms, slashing at them one by one, obviously unable to keep up with them. Pace. In an instant, the two large cannons behind Shockwave rose up again, suddenly, quantum mortars were fired, the silver-white energy shells hit a group of steel giants, and the exploding light instantly lit up the dark sky, the flying sparks were like a celebration, the hot air felt like it wanted to burn everything clean, the flesh under the steel armor gave off a strong aroma of roasted flesh, and then turned charred, red. The sky was filled with red. The red of sparks, the red of blood. Shot after shot of energy cannonballs sprayed out, and one steel dragon after another crashed to the ground, in just three minutes, the barrel of the energy cannon slowly retracted, the intensity was simply too much, even though Su Tian's energy core had tripled its rotational speed, such a high intensity energy output still gave Su Tian a feeling of energy depletion, fortunately, the minion class steel dragons had also fallen under the high intensity bombardment, as he watched the war admiral. Grade steel dragons slowly fly towards them, Su Tian huffed and puffed as he breathed heavily, Yang Shani saved the portion of energy that Su Tian had just wasted during his massive energy output and slowly returned it to him, for a moment, Su Tian's energy core that was about to be depleted was instantly surrounded by a warm and moist feeling, as a result, even Su Tian's breathing weakened a bit. As for the warlord class steel dragon, it flew calmly as if waiting for Su Tian to recover, only flapping its wings once every few seconds. Su Tian narrowed his eyes and floated in the air, spitting with his waist crossed, can you fucking fly a little faster and be as slow as a pussy, as if it understood Su Tian's words, the war general class steel dragon instantly raised its head and stared at Su Tian with its eyes fixed on him, its tens of meters long wings flapping violently as it instantly soared towards Su Tian, for a moment, the sky was filled with fierce winds and a huge amount of energy swept towards Su Tian, that was to 
Say, the sky was killed by Su Tian to the point where nothing was left, otherwise, I am afraid that it would be like a tornado, more or less sweeping everyone away, meanwhile, on the ground Zhang Lei was always worried about Su Tian's situation in the sky, the vice presidents who were in charge of watching the sky always relayed the first-hand information to Zhang Lei, oh no, the shock wave is surrounded, Captain Zhang, do you need support? Send reinforcements. Hang in there. Shock wave has cut through the enemy one by one and is breaking out of the encirclement. It's okay. A bunch of dragons just flew over and shock wave is surrounded again. Shock wave has turned on the quantum chaser cannon and taken out all the dragons. Don't scare me. Zhang Lei glared at the maintenance team, his mood was like riding a roller coaster, going up and down, up and down, it was almost disorganized, just as he exhaled and relaxed, the voice of the maintenance man rang out again, it's over, Captain Zhang, he's surrounded again, don't worry, he'll come out in a while, after hearing the story of the wolf coming too many times, people would really think that the wolf wouldn't come, so much so that Zhang Lei even wants to make a cup of tea and wait. For Su Tian's good news. Captain Zhang. A War Admiral class steel dragon has flown in. Shock wave is trembling and looks a bit shaky. What is it, a War Admiral, how could a Warlord class beast appear at the edge of the leveling area, did you see it right, Zhang Lei violently grabbed the binoculars and looked at the tens of meters of wingspan, his entire body went numb, where are the fighters, why haven't the fighters arrived yet, and at that moment, Su Tian's almost depleted energy core, which had been fed back by Yang Shani, slowly filled up. The energy core was running at triple speed and under Su Tian's breath. Strings of energy were slowly forming, the battle on the ground had almost subsided, and all 13 of Su Tian's forced landings had stopped fighting at this moment, Su Tian glanced at the ground and left the 13 machine systems. For a moment, Yang Shani also felt that the strength he had just lost was finally beginning to recover, the desire to fight was rising once again, as if sensing Su Tian's desire to fight, the Battle Admiral class steel dragon that was speeding across the street snorted disdainfully, it was hard to believe that with his physical body, he still wanted to fight with his steel body, it was just an egg touching a stone, not measuring itself. Immediately, the speed of the Battle General level steel dragon's flight accelerated a bit more, eager to eat Su Tian alive, on the dragon's chest, the steel shield slowly opened, and two cannon barrels slowly extended from inside, in less than half a minute, the two cannons were aimed directly at the shock wave in the air, it even had cannons. Su Tian frowned, a bit surprised that the steel beast could also use weapons, Su Tian frowned, a bit surprised that the steel beast could also use weapons, it looks like this cannon is a laser cannon, and its speed is comparable to the speed of light. Mr. Young, it looks like we have to use it, are you ready? Of course, after watching us fight for so long, I'm sure it's already hungry and thirsty. In an instant under Su Tian's maneuvering, the engines behind the shock wave were directly turned up to maximum, in the blink of an eye, the shock wave flew up to higher altitudes, this battle general class steel dragon only thought that Su Tian was afraid, and the smile on the corner of its mouth became even more contemptuous, with a flutter of its wings, it followed closely. The war soldier class dragon and the minion class dragon behind it followed even closer, chasing after Su Tian in. Unison, at this height, it should be about right, right, almost, after flying up for a thousand meters, Su Tian slowly stopped, squinting his eyes, Su Tian looked at the dragons beneath his feet and took a deep breath. Just as the giant dragons were about to catch up, Su Tian maneuvered his shock wave and shouted angrily, great move, red flame cross slash. In an instant, the sky and earth changed color, the dark sky was illuminated by firelight, and thick and long lightning bolts filled the entire sky as if they had exploded, immediately after that, the sound of rumbling thunder exploded in their ears, feeling the intense energy fluctuations in the air, the face of the War Admiral class dragon changed drastically, just as the laser cannon was about to fire. The shock wave raised its arm and powerfully drew a cross in the air, using its arm as a 
sword, the cross and the void instantly transformed into a solid body, burning with a blazing fire and containing a gust of thunderous intent, accompanied by the electricity crackling through the air, it whistled towards the war general class steel dragon, not waiting for the laser cannon on the dragon's chest to fire, not waiting for the dragon to turn and flee. In an instant, not only the war general class steel dragons, but also the closely following war soldier class dragons and slave class dragons all turned into a cloud of black smoke at the same time, even the thick steel armor was actually melted and sublimated, turning into gas and dissipating into the air, red flame crucifixion, the commander can perform a slash in conjunction with a contracted mecha, this increases the power of the slash by 100%, red flame cross slash, if you don't use it, it will destroy the sky and the earth. Kill a Warlord Class Steel Dragon, Reward, Grade B Laser Cannon, Warlord Class Crystal, Points Increased by 500 by 1 Holy Shit, Grade B Laser Cannon. It's not a fragment. It's a real B-Class equipment. If you bought it with points, how many points would you have to spend? As soon as Su Tian heard the announcement of the rewards, the feeling of being drained from his mind immediately hit him, and Su Tian fainted on the ground, the mighty Tiger Squad members in the middle of the battlefield slowly rose from the ground, as they felt the temperature of the air rise dramatically, the scorching heat actually made their throats dry a bit, Captain, what just happened, how did such a big explosion sound? And this temperature, how did it suddenly become so hot, just now? A male voice suddenly appeared in my mind, telling me to get down. Me too. Yes, is this the man who just forcefully landed on us during the battle, faced with a whole bunch of questions from her teammates Zhang Ying Luo was also confused at this moment, just now, a clear male voice came out of her mind, telling her to get down, Zhang Ying Luo didn't even think twice about drilling directly into the gap where the steel behemoth was piled up, based on the principle that soldiers would obey and follow orders. As a result, the next second, a loud explosion was heard, and the temperature of the air instantly became scorching hot, Zhang Ying Luo couldn't help but look up at the sky, at that small dot glowing with red light, could it be him, and Zhang Lei's side, one second, Zhang Lei had just found a fighter and was about to fly it up to support Su Tian, who knew, the next second, a loud bang was heard from the sky, followed by sparks flying in the air, Zhang Lei's heart was beating wildly, Zhang Lei's. Heart is beating wildly, until the fire dispersed, the maintenance team next to the good news, Zhang Lei's heart just fell to the ground, Captain, the battle general level steel dragon was killed by Su Tian in a single move, not only the battle general level steel dragon, but also all of the magical beasts in the sky, all of them turned into a cloud of smoke and disappeared. Zhang Lei, who was looking at the sky above the battlefield from afar, could not help but stare, extinguished, turned into a puff of smoke and disappeared, what did you say, captain, it's true, I don't know what skill shock wave used, but all the iron devils were melted, he even flew almost a thousand meters high, as if he was afraid of hitting the ground, the maintenance team members were so surprised that their jaws almost fell to the ground, they stuttered and reported the situation to. Zhang Lei, Zhang Lei looked at the sky with a smile on his face, Zhang Lei looked at the sky with a smile on his face and couldn't help but spit out a sentence, ten minutes later, Yang Shani used almost all of the energy in his body to try his best to return to the ground safely as the shock wave slowly descended from the sky, fortunately, Su Tian usually provided an abundance of energy, so she was able to save one point of energy for herself to save her life. Otherwise, I'm afraid that even if they defeated those steel giants, they would still have to fall down from a thousand meters above the ground, by then, I'm afraid they would really be shattered into pieces of cinder, at the same time, all the maintenance crews on the ground were waiting for the shock wave to land, to the greatest hero of this war, the noblest salute, Yang Shani, who had exhausted his last ounce of energy, couldn't hold on any longer and collapsed to the ground just as. Everyone was clapping and welcoming the hero's return, in an instant, the shock wave transformed into two people, after Su Tian, Yang Shani also fainted when he hit the ground, Qin Yan rushed forward to hold them up, and Zhang Lei also rushed over at that moment, someone, hurry up and send them to Zhang Yinqing, she's the best mech repairer, she understands. 
Three days later after three whole days of fainting, Su Tian finally woke up a bit, in fact, what consumed him the most in this battle was not his almost depleted energy core, rather, it was his spiritual energy. From the moment he forcefully landed on those 13 mechs, Su Tian's spiritual energy had already been largely depleted, and his head was already experiencing a bit of uncontrollable dull pain. As a result, when he finally unleashed the red flame cross slash, that was the actual moment when his spiritual energy was almost completely depleted, and the small amount of energy he had managed to build up was also completely depleted, it took three days for Su Tian's spiritual energy to replenish a bit, and the headache disappeared, open your eyes when you wake up, you've been sleeping for three days, it's time to get up, a bright voice rang in his ears, and Su Tian, who had his eyes closed, frowned. Then he slowly opened his eyes, after three days of not opening his eyes, the light coming in from the window made Su Tian's vision a little blurry, and he blinked for a long time before he adjusted to the brightness, the girl in front of him had a curvaceous figure, with a faint smile on her face, her long ink-colored hair draped like a waterfall behind her, and she looked about the same age as him. A long white dress made her look out of place in this room of parks, but that feeling of reserve and innocence made Su Tian slightly stunned, where is this? This is my care room, my father said that he asked me to make sure that you two get healed, I have never seen him in such a rush, your father, yes, my father Zhang Lei, I am his daughter Zhang Yinqing, isn't that his future girlfriend that he hasn't met yet, Su Tian sat up violently, and in an instant, an intense pain hit him, and Su Tian's just straightened waist instantly bent back. Be careful. Why are you so excited, you've just overexerted your body, and even though you've had a three-day respite, the pain and weakness after a violent overexertion will still last for a few days, Zhang Yinqing rushed forward to support Su Tian, letting him lie flat on the bed, it's better to take it slow, he's even chest up now and lifting his head hurts, let alone chasing after women, I didn't expect that this time. He had used up all his spiritual strength and energy, but his body was overtaxed. To such an extent, overdrawn, right. Where is Ms. Yang? How is Mississippi Yang? I fainted in heaven, is she okay? Su Tian only remembered this at this time, at that time, he hadn't left himself a single ounce of room to maneuver in order to completely kill the battle level dragon and the gang of minions behind it, he hadn't left himself a single ounce of spiritual power and energy, at that time. The situation was so urgent that he didn't have time to think about what would happen to Yang Shani, and it wasn't until he came back to life that he realized this problem. Don't worry, she's just like you, she's not injured per se, it's just that the strain was too drastic and she fell into a deep sleep, but she woke up yesterday, she should be back at school by now, needless to say, she is really powerful, more than a thousand feet up, she even after the leader fell unconscious, there is still enough energy to support her to land, can gather so much energy. You must have been contracted for a very long period, Zhang Yanqing stroked his chin and faintly said, no. No, I've only awakened as a commander this year, and she's never contracted a commander before, we've only been contracted for less than a week, upon hearing the news that Yang Shani was fine, Su Tian's lifted heart slowly fell to the ground, as Yang Shani's beautiful face appeared in his mind, Su Tian couldn't help but feel a softness in his heart. What? It's only been a week, impossible then it's unbelievable that she could accumulate so much energy, Su Tian pursed his lips in a smile and didn't say anything more on the subject, after going through this, he couldn't wait to see Yang Shani now and just wanted to hurry back to Yang Shani's side, this, I'm not injured anyway, can I go now, yes, but are you sure you can get up now, the overload is so severe, I suggest you rest for another day, no matter, I'll just go back and recuperate, then I'll leave first, Su Tian slowly got up from the bed, ignoring the discomfort all over his body, and walked towards the door, Su Tian slowly got up from the bed and walked towards the door, enduring his discomfort. I heard my father say, you've made a great achievement this time, he will report it to you, your privileges should still be increased, three days later, come back to me, I will take you there, okay, thank you. After saying that, Su Tian turned around and left Zhang Yanqing's maintenance room, after leaving the maintenance room, Su Tian called Yang Shani, honey, I'm awake, come pick me up, it's time to make up for tonight. 
Young Shani, who was on the other side of the phone, shouted vehemently and then reddened her face, wait for me at the VPF then, I'll go get dressed and come over to you, what style do you like? Young Shani had just returned to her apartment from school, and when she received Su Tian's call, she was a bit overjoyed and fumbled around in her closet, I just like you a pair of dainty and charming pure desire wine, usually how to wear. How to wear, Su Tian this cannot lie, Yang Shani herself is. The golden ratio, the legs long amazing, wearing a small skirt, just let Su Tian heart, three days have passed in a flash, under Yang Shani's day and night care, Su Tian's body had basically returned to its pre-battle state. After sorting out the harvest from the wave in the far outskirts of the leveling area, Su Tian was practically jumping up and down with joy, although this battle had indeed made the past two days worse than death for him, the joy of the harvest was simply overwhelming, a total of 236 slave class iron dragons, 32 soldier class iron dragons, and one general class iron dragon were killed. A total of 6, 560 points were gained, plus the remaining 984 from before, for a total of 7, 544, a total of 236. Slave class crystals, 32 soldier class energy crystals, and one general class energy crystal were obtained, Su Tian didn't think too much about it, and used the obtained crystals directly on Yang Shani, after the successful upgrade the red flame cross slash was upgraded to level 2, the energy release distance was increased to 200 meters, and the total combat power was increased by 3, 0, 0, 0. Even though the skill level was increased, Su Tian did not try to test the damage of the move because it was not allowed to release the move inside the city, from the looks of it, he could only test the power of Red Flame Crosscut the next time he went to the far outskirts of the leveling area. After seeing young Shani off to work, Su Tian was also ready to go to the maintenance unit, however, Su Tian could only take the bus to the maintenance unit because young Shani did not accompany him today and did not have a car to drive, on the road, there was an endless stream of cars, bicycles, and motorcycles of all kinds, of course, the transportation vehicles coming and going were all machine girls. In the society of the machine girl era, not a single vehicle was made by humans, all of. Them were machine girls, no matter how much money one had, there was no way to buy one, unless you got a contract, in front of Su Tian, brakes sounded and a bus stopped, there weren't many people on the bus, after all, it was a weekday and there weren't many people around at this time of day, Su Tian found a window seat and sat down, his gaze couldn't help but look out the window, the city was full of skyscrapers. But these houses were not made of concrete bricks wrapped in steel, after all. This was a world where magical beasts had descended, and no one could predict and the city would be swept away by war. So here, whether it was a large 20 or 30 story skyscraper or a small 5 or 6 story house, the materials used were basically steel alloys, the outside of the house was coated with heat insulation, sound insulation, cushioning, and various other protective materials, which were not only solid and strong, but also warm in the winter and cool in the summer, making it comfortable to live in. The bus shook. Su Tian in the bumps cannot help but sleepy, slowly closed his eyes, at this moment, the bus slammed on the brakes, Su Tian's whole body uncontrollably towards the front of the jump over, luckily, he was not asleep, so he hastily grabbed the handrail beside him, the bus just stopped, suddenly a violent crash sounded, and then the whole bus fell down and flipped over, fuck, what the hell is tailgating, tailgating. How can the bus overturn the few passengers in the car mouth kept spitting? Although their mouths cursing, but fortunately there are no casualties. Su Tian has not had time to open his mouth yet, his gaze was suddenly caught by the scene outside the car window, what appeared in front of the flat large road directly stabbed out a deep pit, a body glowing with bronze-colored steel beast is reaching out from the deep pit to climb out. The bus was obviously overturned by this big monster, as the bus fell upside down head first. The protective airbags inside the body immediately burst out, protecting all the passengers from harm as much as possible. Occupants, I was severely traumatized, the door was crushed and could not open, please take out the window hammer, the window will be broken out of the car, all the machinima on the bus, in the first moment after escaping, please switch to mecha mode to protect those who cannot defend themselves, thank you for your cooperation. 
After saying these words, the machinima on the bus immediately fainted, Su Tian took out the window breaker hammer next to the window, smashed the window with the hammer, and jumped out of the bus, at the same time, for the first time, all the vehicles and the girls on both sides of the road changed their shapes in front of the giant steel demonic beast that crawled out from the middle of the road. Some of the weaker bikes couldn't help themselves in the face of such a situation, carrying the commander and running away in a cloud of smoke, some small cars are almost nothing, want to help but cannot help, stand in place dry and anxious, the roar of the engines around them was incessant, and the slightly stronger machine women under the control of the commander, took some small children who hadn't woken up yet and the men who didn't have much fighting power away from the scene for the first time, however. The place where Su Tian smashed the glass was a bit backward, and the machine. Nymphs didn't notice him for a while. The giant steel beast tilted its head, and from the gap where the bus overturned, its gaze was fixed on Su Tian. Su Tian had the feeling of being trapped for a moment, and goosebumps ran from his heel straight to the back of his head, I don't go out, nothing happens, I just take the bus once, and I run into the beast, and just in time, when Mr. Yang and Chen Yen are not there. Su Tian jumped out of the back of the bus and turned his head to look around, however, the nearest few machinima all had commanders, and there was no way for him to escape even if he wanted to forcibly log in, the only vehicle without a commander is the bus in front of him, but that bus is almost a wreck, and even if he didn't have a problem with that, this thing can't run. Is this God's way of killing me, can't you see that there are geniuses in this world, a strong sense of crisis made Su Tian's back go cold but Su Tian can't do anything with his physical body, is this the fate of a commander, is it possible that I'm really going to die here today, what the hell is the security problem in the downtown area, Su Tian is like an ant burning its feet on a stove, worried in his heart but unable to do anything, when his eyes met the steel beast, Su Tian, immediately took in a breath of cold air, what is the situation, only to see that the steel beast had maintained the posture of crawling out of the pothole in the middle of the road, its eyes fixed firmly on Su Tian with no intention of looking to the side. It was as if whatever happened in this world had nothing to do with him as long as Su Tian was in his line of sight, seeing this scene, Su Tian couldn't help but feel his heart pounding, it couldn't be that it wasn't because he was unlucky enough to run into something like this the only time he took public transportation, Rather, this steel beast itself was waiting for him, outrageous thoughts appeared in Su Tian's mind. And even though it was somewhat unbelievable, the situation in front of him had to make Su Tian think more, no wonder, no wonder this steel behemoth hadn't hurt anyone from the beginning to the end, if it was really waiting for Su Tian, then it all made sense, it was targeting himself, so of course there was no need for it to share its sight with someone unimportant, however. This thing is looking in the end for what Su Tian has never seen with it looks like the steel beast is not waiting for Su Tian to think clearly, the steel beast's body pressed down violently. Then, two hind legs towards the ground hard stomp, huge body instantly jumped up, towards Su Tian jumped up. The two front claws were sharp and pointed, if he really got caught by it, he was afraid that he would go straight to heaven, fortunately, Su Tian had doubled his speed before, even though there was no way to completely escape the steel beast's attack range, it was still no problem to avoid its attacks, the steel beast swore that its blow had fallen through, its face full of disbelief as it roared into the air, turned its head towards Su Tian, and lunged at him once again, the original flat. Ground, due to its stomping like that with all its strength, instantly made a huge crack, Su Tian swallowed saliva, thinking in his heart, absolutely cannot let it touch, otherwise life is not guaranteed, Su Tian's speed increased to the extreme. His running speed increased to the extreme, dodging the attacks of this magic beast again and again, humans are humans, after running back and forth for more than a dozen times, even if he was made of iron, Su Tian should have collapsed. Huffing and puffing, Su Tian felt like his two thighs were like lead, he couldn't even lift them, it's over. Under Su Tian's gaze, the steel beast took a deep breath and jumped up once more, charging at Su Tian, I'm a fucking SSS rank commander, I even died here today because I didn't have a machine girl who could land, it's a fucking joke to tell the world. Heavenly spirits, please send me a mecha, it doesn't matter if I can beat it or not, as long as it can take me out, for a while, Su Tian even closed his eyes, the atheist finally made a wish to God in the face of death, 
why are you standing here? A bright voice rang out in Su Tian's ears like celestial music, and Su Tian opened his eyes and turned his head to look in the direction where the voice was coming from, Zhang Yanqing. How did you appear here? Weren't you waiting for me at the maintenance station? I waited for you for a long time, but you didn't show up, so when I heard that there was a big incident over there, I thought you were trapped over here, so I came over, listening to Zhang Yanqing's clear voice, Su Tian felt that his frozen blood finally began to flow slowly, that feeling of fear of being controlled by death, but he couldn't do anything about it. Su Tian really didn't want to do it again, after slowing down and feeling. The breeze on his face, Su Tian couldn't help but look down, holy shit. At that moment, he was being held in Zhang Yanqing's hands as Zhang Yanqing's entire body transformed into a 10 meter tall mecha, thick armor covered the entire body, and just by looking at it, Su Tian felt an unprecedented oppressive power, the dark-based battle armor was like a god of death, destroying the wheel of regicide. Black and gold echoes, right hand holding a pole double head or very sharp spear, surrounded by two cylinders, as the next second will be the enemy cannon's explosion rip, behind the back of the self-propulsion, two cylindrical jet barrels inside, a full nine jet holes, at first glance, Su Tian felt that Zhang Yanqing's mecha form was majestic. Even the majestic mecha of Chen Yan that was in front of her appeared to be petite and graceful, Zhang Yanqing, there is no way to repay the favor of. Saving my life, why don't I give you my body in return? Upon hearing Su Tian's words, Zhang Yanqing rolled her eyes and thought that Su Tian was being flirtatious, unbeknownst to her, Zhang Lei had been planning to introduce her to Su Tian for a long time, you should have said no, you really are capable, how did you manage to be targeted by the hunters and wait until I arrived under the attack of the hunters? Zhang Yanqing couldn't help but exclaim. Do you know what that thing is? Why is it staring at me? I feel like it is coming to kill me with a purpose. Su Tian was instantly energized and hurriedly asked, Did you all have to read the illustrated book of foreign beasts when you were in school? How can you not know what it is? Zhang Yanqing couldn't resist spitting out a phrase, and in his mind, he couldn't resist looking down at Su Tian a little. What kind of powerful character could he be if he couldn't even recognize a foreign beast? It was also unknown what role he had played in the war, and Papa was even trying to claim great merit for him, Titan Purple and Gold Monkey, known as the Huntress, the figure is about 2 meters tall, like a steel version of a gorilla, but the Titan Purple and Golden Monkey is different from ordinary gorillas, their body shape is not like ordinary gorillas so sturdy and robust, although it is 2 meters high, but it does not appear to be formidable, and the speed is particularly fast. Claws have a very sharp edge, as long as it can stab to the side of the target, will be able to kill. In addition, this titan purple monkey itself had the ability to block radar detection, so it could always catch people off guard, luckily, this kind of magical beast was few and far between, otherwise, on the battlefield, if you weren't careful, you'd be ambushed by them, however, this kind of magic beast would not normally appear in the downtown area of a city, unless they were here to perform a mission, that's right. The reason why the titan purple and gold monkeys were called hunters was because they hunted down the geniuses among the humans, whether it was the top machinima or the top commander, they were all their targets, Zhang Yanqing couldn't help but turn his head and look at Su Tian, could it be that he was this genius, at that moment, the titan purple gold monkey on the ground saw Su Tian being taken away and roared angrily at the sky above, when it saw that its body was pushed down to the lowest level. Its hind legs stored all its strength, and it instantly catapulted out and leaped at Zhang Yanqing. The terrifying explosive force tore apart the entire road surface, it had thought that it was just a human being, and hunting it down was just a matter of snapping its fingers, unexpectedly, it was bound to kill, but because of Zhang Yanqing's arrival, it completely failed. Under Zhang Yanqing's feet, he could even feel the wind from the sharp claws, this hunter has reached more than three stars, I don't have a contracted commander, may not be able to handle it, need to wait for the maintenance unit to come to work, looking at the chaos destroyed by the steel gorilla under his feet, Zhang Yanqing had more than enough power, whether a machine girl had a contracted commander or not, and what level of commander she had contracted was crucial to her strength. She was an SS-class nuclear submarine, and she couldn't contract a commander after awakening for such a long time, it was a joke to say so, 
however, there were so few commanders who could provide nuclear power that she had almost never seen them, why don't you try me, if the two of us work together, maybe we can really get rid of that stinking monkey down there, besides, if it jumps to the ground and disappears when the maintenance troops come, if it causes damage to the city's sewers, that would be a big problem. Su Tian rushed over to Zhang Yanqing. After all, this hunter's goal was to let him escape this time, if he really succeeded in betraying him next time, it would be a big loss, I might as well get rid of it now, once and for all, however, my only usable energy source is nuclear energy, can you provide it? Zhang Yanqing shook her head, she had no expectations at all from Su Tian. Did your father not tell you what rank I am? Su Tian was about to get angry with her, how could a man say no? Looking at Zhang Yanqing's confused face and shaking his head, Su Tian said slowly, I am an SSS rank commander, I can provide all kinds of energy, including nuclear energy. Su Tian patiently explained to Zhang Yanqing, in his heart, he said that if she didn't agree, he would only be able to land by force, at the same time, Zhang Yanqing's mind began to spin rapidly, on one side was a man she didn't know very well, but knew to be a good man, on the other side were the steel gorillas that were destroying the city, looking at the chaos at her feet, Zhang Yanqing gritted her teeth, then you come up. Zhang Yanqing directly opened the door of the mech and let Su Tian in, good. At this moment, Su Tian was about to forcefully land, but when he suddenly heard Zhang Yanqing's voice of approval, he did not slow down for a while, he had never expected that a top SS class mecha would actually agree to let him board, bang. Su Tian had just entered the cockpit, and the hatch of the mecha closed instantly, Zhang Yanqing was sending a temporary contract for the first time, Su Tian had not contracted a mecha for the first time for a long time, and was familiar with the process of temporary contracts, Su Tian, Zhang Yanqing is about to perform a temporary contract, neurological system docking successful, kinetic energy system matching successful, interaction system matching successful, the moment the temporary contract was successful, Zhang Yanqing's information was also displayed in front of Su Tian's eyes, name, Zhang Yanqing Comprehensive Rating, SS Class Nuclear Submarine, Undead Reaper Applicable Energy, Nuclear Energy Mecha Material, Molybdenum Steel Alloy Steel Contractual Relationship, Not Contracted Modifications, Zero Jewel Slots, For Initial Body Quality, S Condition, 100% brand new the cockpit control panel is clean and all buttons are perfectly protected. It is worthy of being a nuclear submarine in 100% brand new condition, this is too beautiful. Undead Reaper This nuclear submarine mecha is also too good, Su Tian was astonished at the same time, Zhang Yanqing after the temporary contract was successful, the whole person also immediately froze, Su Tian did not lie to her, he really is SSS class commander to grant her a tribute simply too kinky right, not only was he able to support her nuclear energy, but this energy also had the feeling of being inexhaustible, besides, he was only a one-star SSS grade commander, but he had already learned a great move, red flame cross slash. It sounded like some kind of close combat move, even if it wasn't quite suitable for a deep sea nuclear submarine like them, but it was already enough to highlight Su Tian's strength, I should have known not to make a temporary contract with him now, it would be better to give him a formal contract. Zhang Nianqing looked at Su Tian's tablet at this moment, and the more she looked at it, the more shocked and excited she became, what kind of heaven-sent divine commander is this, just made for her no wonder, no wonder that not only Yang Shani is willing to sign a contract with him, even Qin Yen, who is so proud of herself, has become his contract mechanic. He is truly a genius, no wonder the huntress would risk her life and show up in town today just to kill Su Tian, just as Zhang Nianqing was shocked, the titan purple gold monkey under his feet once again destroyed a building, the members of the maintenance team also rushed over at this time but they were no match for the steel monkey, and the moment they rushed up, they were blown back, are you ready? Su Tian slowly exhaled and placed his hand on the middle console, at this moment, he was also very nervous, after all, this was the first time he had used an SS class mecha, and his hands were trembling a bit with excitement. However, after the high-intensity battle some time ago, Su Tian's mentality had long been honed to be unperturbed, so he quickly stabilized himself, 
the accelerator pedal under his foot was pressed down, the energy core spun in overdrive, and a steady stream of nuclear energy was transferred into the SS-class mech. In an instant, Zhang Yanqing's entire body flew straight out, so refreshing. Is this the feeling of being filled with nuclear energy? It's like I'm floating. For the first time in her life, Zhang Yanqing felt the sensation of a contracted commander, only to feel that the body of her 10-meter tall mech had a feeling of slight levitation, no, sister, we're in a battle. You're serious. Su Tian's eyes welled up with tears, the SS-class nuclear submarine could not even find a commander to supply it with power, this invisible look was truly heartbreaking and funny, under Su Tian's reminder, Zhang Yanqing's excitement slowly returned. The mecha and the commander were one and the same right now, and Su Tian's emotions would more or less affect the mecha itself. In an instant, Zhang Yanqing's stern eyes focused on the steel gorilla, as if it had a sense, the steel gorilla's head snapped up, meeting Zhang Yanqing's gaze directly, it let out another roar, venting its anger at being under siege, the undead reaper grabbed the double-edged lance in his hand and charged violently at the steel gorilla, the steel gorilla stomped his feet and leapt into the air, Sharp, sharp claws tickled at Zhang Yanqing's face. And Zhang Yanqing hastily crossed his lance. In front of him to block the attack, Su Tian was inside the mech and clearly felt a violent impact. This gorilla was really strong, regardless of its speed or strength. Zhang Yanqing jumped back, and without waiting for her to catch her breath, the steel gorilla's attack came after her again. The surface of the orangutan's tail was also wrapped in a thick layer of steel, and when Zhang Yanqing froze, it lashed out violently. Su Tian was sitting inside the mech, but he was also shocked by this powerful whip and broke out in a cold sweat, luckily, Zhang Yanqing dodged quickly, or else he would have suffered a flesh wound from this blow alone, when Zhang Yanqing saw the steel monkey's tail being flung at them again, he quickly raised the lance in his hand and hit it, the lance violently entangled the orangutan's tail, and then mercilessly struck the orangutan's back, the sharp end of the lance mercilessly piercing. The orangutan steel underneath, and must have pierced its flesh and bones, only to see the steel orangutan's face grimace, its mouth constantly emitting a low roar, as if sensing the pressure that Zhang Yanqing was putting on it, the steel orangutan could not help but retreat a little, however, Zhang Yanqing had no intention of letting it go, just as he was about to charge up and decapitate the steel gorilla. The gorilla jumped away violently, the speed was so fast that Zhang Yanqing was instantly confused. Worthy of a three-star or higher magical beast, its speed is too fast, my eyes see it, but my movements can't keep up with it at all ah. Zhang Yanqing couldn't help but sigh, and his heart became anxious, this feeling of being able to see it but not being able to touch it was really hard to bear, at that moment, Su Tian directly and forcefully grabbed the mech's right of use, when the steel gorilla flew up to tickle people again, Su Tian directly raised his lance and blocked its attack, how could you block his attack, I couldn't even react. Zhang Yanqing exclaimed in shock, somewhat incredulous, my mental strength had doubled and my speed had also doubled, so his movements were nothing more than that in my eyes, at least it's an SSS ranked commander, you think it's a soy sauce Su Tian pursed his lips and smiled, his eyes looked at that steel gorilla and gave it a white look of contempt. This steel gorilla saw that his attack was blocked and immediately knew that his attack was too one-dimensional, flying lunge, scratching, as long as you could see where it was jumping and in which direction it was jumping, you could basically block its attacks, in an instant, the steel gorilla immediately changed its stance and increased its speed to its fastest, making it almost impossible to see its track with the naked eye, uh, using speed to win, you can't defeat him head on, so you want to sneak up on him, Su Tian snorted and stepped on the accelerator, maneuvering around Zhang Yanqing and placing his lance across his chest, then, he saw the undead reaper's knees bend, his body lean back, and the lance in his hand was slashed smoothly, only a loud clash of steel on steel could be heard, and this steel gorilla instantly manifested, the tremendous impact force hit the monkey, directly slapping it as it flew out. Zhang Yanqing did not hesitate, and the two cannons surrounding him aimed directly at the steel gorilla, don't launch that in a city center, are you trying to destroy this city, seeing that Zhang Yanqing was about to unleash the ultimate nuclear submarine move, Su Tian simply rushed to stop it. This is also a violent temper, killing monsters to kill the head, this really sent out, this cannot be good, 
what should we do, if we don't hit it, it'll really run away. Don't worry, I also have a big move. With that, Su Tian maneuvered Zhang Yinqing and charged at the steel gorilla, even though the gorilla turned into a shadow, Su Tian didn't give it a second thought, Su Tian's hand quickly slapped the middle console, his hand speed almost too fast to be seen, similarly, the undead reaper almost disappeared from sight, in the blink of an eye, the undead reaper reappeared, behind it, the steel gorilla's body immediately shattered into four pieces, clattering and scattering everywhere, for a moment, the chaotic downtown area was instantly silent. Su Tian, what's wrong, I have a feeling of addiction to killing, the abundant energy makes me feel a satisfaction I have never experienced before, can you officially contract with me, if I hadn't made a temporary contract with you, I might have found someone to provide me with nuclear energy for the rest of my life, but after being harnessed by an SSS class top commander like you, I don't think I can settle for anything, that move you just did, is it called the red flame cross cut, can you? Teach it to me, Su Tian sat quietly inside the mech, his heart beating at his mouth, Zhang Yinqing, was that a confession to him, is she going to make a formal contract with her, officially, Su Tian couldn't help but smile, perhaps this was the charm of an SSS ranked commander, or rather, it was a personal charm that was unique to Su Tian himself, after feeling the solidity of being harnessed by him in battle, after seeing the best, how could one look at the rest more than once? You're just briefly mesmerized by my strength right now, after you calm down and seriously think about it, if you still want to contract me, at that time, I'll definitely agree to it." Su Tian's face was full of a smile, coming to life, of course, he would not put words into his mouth, after all, in two months, he was going to participate in a troop competition, if he could really contract with Zhang Yinqing, by then, there would be an SS class mecha on the ground, the probability of him. Winning would be greatly increased, what's more, Zhang Yanqing was really growing on his aesthetic point, such a beautiful woman, if it was really cheap for someone else, then he must not regret it to death, now the boiled duck itself flew to the edge of the mouth, fishing is okay, if it really is a mouthful of refusing, then he is not a fool. However, after hearing Su Tian's words of refusal, Zhang Yanqing smiled instead of being angry, Good, then we have a deal, you must leave me a contract position after collecting the reward for killing the steel gorilla, the two of them headed towards the maintenance unit, maintenance unit, training ground, an armored car led the way, followed by several military combat vehicles, and stopped in a crowing manner. The door of the armored car in front opened, and a man with a swollen nose and a neck brace jumped out of the car, Perhaps it was because he also had injuries on his legs, but the moment he jumped down, he stumbled and almost fell, it was none other than Wu Hao, who had been the victim of Su Tian's brutal beating some time ago, even though his whole body was covered in bruises, Wu Hao's face was filled with arrogance at this moment. Behind him, the door on the other side of the armored car also opened, and a middle-aged man wearing a military uniform with two stars on his medallion slowly stepped out of the car, this person was Wu Hao's father, Wu Yuan Feng, the armored car that looked like it was not to be messed with also transformed into a human form after the two of them got out, this woman was actually Wu Hao's mother, Lin Rong. The woman's face was a bit grim, her eyebrows filled with anger as if she was suppressing her temper, and she looked around, her eyes focused on Zhang Lei, who had just arrived, and said coldly, Captain Zhang, I gave you my son, and this is how you take care of him? I donate money to your troop every year just so that you can use it against my son. Zhang Lei knew why they had come when he received the news of Wu Yuanfeng's arrival, and he had already prepared himself at that point, Zhang Lei had expected Lin Rong to take advantage of this, after all, Lin Rong is a high-ranking person in the dome, how could he not use it when he has such a powerful person behind the scenes, however, Zhang Lei was not wrong at all, since above the dome was basically an economic organization. And it wasn't the Shanghai country's own economic organization, it was formed by the forces of various overseas parties, facing Zhang Lei's attitude of not taking a step back, Lin Rong narrowed his eyes in indignation, however, Lin Rong also knew that it was best not to start a conflict here until it was absolutely necessary, after all, this was a maintenance unit, if there was a four-star mecha in the city, it would be very difficult to end it at that time. Lin Rong glanced back at Wu Yuanfeng and motioned for him to step in, Wu Yuanfeng immediately understood and stepped forward, 
Will you on phone, no matter what, my son was beaten up by your people in the army, his neck was broken, his teeth were knocked out, and his body was covered in bruises, you should always give me an explanation, okay? Wu Yuan Feng is like a smiling tiger, the tone of voice seems to be very good to talk. But the eyes are flashing a killing intent, but has Zhang Lei been captured? Looking at the row of chariots behind Wu Yuan Feng, Zhang Lei said that he was not worried, if this is a real battle, what should Su Tian do, then why do you not ask him why he was beaten, in the army, he dared to harass Chen Yen and stop the little girl from leaving, everyone saw it, you can ask, Zhang Lei reasoned, refusing to back down, did my son hurt the girl, no, he didn't. But look how my son was beaten up. Zhang Lei, I advise you to stay out of this, hand over Su Tian and cooperate with the investigation. Wu Yuanfeng didn't expect that Zhang Lei would protect Su Tian so much, if he really didn't want to show his face to him, he would just try to fight, Su Tian and Zhang Yinqing rushed to the scene and saw such an equal confrontation, seeing the tightly wrapped Wu Hao and the pair of men and women beside him, Su Tian immediately understood the situation, the son couldn't beat him, so he brought his father here to take over the scene. I just don't know, if the father can't beat him, should I call? The grandfather to come as well, when the time comes, the family will be disgraced, neat and tidy, seeing the main character Su Tian come, Wu Hao whole person is very angry, after all, there is someone behind, he is not afraid of Su Tian at all. Su Tian, I advise you not to hide behind Captain Zhang, like a soft egg, have the ability to in front of my parents, you again bull a, I see, Su Tian snorted, some speechless, he really did not see this kind of remember to eat do not remember to fight, I did not do it now, is not I dare not do it, I give Zhang Captain long face, if you do not know good or bad, then I'll be in the face of your parents, and then beat you again, do not know how many teeth left in your mouth enough for me to beat, don't you dare. The last time he was beaten up by Su Tian, he still remembered, every night nightmare is Su Tian is beating up honestly, Wu Hao is really a little bit afraid, truly cannot hold up the wall of rotten mud, how did I give birth to such a useless son, a word can make you afraid, Wu Yuan Feng looked at his own son hatefully, is really a little hateful. I advise you and what you call Chen Yen to hurry up and get out of that agreement, have her make an agreement with my son every day to wipe my son's body and wash his feet, that's right, lick my stinking feet every day and stay with me 24 hours a day as my maid, Wu Hao looked at his father, who was giving him a head start, and hurriedly replied, listening to Wu Yuan Feng and Wu Hao's words, Su Tian's eyes immediately turned stern, and for the first time, she looked directly at the man in front. Of her with a lieutenant colonel's shoulder patch, even the best-tempered person had a bottom line, and for Su Tian, his wife was his bottom line, even though his relationship with Chen Yen hadn't reached the final stage yet, he didn't care if the Wu family's father and son had such thoughts, and let them learn a long lesson, there are some things you can't even think about. The murderous aura in Su Tian's eyes immediately erupted, and Lin Rong hurriedly turned around to look at the blast-proof car in the middle of the convoy, Although Lin Rong was the highest level above the dome, the power in her hand did not allow her to decide whether or not to make a move today, and the real person in charge was inside that bombproof car, over here, Wu Yuan Feng had no idea what Lin Rong was worried about, instead, he was still a bit complacent, after all, Su Tian was really too young, and even though he was now shouting harsh words in anger, as far as Wu Yuan Feng was concerned, it was only pride that was driving him, as for this S-class mecha, if it really could be contracted with Wu Hao, then his Wu family would truly shine. He himself was only a B-class commander, and the reason he was able to contract Lin Rong's kind of A-class mecha was only because he himself had been promoted to lieutenant colonel, and it wouldn't be long before he was promoted to colonel, so he was just lucky, however, he still hadn't been able to contract an S-class machine girl, if his son could really contract an S-class. What did he care about who hadn't been divorced in the modern world, at that very moment, the person in the bombproof. Carr sent a message to Lin Rong, let go and do it, I'll carry it if anything happens, after receiving this message, the uneasiness on Lin Rong's face instantly disappeared, and her back straightened, the feeling of having someone at the top to support the scene is really damn cool. Your name is Su Tian, right? I can see that you're also a tough guy, so I'll give you a chance, if you're willing to work as a cow for my Wu family and protect Wu Hao's safety for the rest of your life, 
then this matter will be over, and we won't make things difficult for you. Listening to this outrageous statement, Su Tian was furious and laughed. What kind of drama was this woman playing in her head really treating him like a soft egg? How could you all be worthy of turning me into a cow? If you didn't hear what I just said, you can go to the hospital and have an ear, nose, and throat examination to see if you're sick, or even go to a mental hospital to see if you have any mental problems. Su Tian's words just fell out as he felt someone tugging on his sleeve, I'm not sure if I can do this, but I can do it, he said. I had just seen Lin Rong turn around before I saw that it was her superior, Qin Shou, the S-Class commander, sitting in that bombproof car, but why would he show up here today? The important place of the army is not a place where he should come, Zhang Lei frowned and said to Su Tian in a low voice, Uncle Zhang, the purpose of these people does not look simple. I don't know what big thing they are going to do under the guise of standing up for Wu Hao, above the dome, is this something that can't be hidden anymore. At this moment, Lin Rong directly transformed into a six-meter tall mecha, Reno guard, without saying a word, Wu Yuan Feng hastily jumped onto it. At the same time, all the vigilantes on the entire drill ground instantly completed their form changes, and all the vehicles on Lin Rong's side instantly transformed as well, the situation was at a standstill for a moment, tit for tat. However, although the two sides seemed to be evenly matched, Zhang Lei's side was obviously a bit weaker, this was because Qin Shou and his S-Class Hades Mecha had also joined the battle team, Su Tian, I'll give you one more chance, will you serve as a dog for my Wu clan or will I destroy you? Wu Yuanfeng's voice rang out once again as he looked down at Su Tian from the sky and said with a scornful face, I still say I still say you're damn worthy. Su Tian glanced at Zhang Yanqing beside. Him, at this moment, Yang Shani and Chen Yan were not present, so he could only fight with Zhang Yanqing once again, Zhang Yanqing nodded, and in an instant, the 10-meter tall undead reaper Mecha appeared once again, whether it was Wu Yuan Feng or Qin Shou, they both stayed in place at the same time, not daring to move, Zhang Yanqing's father, Zhang Lei, was even more shocked at this time, and couldn't stop wondering in his heart, when did these two people get together? And one after another, the whispers of the maintenance team members came from the drill ground, is that Zhang Yanqing's original mecha, this is the first time I've seen it, it must be 10 meters tall, right? Worthy of being an SS class mecha, this body, truly perfect ah, uh, can only be seen from afar, I do not deserve. It's a pity that Zhang Yanqing can't find a suitable commander, she has no place to show her strength, fuck, fuck, look, Su Tian is up there, can he provide nuclear power? SS class commander, I want it too. Looking at the stunned crowd, Zhang Lei sat in his mech and slowly opened his mouth, Qin Shou, can I assume that you above the dome are declaring war on the country, with so many mechs and weapons pointed at the soldiers, are you sure you can do it, Wu Yuan Feng, don't think that you don't care about anything just because you're attached to above the dome, you're a lieutenant colonel, ask yourself, what have you contributed to this city? Some time ago, there was a serious beast outbreak in the far suburb leveling area, I can't believe you didn't get the news, why didn't you fly a mech over to fight at that time, today, for the sake of your son, you openly declared war on the army, I think you've gone too far as an official, why are you picking on Su Tian, in terms of rank, Su Tian is an SSS commander, and in terms of family and country, he turned the tide of battle a few days ago by himself, protecting the stability of the City, and your son, I think it's too easy, and even you as a father should be beaten up properly, the most important thing is that they can't even say a word to refute it, Qin Shou listened to Zhang Lei's words from behind, and when he saw that his plan was about to be destroyed by Zhang Lei, he was furious. What are you still waiting for, let me try, let them be killed, and take all the top tier machinima, Wu Yuan Feng was scolded by Zhang Lei, and when he heard Qin Shou's order, he was also eager to kill Uncle Zhang, should I stay alive, if I don't leave any survivors, I'll go all the way, Su Tian asked appropriately before making his move, after all, it is related to the high-ranking personnel at the top of the dome and the leadership of the army, have to be cautious hands, Wu family, after all, is a military officer, when the time comes, he will go to the military court to get sentenced, as for Qin Shou, when the time comes, he will also get extradited, the line. Saying that, Su Tian directly connected to Zhang Yanqing's machine lady system, in the blink of an eye, 
the undead reaper went directly to the opposite side and recharged. Under Zhang Lei's command, the maintenance team also followed for the first time, and the two sides were in chaos. Su Tian's goal from the beginning to the end was only one, and that was Wu Yuanfeng. Wu Yuanfeng, who dared to covet his wife, is simply tired of living and does not want to die. A 10-meter tall undead reaper against a 6-meter tall Reynolds guard couldn't be called crushed, but it was still no contest, although the Renault guard's level was slightly lower, its body was equipped with a lot of equipment, Su Tian paid no attention to the right hand of the Renault guard, slowly climbed up a diameter of about 20 centimeters of the barrel, see the mouth of the barrel, began to release smoke. Su Tian in the middle of the console, frantic operation, the hand speed to the shadow of the heavy, for a moment, the undead reaper appeared directly in front of the Reynolds guard as if it had flashed, with a kick, he directly kicked the Reno guard's chest violently. Not everyone has Su Tian's double spirit power and double speed, and the undead reaper's speed was so fast that Wu Yuanfeng and Lin Rong didn't react at all, and were directly sent flying backwards by the kick, for a while, dust flew on the drill ground, and the VPC members who were far away couldn't see what was happening in the swirling dust, and in the flying dust. Reynolds' guard was kicked by the undead reaper and stomped backwards, his knees weakened and he fell to the ground, and Wu. Yuan Feng inside the mech was even worse, the whole mouth blood spurting wildly, turning the center console red, at this time, the sympathetic system between Wu Yuanfeng and the Renault guards was severely damaged, Lin Rong's neuron sensitivity decreased after she transformed into the mech, but she didn't feel much. Just like the center of her chest had already been dented by the undead reaper's kick, and the kinetic energy interface had been severely deformed, but she only felt a vague pain, unlike Wu Yuanfeng, whose entire being was almost gone, synchronization rate has dropped to 30%, Please disconnect the mech from the commander. Synchronization rate has dropped to 25%. Please disconnect the mech, commander. Synchronization rate has dropped to 20%. Please disconnect the mech, commander. The system warnings inside the mech sounded one after another, urging Wu Yuanfeng to disengage from the mech, seeing Su Tian maneuvering the undead reaper to attack again. Wu Yuanfeng hastily forced open the hatch and jumped out of the mech. The Reynolds guard that had lost its commander lost its power source and instantly transformed into human form, Lin Rong's face was white, blood stars were oozing from the corners of her mouth, her chest was dented, her breathing was intermittent, and she was obviously not lightly injured, from the beginning of the fight to the end everything ended surprisingly quickly, Lin Rong couldn't even think about how she lost. Looking at Wu Yuanfeng, who had directly pushed her aside and ignored her in the face of danger, Lin Rong felt a sense of lightness for a moment, ten minutes ago, she was still a high-ranking person above the entire dome, raising her hand and throwing her feet could decide the life and death of some people, but after ten minutes, even Wu Yuanfeng, whom she usually looked down upon, dared to roll his eyes at her, for a while, Lin Rong looked at the undead reaper's back with incomparable regret. What kind of monster had she finally provoked? Wu Hao stood at the back and watched his proud father and mother being beaten by Su Tian without a fight, and at that moment, he also froze, with his insight, he really couldn't understand why his mother, who had spent a huge amount of money to equip so many luxurious accessories, couldn't even defeat a mecha that wasn't equipped with anything, it was even pushed to the ground, blasted, and hammered. It was surprising that his mother hadn't even used her strongest weapon before she was knocked down. However, without waiting for Wu Hao to think about it, Su Tian's eyes looked at him again, Wu Hao was so frightened that he sat on his butt on the ground as that murderous look was fixed on his face, a yellow liquid spread uncontrollably, and Su Tian had indeed moved to kill, in the love scene, the hall competition, he can still look at the other side high. But if the other side wants to use this kind of underhanded means to rely on the power of a pair of lovers to break up, that is truly disgusting, Wu Hao should never move the earth on his Su Tian's head, the end of coveting his wife was only death, what's more, at that time, his father and mother had betrayed the motherland and declared war on the mountain and sea land army, so they had already been labeled as spies. Wu Yuanfeng can never be moved, but Wu Hao is just a small character, killing is just killing, I told you, I will definitely take your dog's head. 
Su Tian's face expanded infinitely in front of Wu Hao's eyes, and then the pain of the lance piercing his chest spread through his entire body, the undead reaper instantly appeared in front of Wu Hao, and with his right hand, he copied the double-headed pointed lance and stabbed forward easily sending Wu Hao away, on the other side, Qin Shou's Hades of the Underworld and Zhang Lei's Halberd of Shanghai were also fighting fiercely. Su Tian frowned slightly as he rushed forward to help, even. Though both mechs were S-class, Qin Shou's Hades had a slightly higher star level, so Zhang Lei was slightly weaker, this Hades, although the quality is not too good, but it is equipped with things, this is the top of the fat, Su Tian looked a little greedy, this if you give Mr. Yang and Chen Yen equipped with it, I am afraid that it can be directly raised by two star level, the dome above is worth the economy of the dome. But Qin Shou slightly higher in star level, so Zhang Lei is slightly weak. Above the dome is worthy of being an economic organization, a high-ranking person, so luxurious equipment, said to buy. The piece protruding from his back alone, this is an artificial kinetic energy core that can't be bought with money on the market, no wonder Qin Shou was able to rank very high in the imperial capital, so I'm sure above the dome had invested a lot in him, if there was a boost from that thing, at the time of Su Tian's fainting spell in the sky, even if Yang Shani didn't have any stored energy. With the help of the artificial kinetic energy core, it would still be able to ensure they're safe. Landing, it was also unknown how on earth this person had gotten his hands on it, it was hard to believe that above the dome could still provide a sales channel for this thing, or had above the dome already mastered the method of making this thing, the more Su Tian thought about it, the more surprised and bizarre he felt, the more he thought about it, the more strange he felt, it's time to take a look inside the dome. Uncle Zhang, I'll help you. Su Tian shouted as he said that he was going to rush up and slay Hades, the king of the underworld, Su Tian, don't force yourself, you and Yen Yen haven't officially pledged your allegiance yet, so be careful that you can't defeat him this guy is very powerful. Zhang Lei said with some concern, Zhang Lei couldn't help but shake his head as he looked behind Su Tian, on the battlefield, there were no more Renault guards, just a group of defeated soldiers spitting blood, on Wu Yu and Feng's side, the most powerful mechs were Lin Rong and Qin Shou's Hades, while the rest of the low-level mechs could be disposed of by the maintenance staff. At this point, Lin Rong had already lost the battle. And in a two-on-one situation, there was almost no chance for Hades. To win, Su Tian pursed his lips and smiled when he heard Zhang Lei's reminder. He was still confident when dealing with an S-class mech. The undead reaper's lance struck Hades, the king of the underworld, making a loud clashing sound for a moment, he had no idea what kind of material this mech was made of, and the ground state shield was so thick that even a strong strike with full power stored in it could not break his ground state shield, just as Qin Shou vowed that the ground state shield could withstand all attacks. Su Tian silently made a big move, the black end. Yellow lance in his hand emitted a faint glow, his speed increased to the fastest, and the lance was raised above his head, in an instant, it slashed down violently, the lance full of power had all the energy it could muster for a moment, and it slashed down from the head of Hades, the king of the underworld, red flame cross slash. Qin Shou's smile instantly froze on his face, a cross-shaped wound appeared on the head of Hades the underworld king. That was to say, the material of Hades itself had received a huge upgrade, so the ground state shield was solid enough or else it would be this strike that would split Qin Shou's head open. Zhang Lei was also enjoying Su Tian's battle up close for the first time, and at this moment, he was also dumbfounded. Damn it, a one-star SS mech, a one-star SS commander, has even unleashed a big move. Could he have learned that big move a little too fast? Is that the charm of an SSS ranked commander? To be honest, after experiencing the last beast tide, Zhang Lei knew that Su Tian was powerful, but he didn't know that this guy was so powerful, having just come from afar, Su Tian arrived almost in the blink of an eye, and this speed alone made it impossible to keep up with Pluto Hades' kinetic connection was severed, and he lost his mobility immediately, only the spare energy core on his back was still rotating. Su Tian maneuvered the undead reaper and raised his right arm, aiming the lance at Hades' spare energy core, Uncle Zhang, I can keep this thing alive, but can I dismantle some equipment from it, Su Tian looked at Zhang Lei, with a kind of implication that if you don't let me dismantle it, I'll kill him, Zhang Lei couldn't help but laugh speechlessly, 
you dismantle it, just leave one life and send him up for interrogation. Don't kill him, I just want people, Su Tian smiled fiercely and gently. Lowered the immovable king of the underworld Hades in front of him, gently, like treating a girlfriend, this guy body, everywhere is high-end accessories, is simply a walking accessories box, in case of broken, Su Tian should really be heartbroken, after dismantling Hades, Su Tian dragged Qin Shou out of the mech bay, Qin Shou's connection with Hades had been severed and his entire body had been seriously injured. So when Su Tian dragged him out, he was almost out of breath, Hades, the king of. The underworld also immediately returned to his human form. Seeing Su Tian finish disassembling him, Zhang Lei rushed to have someone call an ambulance, however, in his mind, he still flashed back to the way Su Tian had just controlled the mech from time to time, although he had accepted Su Tian as his son-in-law a long time ago, this was the first time Su Tian had piloted Zhang Yanqing. Logically, there was an adjustment process between the commander and the mech, but Su Tian, right now, whether it was the speed or the attack angle, it was perfect and incredible, and under the ultra-high speed movement, he was able to release the attack so accurately, was this really something a human could do, was an SSS ranked commander so invincible, as expected, Su Tian didn't disappoint him, and Yen Yen was quite relieved to be left to his own devices. Soon after, the sound of an ambulance could be heard from near and far, after arriving at the maintenance unit's training ground, the ambulance transformed into its human form at the first opportunity, blood and various parts were scattered all over the place, and the ambulance lady couldn't help but be scared out of her wits, after all, what is going on here? Why does it look more horrible than doctors performing an operation, looking at the several people on the ground whose blood was? Pouring out furiously, the ambulance lady rushed forward to stop their bleeding, and in the meantime, fixed the broken bones, what are you doing, is the army fighting so seriously, fuck, is that Hades, he's one of the top five in the entire realm, who did this, it's too cruel. Luckily, he can still be saved, the ambulance lady spits as she rushes to treat some people, fearing that these people will turn into corpses a little later. In no time, the several people lying on the ground were wrapped into mummies, there was no way, there were too many injuries, so this was the only way they could be wrapped, at this time, Zhang Yanqing also slowly returned to human form, and Su Tian also appeared on the drill ground again, the ambulance lady looked at Su Tian's spirited appearance and couldn't help but ask, that thing, did you do that? Seeing the ambiguous wink of the ambulance, Su Tian couldn't help but follow the pole, A. Eh? Bunch of spies, are they worthy? The ambulance lady's eyes immediately lit up, I contribute to the country, clean and white people, do you see me worthy? Su Tian was frozen, never thought that this ambulance actually dared to say such words in the middle of the day, for a moment did not know how to respond, at this time, Zhang Yanqing grabbed Su Tian's arm, sister, he already has a girlfriend. Su Tian, I've thought it over, I want to formally contract with you, after disappearing from the drill ground Zhang Yanqing took a deep breath and said to Su Tian. The first time I participated in a battle, the first time I killed a steel beast, at that moment, I was truly hooked and I wanted to have this kind of ability for the rest of my life and use my strength to serve my country like a real warrior, however, just now on the training ground, I suddenly realized that I value you as a person more than the strength you give me. I don't deny that I had some prejudices against you before, having one wife and contracting another, and whether it's Yan. Shani or Chen Yen, they both love me from the bottom of their hearts, but just now, on the training grounds, you even went against Wu Hao without hesitating, regardless of how powerful the forces behind him are, I do not know whether it is because you are too foolish or because you love him too much. Your calmness on the battlefield, your heart that doesn't panic in the face of a strong enemy, and your out-of-this-world maneuvers made me explode with an unprecedented amount of energy, I'm willing to dedicate my entire life to you, Su Tian, will you please be my commander, never turn your back, Zhang Yanqing took a deep breath and calmly looked at Su Tian, waiting for his answer, the SS-class noble mech finally found her satisfying commander, and even bowed her noble head for it, Su Tian's. Heart was slightly shaken, he thought that Zhang Yanqing would definitely come back to find him for the contract in the end, but he didn't think it would be so soon, a beautiful and powerful mecha, what man wouldn't love it, what was there to hesitate, good. 
In the blink of an eye, Zhang Yanqing transformed into a gigantic deep-sea nuclear submarine, and the hatch opened to greet Su Tian, Su Tian, Zhang Yanqing is about to make a contract cosense system docking successful. Neurological system docking successful. Kinetic system match successful. Interaction system match successful. Zhang Yanqing sent the contract to Su Tian, and after the icy beep, the contract was officially completed. At this moment, the icy electronic sound resounded in Su Tian's mind once again, congratulations on successfully contracting your third S-class or higher mech, the commander's exclusive mission board has been opened, the mission board will issue missions from time to time, completing the mission will result in massive rewards, congratulations on earning 30,000 reward points. Congratulations on obtaining a curvature engine. Congratulations on obtaining a special map. Congratulations on obtaining a martial arts map. The cold electronic voice sounded for a long time, and each reward made Su Tian tremble with excitement, this reward, it was simply too generous. And this martial arts card inside, it sounded like it was capable of improving him personally, previously, Su Tian thought that it was enough for a commander to be able to drive a mech well, and it didn't matter if he had any martial arts skills of his own, however, this afternoon in the downtown area, when he was targeted by that steel gorilla, he truly regretted that his own martial arts skills could truly save his life if he didn't have a mech maiden by his side. Bullseye. There's also this commander's exclusive mission board that gives out missions from time to time, what does it mean? Su Tian tapped on this extra panel after putting away the rewards, however, the mission board hadn't been updated at that time, which meant that no random missions had been issued, and Su Tian couldn't figure out the function of that board for a while. After the mission was completed, the hatch of the nuclear submarine slowly opened, and Su Tian stepped out, Zhang Yanqing also transformed into human form and led Su Tian to Zhang Lei's office. Zhang Lei sat at his desk and looked at the relaxed Su Tian with a serious look on his face, you two have already successfully completed your contract, huh, as a father, I didn't even know until now, in vain, I was thinking about how to urge you two to get to know each other, to understand each other, and my brain was dizzy from thinking about it, you little brat, how can you still laugh, look at my old man today for your matter, make the uniform or torn a hole. Su Tian could not help but laugh as he looked at Zhang Lei's nesting appearance, Su Tian couldn't help but laugh at Zhang Lei's angry look, if this was in the past, he could still joke with Zhang Lei, but now, Zhang Lei's identity is not only the captain of the maintenance unit, but also his father-in-law, what kind of son-in-law dares to jump in front of his father-in-law, what's more, Su Tian has also engaged someone's daughter without Zhang Lei's knowledge, on the other hand, Zhang Yinqing was newly married, how could she watch her father tease her husband? Zhang Yanqing said, Dad, don't you have anything to say to Su Tian? Zhang Lei looked at his daughter with hatred, Su Tian, after today's battle, Wu Yuanfeng's resignation is probably the nail in the coffin, and there should be no more reversals, and above the dome should also treat it as a resignation, Su Tian, after today's battle, Wu Yuanfeng's resignation is probably the nail in the coffin. And there should be no more resignations, and above the dome should treat them as resignations as. Well, this time, you have made a great achievement, I have just reported it, I am afraid that even the above do not know how to reward you, good boy, you've just joined the army, and you've made three successes in a row, worthy of the person I've been looking for. Su Tian scratched his head and felt a bit embarrassed for a while, originally, this was his personal matter, who would have thought that the person who provoked him was a hostile force, he was really a bit soft to take this credit. Uncle Zhang, you also know that this credit is just a mistake, if Wu Hao hadn't messed with my head, I'm afraid there wouldn't be this later thing, bastard, you've given my daughter a loan and turned your back on her, do you still call me uncle? Zhang Lei's eyebrows raised at the name, father, if you really can't say it, just call me uncle Zhang, I'm just kidding, after a little joke, Zhang Lei's face fell again. And Su Tian realized that Zhang Lei was about to get down to business, so he sat up straight, just as I was reporting to my superiors, my superiors revealed a piece of news to me, in fact, the dome has been under the surveillance of an official organization, the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps, for a long time, just because they have not revealed their footsteps, so the officials have not been able to move them, and this time, we have somehow forced them to do so. 
It is said that the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps has gathered more than 30 communities to link up and start lining up spies from foreign forces all over the country, and if the mission is successful, the rewards will be extremely high, this time, you helped our Imperial Capital Vigilante Corps get to the top, and the top gave you a big reward right from the top, Su Tian has never heard of this organization. It's a very private organization, Zhang Lei said as if he knew what Su Tian was going to ask, the Hundred Battles Mercenaries is a nationwide organization established by the official government of our country and it is currently only open to a few people, those who join the 100 battalions of mercenary can freely form teams and complete the missions issued by the official government, and these missions are highly secret, but the corresponding rewards are also very high. Su Tian listened to the whole group with a blank expression, and to sum it up, by completing the missions of the 100 battalions of mercenary, they can get a huge amount of rewards, that's not bad, I'll send you your rewards first. Comrade Su Tian, considering the fact that you turned the tide of the battle in the far suburb training area during the Beast Tide operation, single-handedly killing more than a hundred flying magical beasts and defending the safety of the human survival area and the troops, you have performed exceptionally well, the reward is $1 billion in cash, Class A equipment phantom sound gun, class S equipment, wind stabilizing wings, and class B equipment, wind stabilizing wings after reading. It out, Zhang Lei placed a large wooden box in front of Su Tian, wind stabilizing wings, mounted on the back of the mech, it can give the mech the ability to fly, phantom gun, a medium and short range weapon, greatly increasing the combat power of the mech, Su Tian never thought that the reward this time would be so generous, two pieces of finished equipment, it's not something that can be taken down by a billion dollars, especially this S-class wind stabilizing wing, if it were put on the market, I'm afraid that it would cause countless people to scramble for it, what's more, Su Tian now has three machine girls to raise, and the most he lacks is this equipment, just as Su Tian was about to put it away, Zhang Lei's face changed slightly and he took out a large wooden box from under his desk, this wooden box was in the shape of a long strip, looked translucent in color, and was obviously well cared for. Zhang Lei's face was slightly sullen, and he slowly opened the wooden box, and in an instant, some kind of power, if there was any, surged out from inside the wooden box, this is killing Qi. A dense and majestic killing aura, what exactly had this war blade gone through to contain such a dense killing aura, even across the width of the table, Su Tian's heart trembled, at this moment, the surface of the sword was slightly pitted, perhaps it had also been on the battlefield and bathed in the nutrients of blood, back when it glowed on the battlefield, did it also carry the pain of the steel behemoth, at the same time, the moment she saw the battle knife, Zhang Nianqing instantly froze. But in the blink of an eye, she let go and relaxed, Uncle Zhang, this knife Su Tian, this knife is given to you in my name, and it also represents Nianqing's mother and I, our blessings to you both. Su Tian looked at the tears in Zhang Lei's eyes and froze for a moment, Uncle Zhang, what's the story of this knife, can you tell me about it, otherwise, I'm afraid I'll be ashamed to receive it, upon hearing Su Tian's words, Zhang Lei's thoughts immediately returned to that beast flood several years ago, this knife is called Annihilation, it was Nian Nian's mother's equipment, and after attaching the spirit to it, when it kills magical beasts, it will also consume the essence of the beasts. To automatically evolve, and every time it evolves, it will increase its firepower by 20%, the way you see him now is the way he was when he returned to his full essence, about 8 years ago, I participated in a war with Nian Nian's mother to suppress a beast tide, and that beast tide was unprecedentedly strong. At that time, just in time, my official position rose all the way up, the strength also rose, youthful vigor drifted over the head, thinking that with the identity of the S-Class 3-star commander and the full equipment of S-Class mechs, it will be able to walk horizontally in this world, therefore, when I received the order to participate in the war to suppress the beast flood, I took Nian Nian's mother with me in the wind. Because of my arrogance and carelessness, I made a huge mistake. And the kinetic energy core of Nian Nian's mother was directly destroyed, and she was unable to participate in the battle, the Zhenhai Zhichi you see me riding today is only a temporary contract mecha, Su Tian frowned, pondered for a moment, and opened his mouth to ask, Uncle Zhang, to what extent has Auntie's kinetic energy core been destroyed, has it affected her normal life? Hearing Su Tian's question, Zhang Lei raised his head sharply, 
Over the years, he had taken his wife to all the big and small repair organizations, but until now, no one had the means to repair her, could it be that Su Tian had a way, yes, he was an SSS ranked commander, so maybe there really was a way. It doesn't affect normal life, but there is no way to switch to car or mecha form, Su Tian nodded, there is a possibility that it can be repaired, but I have to wait until I see Auntie before I can make up my mind. Zhang Lei stood up fiercely and grabbed Su Tian's shoulders with both hands. Su Tian said, you're serious? Zhang Lei stood up violently and grabbed Su Tian's shoulders with both hands. Are you really able to do this? Su Tian thought about the set of kinetic cores that he had removed. From Hades today and nodded with certainty, it might not have been possible before, but it shouldn't be a problem now. Good. Nian Nian, bring Su Tian to the house for dinner sometime and let your mother meet him. Zhang Lei's eyes shone with a different kind of luster, and he looked at Su Tian with an even more fervent gaze. As a soldier, he knew the despair of not being able to go to war, the feeling of having more than enough to make a soldier feel like an invalid. It was a devastating blow to her that his wife could no longer fight alongside her commander because of his mistake, every time he saw her forlorn look. He felt guilty and hated to replace her, now that he heard that Su Tian had a way to fix her, his dying heart came back to life, right? There's another one, isn't this the first time we've taken action against spies from foreign powers? The higher-ups gave you a mega reward a mech modification shop that the officials at the top of the dome used to get, as well as a hundred billion dollars, Su Tian's entire body felt like it had been struck by lightning, his brain buzzing, how could he dare to think of such a good thing, one hundred billion dollars, this is compared to the one billion is not a class in a mech modification shop. Su Tian also thought of the future retirement to open a modification store, the country directly for him to do good, the money is there, the shop is there, and the mech girl is there, isn't this a good start? Su Tian was floating when he left the maintenance unit, this could not be blamed on his unsteady mind, who wouldn't float to the point that when Su Tian boarded the mech, when he took off, and when he landed, he didn't even know himself, it was only when he heard the sound of the mecha. Shutting down that Su Tian slowly came to his senses, at that moment, Zhang Yanqing transformed into her human form and grabbed Su Tian's arm with one hand. My dear commander, we've arrived at our destination no, no, let's come to the hotel to fuck Zhang Yanqing's hot gaze on Su Tian's face, charming smile, we have already contracted, is it difficult, can't we go to the last step, seeing Zhang Yanqing's face less than 5 centimeters away from his own, Su Tian's blood surged for a moment. The old man has agreed, I am still grumbling the next morning, the next morning. Su Tian was woken up by his cell phone, squinting his eyes and looking at. Zhang Yanqing who was still sleeping beside him, Su Tian quickly got dressed and went to the toilet, hello, hello, is this Su Tian? On the other side, there was a girl with a sweet voice, yes, and you are, I am from the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps in the Capital District, this week we are having a party on the weekend, one is for comrades who are not yet under contract to recommend each other. The other is also for our comrades in the Capital District to meet each other, this year we have recruited a lot of newcomers, so it will be easier for all of us to do team missions together at that time. Su Tian, are you free on the weekend? The sweet voice came slowly, making Su Tian's sleepy head run away, I'll be there, 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 as an official organization, the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps must be filled with people who have at least a clean family background, besides, it was surprising that many newcomers without contracts would also be invited to this meeting, didn't that mean that he would have another chance, how could he not be happy, if he came across a suitable machinima at that time, he might even be able to add a fierce general to his squad for the national competition, then, at 3.00 p.m., on the weekend, you can arrive on time. Back in his room, Su Tian was no longer sleepy, looking at Zhang Yanqing, who was still sleeping and showed no signs of waking up, Su Tian walked over to the sofa and sat down. In addition to the off-the-shelf equipment rewarded by the troop, the contract for the 3rd S-Class or higher mech also gave him a very generous reward, when he entered the commander's panel, Su Tian directly took out the martial skill card from the commander's warehouse, in an instant, it was as if an incomparably subtle piece of information suddenly appeared in Su Tian's mind, and his spiritual energy wrapped around it.
slowly absorbing its contents, the moment this information finished. Being absorbed, Su Tian's consciousness was directly transferred to a battle arena, moreover, the moment Su Tian appeared, all the magical beasts in the Colosseum immediately rushed towards him, in an instant, Su Tian was torn to shreds, however, the next second, Su Tian was back in the arena unharmed, and since Su Tian hadn't reacted yet, he was shredded once again. Su Tian himself didn't know how many times this situation had repeated itself. All he knew was that he was torn apart over and over again, only to emerge unscathed, same place, same enemies, endless killing, no fancy moves at all, every punch, every kick running towards death, pure close combat, pure murderous energy, Su Tian couldn't feel tired, but the feeling of melee combat was gradually being engraved in his bones and blood, from being killed instantly at the beginning, to holding out for 5 seconds, to holding out for 10 seconds, to holding out for half a minute. In the end, Su Tian had unexpectedly lasted an entire hour among this group of berserk magic beasts, with his physical strength reaching its limit and his mental strength about to be exhausted, Su Tian felt that he would be torn apart again in the next second, however, strangely enough, at that moment, all the magical beasts in the entire field disappeared, it was finally over. The moment the magical beasts disappeared, Su Tian's legs went limp and he fell to the ground, he really can't make it anymore. Su Tian's eyes flashed with white light, and his spiritual energy instantly receded, and when he opened his eyes again, he had already returned to the hotel sofa, Su Tian raised his head to look at the clock hanging on the wall, and only five minutes had passed, and right now, he was in the space of consciousness as if he had spent years and decades, when he touched his arm that had just been detached. It was as if everything had just been a dream, and all the soreness and pain, all of it, had disappeared, however, Su Tian's figure had obviously become a bit more robust, before, Su Tian's height was 183 and his weight was only 70 kilograms, which made him look tall and thin, with a feeling of weakness, at this time, Su Tian's muscles were obviously bulging, but he did not look like a bullfrog, the abdominal muscles on his belly, like thin chocolate, refined, full of explosive power. In just five minutes, I felt like several centuries had passed and the harvest was quite good, Su Tian swung a punch into the air, and his fist actually stirred up the sound of hunting wind for a split second, obviously, even though the arena was in the realm of consciousness, the battles he had experienced were practically engraved in his body, however, as a commander, he was most dependent on his own mech, however, there was no way for anyone to guarantee that the commander would not have his mech by his side, at that time, the only way he would be able to fight his way out of the moment when his life was on the line was to grasp a powerful power of his own, after that, Su Tian used up the special card in the system camp, a golden light immediately enveloped Su Tian, the familiar color, the familiar feeling, made Su Tian's spirit tremble, one should know that the first time he bought a special card, it was this golden light that erupted at that time, and after that, he gained the First big step in his life, not only could he use it on himself, but he could also command the machine girl to use it. It had greatly increased his strength, I didn't expect his luck to be so good that the second time he used a special card, it was another top tier card, congratulations on the acquisition of the empowerment skill, beyond the fear of death. Beyond the fear of death, fires a beam of light that pierces the first enemy it hits, if the enemy's health falls below a certain threshold, the enemy is immediately executed, beyond fear of death, the commander can use this skill independently, and it has the effect of protecting his or her life, beyond fear of death, the commander can use this skill in conjunction with a packed mecha, increasing the power of the skill by 100%, fear beyond death, the commander can forcibly land on an unbound, mech, forcibly control a mech to perform a skill, and the power of the skill will be halved. The electronic voice reminded Su Tian of the precautions, and Su Tian listened silently as he felt the legacy of the move, after a few minutes, Su Tian slowly opened his eyes, his eyes full of surprise, isn't this skill a bit too strong, an enemy whose life force reached a certain level would be directly executed. On the battlefield, when facing a powerful magical beast, if it was on the verge of death, with the idea of dying together and exploding, this move could directly lock onto the magical beast and directly execute it, it wasn't a matter of probability, it was 100% execution. 
Just like the name of this move, it really was beyond the fear of death, really damn strong. When the time is right, if all three of them have the power of this move, then no matter what kind of mech it is, it will have the ultimate move for self-defense. Too strong, really too strong, thinking about this, Su Tian called up his commander panel, SSS class commander current commander level, 2 star energy core, Chiyuan can provide all kinds of energy, biokinetic energy conversion rate, 100% contractable mecha types, all, current contracted mecha, SS class deep sea nuclear submarine, S class shockwave, S class ice phoenix current mastery skills, replacement equipment upgrade equipment, S plus class combat skills commander's exclusive skills, melee, techniques enhanced skills, red flame cross chop, beyond the fear of death existing equipment, Curvature Engine Asterisk 1, S-Class Battle Blade Annihilation, S-Class Wind Fixation Wings, A-Class Phantom Sound Gun, External Kinetic Energy Nucleus, New Asterisk 1 Commander Points 37544 Total Assets, 120 Billion Su Tian looked at the table, which was twice as long as it had been at the beginning, and exclaimed loudly that in just half a month, Su Tian's attributes had changed almost radically. The most important thing was that his commander rank had been upgraded to two stars with the addition of double spirit power, double speed, and melee technique, this was the point that surprised Su Tian the most, as for the rest, Su Tian had about everything in mind, as far as these points were concerned, Su Tian wasn't ready to move, after all, the rewards he had received today were already generous enough. There was no need to draw any more, wait for some time, then make the improvement. After taking a quick shower and coming out, Zhang Nianqing had also gotten up, and when he saw Su Tian coming back, he deliberately stretched out a big lazy waist, wait for me to wash up, I will send you home in a while, you woman is really ruthless, abandoning me so soon, Su Tian flirted with a face of urgency, I still have three mechs to repair today, so I'll come with you the next time I have time, saying that, Zhang Nianqing quickly went to the toilet and finished washing up with a thunderous roar, by the way, Su Tian, if you receive a mission from the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps at that time, please let me know, ah, uh, I will accompany you to complete the mission. When the time comes, let Sister Yi and Teacher Yang come along as well, Su Tian smiled gently, good, the loss that Zhang Yanqing had been holding back in her heart instantly disappeared cleanly, this way, she can also be with Su Tian all the time, can also be considered the name of the right. Su Tian had been running back and forth between the school, the maintenance unit, and his home for the past two days, Su Tian was a bit overtired, when he woke up from his nap, it was noon, and Su Tian got up and washed himself, dressing more than usual, this afternoon, he was going to attend the party of the Hundred Battles mercenary group, after all, it was the first time they had met, and it was still important to make a good impression on everyone, after they went out to eat, it was almost 2 o'clock, just because Teacher Yang, Chen Yen, and Zhang Yanqing were all absent today, Su Tian had no choice but to take the bus. Looking at the traffic coming and going on both sides of the road, Su Tian couldn't help but think about the bus that collapsed to protect the passengers while fighting in downtown that day, to be honest, that bus sister is really righteous, even in such a dangerous moment, the first thing that comes to mind is the passengers, however, later, Su Tian also watched the news, the bus driver was badly injured, but the good news is he was treated in time and is not in danger of dying, after the battle, the bus company also gave her the best welfare treatment, they exempted her from all maintenance costs and also helped her to replace all the old equipment in the car with new ones, to say the least, it was a blessing in disguise, before, Su Tian still felt that the bus was more or less diaphragmatic, but now, he had somehow changed his mind, at least, the feeling of contempt was gone. The route of the bus was still the same as the last time, only this time, there were no more magical beasts jumping out to annoy people, the downtown area of the imperial capital was still as busy and lively as ever, and the further one went into the city center, the more high-end vehicles there were, the S-Class supercars, which were usually rarely seen, were here in abundance, Ferraris are entry-level supercars here, Bugatti Veyrons, Koenigseggs, Silberts and Paganis, lined up on the side of the road like a car show, quietly waiting for their commanders, 
the meeting of the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps was held in the most upscale entertainment venue in the city center, especially some of the stronger commanders or the rich kids with status and money often came here to relax and unwind when they were stressed out. Su Tian walked directly to the party's special field thinking that he would be considered very early, but before he arrived there were already quite a few people sitting on the seats, the attendants in the special room were all machine girls who acted as attendants and also took care of the security function, and most of the people here were the commanders of these machine girls, hello, I'm Su Tian, there's no invitation for this party, after all, it's a relatively small meeting, everyone. Just needs to report their name, then you can enter, Su Tian reported his name, the moment the gate in charge of the personnel checked the machine girl will be giddy with excitement, for a while, she was so excited that her face turned a little red, this was the famous SSS ranked commander Su Tian, who had only joined the maintenance force half a month ago, and had made three consecutive successes, even catching the spies on the dome for the first time. Ignoring the blush on her face, Su Tian walked into the room with big steps and looked at the large dome that was too big for him to see, and the large dome that was too big for him to see, looking at the private room, which was so big that he couldn't even imagine it, Su Tian couldn't help but be shocked, the lights on the ceiling were bright, making the whole room glitter like a glittering palace, noble and upscale, inside the bar. In less than three minutes, a cocktail was served on the table, as some handsome little brothers couldn't stop shaking the blender in their hands, performing fancy mixing techniques, the huge dance floor, at this time because there is no music, so there is no one dancing, it seems empty, behind the stage there was a small stage that came out a section high, so I guess that's where the speeches would be held, as for the second floor, the third floor, the fourth floor, all are the audience, I do not know this party, will not invite so many people, so... Many seats, cannot be filled. Is this the rich man's party? Su Tian couldn't help but sigh, the ringing of the cell phone made Su Tian immediately slow down from the shock, husband, are you here yet? I have just arrived, I'm coming to pick you up, it was Yang Shani's message, for this meeting, Su Tian thought about it and brought his machinima with him, only Zhang Yanqing had a few more mechs to repair today. Chen Yen was too busy to go to the outskirts of the leveled territory, and there was only Yang Shani, who had nothing to do with the school holidays, so when Su Tian invited her, she quickly accepted, husband. The moment she saw Su Tian, Yang Shani jogged over excitedly, in the past two days, Su Tian had been busy with school and running to the maintenance unit, he was so tired that his body was a bit overworked, so he hadn't been to Yang Shani's house for several days, a woman in love is always like a woman in love, one day's absence is like three autumns, if she doesn't see Su Tian for a few days, Yang Shani will miss him to death. Su Tian opened his arms and hugged Yang Shani, Yang Shani, on the other hand, was like a scared little rabbit, poking his head to look left and right, afraid of being noticed by others, just as Su Tian was pulling Yang Shani to find a seat, a group of people came in through the door, looking at those young faces. Su Tian didn't need to think to know that they must be the new students recruited by the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps this year, it was the first time they had seen such a luxurious mega room, so their eyes were gleaming with envy, Yang Shani had just gotten up to go to the toilet when a girl dressed in a flamboyant style pulled out a chair and sat next to Su Tian, handsome, do you mind sharing a table with me, the girl smiled with curved eyes, and the dimples on her lips looked like they were full of strong wine, making people drunk for a while. With that look and smile, she must be one of the top few girls in the school's beauty ranking, even if she wasn't the school's beauty queen, only, Su Tian didn't know her, so she couldn't be from their school, no problem, have a seat, as soon as Su Tian's words fell, he saw the girl's smile grow even bigger, and she tilted her head and called out, sisters, come quickly, he agreed, Su Tian froze slightly and looked in the direction where the girl tilted her head, five or six girls were sitting. Together in twos and threes, and when they heard the girls call, they didn't hesitate to stand up at the same time and walk over to that side, what am I, a peach blossom, Su Tian's expression changed slightly, and for a moment, he didn't know if he should be happy or not, just at that moment, the lights in the center of the stage fiercely lit up, a beautiful baritone voice rang out, dear comrades, good afternoon. The host of this party, who was standing on the stage holding the microphone, looked at all the guests present. 
I wonder who is the star everyone is most excited about tonight, Luo Zhan. Su Tian. For a moment, the whole of the private room was instantly and automatically divided into two streams of voices, the boys shouted out the names of their goddesses, and the girls did not want to be left behind, their voices rising in waves, so let's invite these two comrades to the stage, shall we? Good. Just as the cheers and shouts were about to shake the ceiling, two lights shone from the center of the stage, directly hitting the bodies of Su Tian and Luo Zian, coincidentally, Luo Dai also looked at Su Tian at that time, and their eyes met in the air for a moment, and they both saw a bit of confusion in each other's eyes, together. I don't know who started it, but the entire audience started screaming in unison at the same time. What the fuck, is this a party or a blind date? How did these people know that I'm Su Tian? As if they heard Su Tian talking to himself, the girls beside him said, Comrade Su Tian, you're the only SSS commander in Imperial City this year, I'm afraid the whole Imperial City knows. Comrade Su Tian. Comrade Su Tian, quickly go up ah, hurry to go and contract with Luo Zhan ah, you two are talented and beautiful, really good match. The girl next to me, her eyes are full of little red hearts, Su Tian sighed helplessly, no wonder all these little girls are moving towards him, so they already know who he is together, together, together. Seeing that Su Tian didn't move, the cheers in the arena became even louder. For a while, the warm atmosphere completely enveloped the entire arena, even those young sisters by Su Tian's side all came together, clapping and cheering, the only SSS ranked commander in the Imperial Capital this year, and the SS Plus ranked Heavenly Vault Battle Voice, the man was handsome, the woman beautiful, same age, same region, this was simply a fairy tale prince and princess, a damn good match, however. In the midst of the crowd's cheers, there was a man standing in the darkness with a dark face, his eyes fixed on Su Tian, itching to rip his skin off, Su Tian felt the spotlight shining on him right now, completely unaware that someone had already zeroed in on him, Su Tian tilted his head to look at Luo Zhan from afar, Luo Dai's face has no expression, 360 degrees of no dead angle face in the spotlight illumination, appearing more cold and noble. She was just standing in the ordinary crowd, but seemed to be glittering with light, giving people a feeling of standing out from the rest, really beautiful. No wonder she could make an SS-class commander wait for her for a whole year, Su Tian secretly gazed over here, while Luo Dai on the other side also gazed at Su Tian, he was about 8 meters tall, with a sturdy body and a smile on his face that, although unrestrained, didn't give people a feeling of disgust. A while ago, the guy who had made a great achievement, was he the one, but this guy wasn't their cup of tea, womanizing and prodigal, involved with several women, and I don't know what method he used, but he was able to contract three machine nymphs at the same time, all in all, not a good person, thinking of this, Luo Dai hastily withdrew her gaze, no longer looking at Su Tian, she also blocked out the cheers of the people around her, come on. Let's get you two on the stage. The host's voice rang out again, and the audience under the stage immediately burst into applause, making Su Tian feel like a big star for a moment, Amidst the applause and cheers, Su Tian slowly walked towards the stage, flowers, applause, cheers, and the attention of all the beautiful women present, Su Tian is undoubtedly the brightest star of the night, tonight, Su Tian was held on the throne by everyone, all the glory is at his feet. However, there is an old saying that goes like this. Don't bow your head, or the crown will fall, the higher you fly, the harder you fall, no matter how much glory Su Tian receives today, if Su Tian fails, how much scorn will he receive in the days to come? Fame is a double-edged sword, if you are strong, it will make you shine, if you are weak, it will destroy you, accompanied by cheers, Su Tian walked onto the stage, at the same time Luo Zhen also appeared on the other side of the stage, as Luo Dai approached, the ghostly scent reached Su Tian's nostrils, the moment the two of them walked to the center of the stage at the same time, a flash of light instantly erupted from under the stage. Click click click, the shutter sounds of the cameras were endless, however, Luo Zhan's gaze never landed on Su Tian again, causing Su Tian to feel a bit lost, 
after all, he was the only SSS rank commander who had awakened in the imperial capital this year. Even if Luo Zhan wasn't warm towards him, there was no need to be so indifferent, right? However, this loss passed in a flash. It wasn't as if he, Su Tian, was money, and not everyone could like him the first time they met him, besides, he had three beautiful wives now, so he didn't need to lose his heart over a woman who didn't look up to him, the big deal was that he just didn't hire her, was she the only SS plus grade in the world, right after the two of them stood in the middle of the stage, banners were immediately raised on the stage. Congratulations to Su Tian and Luo Zhan for awakening to the highest rank in the Imperial Capital this year. At the same time, the beautiful staff who had been waiting under the stage for half a day brought flowers to the two of them, just as Su Tian felt embarrassed and was about to use his feet to dig out a three-room apartment, another beautiful woman appeared, Comrade Su Tian, this is for you, congratulations. Comrade Luo Zhan, this is for you. This card contains 100 million inch although the money is not a lot, but it is also a piece of the heart of the 100 battalion mercenaries, hoping for greater achievements in the future for the glory of the country. The moment the money arrived, Su Tian's feeling of embarrassment disappeared in an instant, if he continued to feel this embarrassment and continued to receive money, he could keep it for the rest of his life, although the money wasn't much, only a hundred million, but a mosquito's leg was also meat, who would care about less money, doing nothing, you can get a hundred million dollars for nothing heh, if you have the ability you also take ah, uh, if you are a SSS level commander, I mean, if I had that kind of ability, I'd still be sitting here, shouts of surprise and comments rang out from the audience when they heard that the prize money was $100 million. After handing out the prize money, Su Tian left the stage and returned to his seat. The group of little girls who shared the table with him immediately surrounded him like a group of little fans, looking at Su Tian with longing eyes, with beautiful women surrounding him, how could Su Tian refuse, and for a while, the battle was hot. When Luo Zhen returned to her position, she saw Su Tian side for a group of women, one of whom hated to stick to Su Tian and couldn't help but frown, to be honest. Su Tian was truly outstanding, whether it was strength or talent, he was a superior choice for a commander, especially since he had just joined the maintenance unit and had made great achievements after great achievements, his future could be considered immeasurable, it wasn't that Luo Yen hadn't considered Su Tian, and he was even a bit biased towards him in his selfishness, especially when she saw Su Tian with her own eyes today, she felt that Su Tian was suitable, however, this year, a total of seven SSS rank commanders had awakened nationwide. In addition, Wei Bin, the SSS ranked school grass commander of her school last year, had been waiting for her since last year, her choices were quite numerous, to say the least, before this meeting, she had even come in contact with some of them, even though Su Tian was the most handsome and had the brightest future, he was the first to be eliminated. This was because he had contracted three permanent machinima one after the other, that alone was enough to get him eliminated, how could someone who couldn't be single-minded and consistent with his mechagirls be worthy of trust, look at him now, he's already got three machinima under contract and he's still hooking up. A man who can't even resist the female color is destined to never become a great man, Luo Jin couldn't help but roll her eyes, she was an SS plus level machine maiden. She was only one step away from the SSS level, and in the future, she was bound to become a world famous battle maiden, her other half must be the best man in the entire mountain and sea country, and he must only have her as a woman, Su Tian, Luo Ying shook her head, let's forget about this person, they were not meant to cross paths. At this moment, the host's voice sounded again, friends, today. In addition to Su Tian and Luo Dai, we have also invited a heavyweight guest, you guess who it is for. A moment, the whole room froze, who is it, are there any newcomers to our empire this year, what if it's an old man, an old man. From last year, it couldn't be Wei Bin, could it, that would be embarrassing, ha 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 the chatter got louder and louder, and the host snapped when he heard a certain name. That's right. He is our last year student of the Imperial Mecca University, Comrade Wei Bin. Use your loudest applause, cheers, and welcome him. Holy shit. It's really Wei Bin. 
For a while, the screams coming from the scene were enough to bring the roof down, the crowd who had just shouted that Su Tian and Luo Zhan were together had a look of urgency and a smile on their faces at this moment, things seemed to be getting more and more interesting, the host's voice faded, and the spotlight flickered to the bottom of the stage, in an inconspicuous corner, a man no lower than Su Tian slowly walked onto the stage. Under the light, the man's high nose, determined eyes, and knife-like jawline made him look extremely masculine. His half-length hair rested gently on his forehead, fresh and sharp, worthy of being the last school grass, the cheers under the stage didn't stop the moment Wei Bin appeared, Wei Bin, I love you. Luo Dai's ears echoed with the host's voice, and the moment she saw Wei Bin, her whole face changed, not only were the people in the audience not expecting it, but she also didn't expect Wei Bin to come today, even though Wei Bin's scandal with her was spreading as if they were already engaged, but in reality Luo Dai and Wei Bin could only be described as acquaintances, and they didn't even talk in private. Wei Bin was one year older than Luo Dai, and since her enrollment in school, Wei Bin became her most loyal dog, on the way to create a variety of chance encounters, even if you know Luo Dai will lose, or will buy her breakfast every day, so until the fourth year of college, Wei Bin woke up the SS class commander. The moment he awakened, he announced that he would wait for Luo Zhen, and even if Luo Zhen finally awakened an F-class mecha, he would still sign a contract with her, to be honest, Luo Zhen was really touched at that moment, she had even thought about accepting Wei Bin's contract request after her awakening, no matter what level it was, however, she slowly began to realize that something was wrong, obviously, she hadn't awakened yet, and obviously, she had almost no contact with Wei Bin, but in the eyes of the outside world, Wei Bin's name had been engraved on her body, and it was as if she had risen high above the SS rank of Wei Bin, the growing rumors were too much for her to bear, just then, her best friend ran up to her and asked her if she was really having an affair with Wei Bin. Only then did Luo Yen suddenly realize that she seemed to have fallen into a large invisible net, Wei Bin had used his identity as an SS class commander to create a large net that only she, who was in the middle of it, could feel, on the other side, Su Tian looked at the cheering crowd and couldn't help but look at the little beauties sharing the table with him, why aren't you shouting along, isn't he handsome? These little girls looked at Wei Bin as if they had agreed, without a hint of excitement, with the feeling that it was nothing to worry about, you, the SS rank commander, are sitting in front of us, so what else is there to look at in the SS rank, in other words, his rank is not as high as yours, and his appearance is not as good as yours, so what is there to look at, listening to this, Su Tian couldn't help but feel a secret pleasure. This is really exciting to hear, which man will refuse the woman to cast her own adoring eyes, the said not to say, this Wei Bin said a good sound is not Luo Yan do not want, but this is not pure moral kidnapping, humans Luo Yan did not agree to be with him, and did not ask him to do anything, he made a lot of noise everywhere, publicized the non-human do not want to make the whole world knows. Then humans Luo Yan did not contract with him, as if it is still the fault of humans too, the first. Girl who approached Su Tian, Ren Jiajia, spat in a bad mood, that's right, I think this guy isn't in a good mood either, guess, today's party, did the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps invite him especially, or did he have to come himself? It's hard to say, I seriously doubt that he deliberately wanted to force Luo Dai to marry him in front of so many people today, you think ah, uh, this year Luo Zhen himself awakened SS plus class mecha, machine lady choose commanding officer, would have been to choose a higher level, and this year awakened SSS class commanding officer has seven, can imagine, Luo Zhen is estimated to choose the eyes of the SS class Wei Bin, it is impossible to get into her eyes, even if Luo Zhen is willing, they will not. Agree with the Luo family, I suddenly feel that this seems like a big deal, but it's not a big deal. I suddenly feel that this is like a big chess game Su Tian sat on the side listening to the girls express their righteous indignation and couldn't help but nod in his heart. These little girls see quite thoroughly people's hearts are hard to predict, this Wei Bin is not easy places. On the stage, Wei Bin took the microphone and his clear baritone voice slowly sounded, today, I am honored to be invited to this meeting and to meet you all on such an occasion, you should all be younger than me, so if you don't mind, you can call me Brother Bin. Listening to Wei Bin's speech on the stage, Su Tian rolled his eyes speechlessly, 
Suddenly, he heard a commotion on the stage, and Su Tian turned his head to see that the spotlight in the middle of the stage was focused on Luo Zhen. Who was upstairs, immediately after that, Wei Bin appeared on the stage and said with deep emotion, Today, I came here not only for the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps, but also for her, my girl. Wei Bin's eyes looked up at Luo Zhen, his smile was gentle and warm, like the warm sun in winter. Luo Dai had never been in love before, and when she heard such a confession, she panicked for a moment, at the same time all the spectators in the hall had an excited look on their faces and started chanting once again, Su Tian had a face that did not care about anything, and after thinking about it, he decided to urinate, this kind of scene, which was in the name of love but full of calculation, was a bit too much for him to watch, however, at that very moment, the cold electronic voice in. His head rang out violently, I have discovered that someone has stolen your thunder, now release the commander's mission board, the first mission, destroy Wei Bin's confession and bring the focus of this scene back to you, mission success, you will receive 10,000 points and a physique enhancement card, mission failure, you receive the title of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Is there any need to think about such a choice? This mission, just complete it, if you can't complete it, there is no if. Su Tian was about to receive his mission when Luo Jin over there swarmed onto the stage again, Wei Bin looked at Luo Dai, who was close by, with a face full of deep emotion, Dai Dai, I'm really happy to see you again, congratulations on finally becoming what you want to be, finally standing on this stage as this year's highest ranking machine lady in the imperial capital, I'm really proud of you, I believe that one day in the future, you will be able to become the best battle maiden in the Yamahai Kingdom, I hope that on your way to becoming the best battle maiden in the Yamahai Kingdom, I will also be there, even though I know that one year is enough time to change a lot and you will have more and better choices, I still want to gather the courage to confess to you here today, just like I did last year, Wei Bin, I have been waiting for this day for 380 days. Are you willing to be my Wei Bin's only contracted mechanic girl in this life and the next? Wei Bin's gaze was hot, perhaps because he was overly excited, and his voice was a bit choked, the mist in his eyes reflected the glitter of his eyes, causing people to involuntarily fall into his gentle whirl, the audience under the stage, at this time moved to the tip of the nose sour, Wei Bin really good love, by such a deep love of the man for so long, is the iron heart should be turned into ten. Thousand strands of tenderness, right? so touching, my commander has never loved me so much, I do not know why, seeing others happy, I really want to shed tears Wei Bin's deep love, not only touched all the audience present, face to face to accept Wei Bin's deep love storm, never talked about love Luo Dai, the whole person shy read. In an instant all the pros and cons of all put aside, in the eyes of the heart, all were filled with this great and passionate confession, did Wei Bin love them so much, Perhaps the rank of a commander is not the only way to judge a person, maybe she could try to give Wei Bin a chance, for a while, Luo Dai thought of countless reasons to excuse Wei Bin, at this time, the audience under the stage was in high spirits, chanting desperately for Wei Bin, packed packed packed. Together together together. This further overwhelmed Luo Dai, who was ready to open her mouth and agree to his confession on the spot, just then, Luo Dai's emotions were out of control and his mind was completely lost, suddenly, a stormy voice rang out from the stage, I'm not willing. Seeing that Luo Dai had already fallen, Su Tian, at the behest of his mission, stood up violently and roared toward the stage, his voice was incredibly abrupt at this moment of happiness, it was even louder than the cheers of the audience, as if he wanted to completely shatter this cozy atmosphere, for a moment, it didn't matter if it was the entire audience or the presenter who was crying on stage, or the two parties who were at the scene of the confession, all of them looked at the source of the explosive shouts with stunned expressions, even though Su Tian had already prepared himself for the audience's attention, he still couldn't help but blush at this moment, how fucking embarrassing. The entire room instantly fell silent, and everyone present looked at Su Tian with a puzzled expression, and couldn't help but vomit in their hearts, isn't this the SSS ranked Su Tian, he didn't agree when people confessed their love, why would he disagree, isn't he confessing to him? Could it be that Su Tian and Luo Dai were just pretending to be strangers on stage, maybe they secretly had a relationship behind their backs a long time ago, then isn't this a love triangle, it's too exciting. Wei Bin was also dazed at that moment, 
at the very beginning, when Luo Zhen and Su Tian walked onto the stage together to receive the award, he was already very jealous at that moment. The long-prepared confession was interrupted by Su Tian, Wei Bin's eyes narrowed, and he instantly had a killing intent, just now, he clearly saw that Luo Zheng was moved by him, almost crying, give him another minute, no, even half a minute, ten seconds, Luo Zheng will agree with him, however, at this moment, everything came to nothing, Luo Dai's eyes were clearly focused again, Wei Bin was now simply angry and wanted to kill, as for Luo Zhen standing opposite him. Her out-of-control emotions were directly interrupted, her sanity gradually returned, and her eyes gradually became clear, she turned her head to look at Su Tian on the stage, and for a moment, she was somewhat surprised. To know, before this, she and Su Tian is just a distant look before the award began, a glance of fate, Su Tian now jumped out to interrupt the meaning of this confession, could it be that he fell in love with her at first sight, this guy really is an unreliable playboy who falls in love at first sight, you're the only Su Tian who awakened this year and became an SSS ranked commander in the imperial capital, right? I'm confessing my love to Dai Dai, so why don't you, Wei Bin clenched his fists and slowly pressed the murderous intent on his chest, asking Su Tian, I am not willing, for what purpose, I'm not willing, not much use, I just say I'm not willing, can't I, you confess to Luo Dai, whether she is willing or not is her business, what's it to me? Su Tian shrugged his shoulders and spread his hands as if he didn't understand what Wei Bin was saying, then why the hell are you jumping out now? shouldn't you give me an explanation, as he looked at Su Tian with a bitchy look on his face, Wei Bin's fire went straight to his head, the killing intent that had been suppressed with great difficulty was instantly rekindled, for a moment, he stopped pretending to be a gentleman and curses came out of his mouth, explain, I'll explain your grandmother's spiral fart, according to reason, this is your private matter, it has nothing to do with me, and I really shouldn't say anything, but what day is today, Today is the day everyone is celebrating Lousy's awakening as an SSS ranked commander, Lousy is the brightest character at this party, why do you think you have to come out and interfere, do you know that I will lose face? Didn't your mother teach you not to steal other people's thunder when you go out? It's easy to get beat up. Besides, I can't stand the hypocrisy of you acting like you're so deeply in love that you're about to write calculations on your fucking head, you fucking did this shit last year, putting people in the center of public opinion, and you do it again this year, you want to confess to a good confession, so that people see your sincerity, find a quiet place to put their own feelings of adoration to it, listen to it, so that I also respect you are a man, can bend and stretch, as a result, you are not fucking. In such a public occasion, in front of hundreds of people face confession, with all due respect, are you forcing a marriage, are you morally kidnapping Luo Dan to make her accept your confession, brother, can you be a human being, you shouldn't use this kind of trick on a little girl, and I'm ashamed of you, what's more, you're just a broken SS rank commander, confessing your love to an SS plus rank machine girl, are you worthy of that? Whether it's her family or her talent, she's much better than you, so how can you be ashamed to stick it to her, if I were you, I would have gone far away to hide for fear that people would say that I'm a wimp, but you're still licking your chops and trying to get in front of her, you go back to your mother's womb to practice for another 180 years before you really say it, if you really loved her, you wouldn't be here to stop her from running off to someone better, 7 SSS class. Commanders this year, people are blind or brain dead, they have to choose you to play this abacus, I'm sitting here and I heard it, Su Tian knows that the moment he stood up to destroy the confession, he and Wei Bin were immortal, today, either Su Tian was hit in the face, or Wei Bin was hit in the face, this ending must not be happy. Whether it is out of man to man understanding, or the problem of the main field, Su Tian does not regret coming out of this head, today, either you die or I die. So much so that when Su Tian cursed Wei Bin, he didn't hold back at all, directly exposing the disgusting calculations hidden underneath the grand and magnificent, all exposed to the sunlight, Wei Bin did not want an explanation, I don't know this explanation, is it enough? Su Tian cursed to his heart's content, and everyone present listened to his heart's content, at this time. They only realized that the original roaring love behind, but full of unpleasant, just as Wei Bin was touched as. Well as stored in the eyes of the tears, a moment disappeared, it cannot be, the CP I'm knocking on has gone cold again. 
I don't think so, is Su Tian thinking too much, yes, Su Tian wouldn't start a rumor just because she was robbed of the spotlight, right, that's disgusting, young man, you are still too young. People can see that Wei Bin has bad intentions, think about it, don't you all think that Luo Dai and Wei Bin are a couple, but what's the truth, have you heard rumors that Luo Dai and Wei Bin are close? Have you heard anything about them, I'm afraid it's all Wei Bin's doing, otherwise, why did he choose today to confess, wasn't it just so that so many of us would force Luo Dai to agree, for a while, more and more people reacted to this trick, and the eyes of the crowd looking at Wei Bin, no longer had the same envy they had just had. After listening to Su Tian's words and the murmur of the crowd under the stage, Luo Zhan's reasoning finally slowly returned, calculation, forced marriage, Su Tian's words are so cruel that even though they are hard to hear, they are not exactly what Luo Dai has had personal experience with in the past year, last year, because of Wei Bin's wide publicity, Luo Dai, who obviously did not know him, was still at the center of public opinion, the transparent giant net that had been carefully woven. In Su Tian's words finally appeared, it was only at this moment that she realized that she had just been PUA'd by Wei Bin again, all the emotions followed his rhythm, shy, touched, all of them were fake. Even, she was so close to actually agreeing with Wei Bin, Luo Dai didn't even dare to think about the consequences, this term, she was the strongest in the family as the new generation of machine maidens that the Luo family had high hopes for. If she really was emotionally superior and chose the SS class commander, it would definitely end up in the dissolution of the contract, and what would everyone say, would they say that she had betrayed their trust and disappointed Wei Bin's heart for so many years, to say that she changed her mind and left Wei Bin when she had a better one, in the end, she and Wei Bin were just nodding acquaintances, thinking about this, Luo Zhen turned her head to look at Su Tian and couldn't help but feel, Grateful, luckily, Su Tian stopped her from confessing otherwise, I'm afraid this was really going to get out of hand, moreover, since Su Tian made all the pros and cons clear, even if Luo Zhen rejected Wei Bin's confession, she wouldn't be criticized and had a way back. For a moment, Luo Dai couldn't help but feel relieved, Su Tian, don't make a face, the promise between us, how could someone with a dirty mind like yours know about it? I heard that on the day of your awakening, you broke up with your girlfriend of more than 10 years and turned your face to a beautiful teacher from your school, you are the one who is disgusted, right? How can you understand the pure love between us? Wei Bin was somewhat out of control when Su Tian talked about his pain. Angrily pointing at Su Tian's face, with a raised eyebrow, he snorted, promise, who has a promise with you, Luo Dai, does she know this herself, innocent love? You too, are the innocent love of childhood sweethearts, or the innocent love of mutual commitment at first sight, as far as I know, the other Luo Dai hasn't even spoken to you, right? The breakfast you delivered all those years ago, weren't they all eaten by the trash can, you're not talking about your love for the trash can, are you? Just as the audience was looking at Wei Bin to see how he would respond, a person suddenly jumped out from under the stage, Su Tian, don't go too far. My brother fell in love with Luo Dai's sister at first sight, and since then, he has kept his body like a jade, just waiting for her alone. Such deep love has been said by you to be so bad. What kind of intention do you have, this person in Wei Bin looks like seven dots, listen to the name, should be Wei Bin's younger brother, upon hearing this, Su Tian smiled again, love at first sight, but it was only love at first sight, how come he didn't fall in love with Ru Hua at first sight? To put it bluntly, isn't it just coveting someone's beauty, besides, Luo Dai's family is well known in the imperial capital, I don't think Wei Bin hasn't heard of it, I'm afraid that in addition to lust at first sight, he has also weighed the pros and cons, right? After all, the Luo family is a big cake that can't be eaten, toads want to eat swan meat and are not afraid of rotting their mouth Su Tian's words fell, Wei Bin's younger brother Wei Zhuan could no longer hold back, beside the S. Class machine girl who was instantly transformed, Wei Bin obediently sat in the mecha cabin, Wei Zhuan, who awakened the S-class commander this year, is also considered the pride of heaven, he would like to see what this Su Tian is really capable of, come on, Su Tian, if you have the ability, come to the ring and speak, my brother doesn't have a contracted mech yet, so I'll fight for him. 
Su Tian was about to say that his mecca isn't here when the back hem of his shirt was gently tugged a few times, Yang Shani actually came back from the toilet a long time ago, but when she saw Su Tian's table surrounded by a circle of girls, she didn't bother to move over. Later, she saw Su Tian glittering on the stage and watched him break Wei Bin's confession, although she didn't know what Su Tian's intentions were. It was always right to trust him, as a contracted machine girl, she trusted her commander unconditionally, therefore, when Su Tian needed her the most, she decided to go to him, in an instant, a three-meter high shock wave with red lightning appeared on the scene, even though the shock wave was quite a bit shorter than the other machine girls of Su Tian, as a top-class S-class machine girl, there was still a gap between her and the S-class of her opponent, in terms of height alone, she was a head taller. Not to mention, Su Tian and Yang Shani were equipped with more luxurious equipment than the others, S-class versus S-class. It's worth my life to see a battle of this caliber, isn't it awesome, is this the SSS commander's car, it's worthy of my dream commander. It's truly extraordinary, if Su Tian is willing to sign me up, I'm willing to be his 999th mech, the moment the two S-class mechs appeared, the entire scene instantly came alive, everyone's eyes flashed and their breathing became rapid, as a group of commanders who had just successfully awakened this year, the vast majority of them had yet to even contract a mecha girl of their own. As for those girls, the moment they saw young Shani's prototype, their minds were also on Su Tian's seduction, after all, if they had already contracted such a flawless machine girl, how could they look at her, a machine girl who didn't even have an S rank, of course, there were still some people who had a different opinion, I don't want to talk about it, but at first glance, Su Tian, no matter whether it's the commander level or the quality of the machine girl is much stronger than that way. Zhuan, is that considered bullying Wei Zhuan's brother, get it straight, Wei Zhuan is the one who challenged Su Tian, it's not like he's bullying the smaller one by taking the initiative to start the fight, besides, if he really goes to the battlefield, can he guarantee that all the enemies he encounters will be weaker than him? He set the challenge himself, he should pay the price, amidst the murmur of the crowd, the huge dance floor instantly turned into a battlefield as Su Tian kicked the gas and a shock wave instantly roared and hissed as it rushed out, even though the dance floor was large enough, it was worthless under the speed of the shock wave, it's been a long time since I've been in a fight, this is so cool. Young Shani's excited voice was out, after Su Tian's transformation, the body was like a brand new one from the factory, like a batch of wild ones, Su Tian punched the steering wheel, the brakes under his feet stepped on the ground, and a magnificent dick was displayed in front of the crowd, the SSS class commander's skill is truly extraordinary, this drift tail, just perfect incredible, obviously are commanders, why am I so wasteful? Not to mention other things, just this hand drift is enough for a year's worth of learning for me, the crowd under the stage cheered and whistled, Wei Zhuan on the other side was also ready by this time, the low roar of the engine echoed throughout the stadium, and Wei Zhuan drove his deadless car, again, it was a beautiful drifting tail, just stopped on the other side of the dance floor, face to face with the shock wave, Su Tian. I'll give you one last chance to apologize to my brother, Su Tian snorted, wondering where Wei Zhuan got the confidence to talk to him like that, Mr. Yang, transformed, Su Tian ordered quietly, disagreeing with the grandiose words of the weak man, with a clicking sound, Yang Shani's machine girl form once again appeared in front of everyone, Wei Zhuan's deadless was a step slower, taking a little longer to transform into a machine lady. Attack. Kill him. However, probably because he hadn't been contracted for a long time and hadn't fought before, the aura on Wei Zhuan's body, although cold and sharp, didn't have the kind of killing aura that could freeze people to ice, however, when he saw Deadless pull out two long swords from his back, his aura immediately became more ferocious, to be honest, among the S-class mechs, Deadless was considered to be of medium to high quality. The Deadless mech was pitch black, equipped with a technological blue. Light honeycomb engine, calm and light, however, the deadless and the unmodified shockwave had a common and fatal problem. That is to say, 
they were both close combat mechs, and if the enemy was good at long-range attacks, they simply didn't have the slightest ability to fight against them, however, after Su Tian retrofitted the shock wave with the S-Class Quantum Pursuit Cannon, this one weakness had completely disappeared, and Wei Zhuan obviously hadn't noticed it, or maybe he had noticed it, but he didn't have enough money to improve it. In the face of the imposing deadlist charging towards him, Su Tian didn't even move, however, the powerful aura emanating from the shockwave's body silenced the entire audience, this is a kind of murderous intent that has truly faced death, and it is cold-blooded, why do I suddenly feel a bit cold, a killing intent that can freeze the air in the scene into ice is not something that people like us can mess with. Too scary, SSS level commander is really no joke, Wei Zhuan is afraid of kicking the iron plate today, the crowd closest to the dance floor at this time, their teeth were so cold that they chattered, the goose flesh on their arms immediately shot up, and the chill went from the soles of their feet straight to their scalps, seeing Deadless coming closer and closer, Su Tian couldn't help but curl his lips, across from him. Wei Zhuan was slightly stunned, what is he laughing at, perhaps sensing Su? Tian's contempt, Wei Zhuan's anger increased, he clenched the long sword with both hands and slashed at Shockwave's neck, I am also afraid of being called a bully, how about I convince you simply and decisively, all anyone could see was Shockwave taking a few violent steps back, not even showing the sharp blades on his arms, reaching out and lightly drawing a cross in the void. With that, Shockwave instantly disappeared from the crowd, with a burst of residual shadows, he lunged forward violently, a loud clash of steel could be heard, and just as everyone covered their ears, Shockwave reappeared on the dance floor, for a moment, the entire scene fell silent, only after a few seconds did the audience begin to react, suddenly, they stood up and threw themselves against the fence. Their eyes wide with terror and their hands covering their open mouths, for a moment a feeling of terror ran through their entire bodies, only to see that on the dance floor, the right chest of the deadless mech had been punctured by a large hole, and the deadless commander was long gone, then look at that right hand raised shock wave, hand carrying, is not exactly that disappeared Wei Zhuan. In the quiet scene, the sound of liquid dripping on the dance floor was infinitely amplified, Wei Zhuan's whole person like a frightened stupid general, eyes not focusing, body shaking, sphincter not listening directly to the instructions of the brain, relaxed downward, and the shock wave that carried him like a small chick did not gasp for breath, and did not even have a trace of dirt, it just stood there calmly, smiling like a heavenly god, it was as if the person who had just killed Deadless. In an instant and captured the S-Class commander alive was not him, too dominant. Too elegant. Too beautiful. This kind of beauty came from her power over all beings and her appearance, which was comparable to that of a heavenly god, no. Maybe all this elegance comes from the smiling SSS commander Su Tian sitting in the cockpit. Is this the big move? After a deathly silence, a slightly trembling voice finally rang out from the scene, this was no one else, but Luo Zhen, who was standing on the stage, looking at the dance floor from afar, Luo Dai's trembling voice was like breaking the icy atmosphere of the scene, everyone slowly came to their senses as if they had been awakened, is this the big move? the strongest skill of the machine lady, the empowering move. How could this be possible, wasn't Su Tian awakened with? Us, right, how could he have learned the empowering move in only half a month could this be the strength of an SSS ranked commander, no. There have been people who have awakened SSS ranked commanders in the past years, but I've never heard of anyone who can learn the empowering move in only half a month, it's too scary. What kind of man is Su Tian after all the audience, all of them boiling at the same time, completely lost control due to Su Tian's astonishment, things they had never heard of before suddenly appeared in front of their eyes, shocking them beyond words, it could be said that Su Tian had directly broken their concept of SSS ranked commanders, with just one move. Su Tian did not even bully Wei Zhuan by slowly torturing him, Instead, he used a very direct and decisive way to tell Wei Zhuan the gap between them, this powerful move alone is not something Wei Zhuan can provoke, was it the perfect commander, the true strength? On the stage, Luo Zhan's eyes flickered with an unknown light, 
looking at Su Tian, she couldn't help but be a bit more curious, she had also come in contact with a few newcomers who had just awakened to SSS rank commanders this year, but without exception, none of them had an empowering move, Su Tian was truly different. On Luo Dai's side, Wei Bin's face was already extremely dark, and the anger in his chest was on the verge of swallowing him up, seeing his own brother being carried in the air by Su Tian like a small chicken, stagnant and helpless, Wei Bin hated to kill Su Tian on the spot, however, he didn't have a machinima contract, and Luo Dai hadn't agreed to his confession yet, you're lucky that your identity is not that of my enemy, therefore, I will spare your life today. But what I want to tell you is that the best commanders don't aim their cannons at their own people, but only at foreign enemies on the battlefield, don't mess with me again, your strength is nothing but a joke in my eyes, in the middle of the dance floor, Su Tian's voice slowly rang out, and what he said made everyone tremble even more, the best commander, the cannon fire will only be directed at the enemy who is approaching. This is not only a lesson for Wei Zhuan, but also a lesson for them. The shock wave slowly loosened his hand, and Wei Zhuan's body was no longer supported, and fell directly to the ground, hurry up and take her down for repairs, what I just pierced through isn't her life force, but if it takes a little longer, I'm afraid it's really hopeless. Su Tian jumped out of the mech and rushed at the host, it was only now that they reacted to the rescue, for a moment, the security guards on the stage rushed to the dance floor and carried the injured mecha goddess down, just as the crowd thought that the comedy was over, they saw Su Tian slowly turn towards the stage, his gaze following, in an instant, his gaze met the gaze of the person on the stage in the distance, Wei Bin. The audience followed Su Tian's gaze, only to see Wei Bin's face turn blue as he stared at Su Tian, as if he wanted to eat him, this comedy, it seemed like it wasn't over yet. Wei Bin. How come, your brother fought for you and lost, isn't it time for you to show up on your own, if Su Tian's earlier attempt to defeat Wei Bin in front of the entire audience was to complete the mission, then it was all about the mission now, now, it was a complete targeting of Wei Bin. Using his own brother as a shield, how good could he be? Of course, Su Tian also knew that it would be almost impossible for Wei Bin to accept the challenge, since he simply didn't have a contract with the machine, unless Luo Zhan was in agreement with his confession, only in that case would Su Tian's mission be considered a failure, However, Su Tian thought of using such provocative and insulting words to force Wei Bin to personally rip his hypocritical face apart now that the mission had not been completed and Luo Zhan had yet to give an answer, only, Wei Bin hadn't said anything yet, instead, Luo Dai's little mind was wondering, what was Su Tian doing, he had already defeated Wei Zhuan, why would he still want to provoke Wei Bin? It's hard to believe that he really fell in love with me at first sight, and loves me so much that he can't help himself. What should I do, a girl who is in the throes of love will always feel too good about herself, and will always be full of admiration for the heroic behavior of boys, just now, Su Tian stood up for her and made a big move on the dance floor to kill instantly, it simply stirred Luo Dai's hero-loving teenage heart to its peak. Luo Dai is afraid that she herself has not realized that her curiosity about Su Tian has slowly started to deteriorate. Not to mention that Su Tian is not only strong but also has a really venomous mouth, knowing that Wei Bin's confession failed and that he has no contract with the machine woman, but he still wants to pierce people's heart, actually, I can understand Su Tian, Wei Bin doing this thing is really not very generous, whether it is to his brother or to Luo Zhen. The audience off the stage at this time slowed down the god, looked at Su Tian, he's going to spearhead against Wei Bin, watched the vigilant mentality once again warming, S-class against S-class, to end in failure, S-class against S-class, not sure what the outcome will be, curiosity really makes you curious Su Tian, I know you're strong, there will be a fight between us one day, but not today. I haven't signed a contract with a machine lady yet, and besides, I'm not like you who sleeps with A bunch of women, my mind and body will only be loyal to one person, even if it's a temporary contract, an expected answer, but it still made everyone applaud. However, Su Tian had no intention of letting him go just like that, his face hadn't been completely trampled underfoot and his mission hadn't been completed yet, how could it end so easily, Wei Bin, isn't the contracted machine lady of your dreams right in front of you, hasn't she answered you yet, what's the point of retreating in such a hurry? since we have to fight someday, 
why don't we ask her today and see if she's willing. And if she is, we'll fight today, saying that, Su Tian's eyes. Looked at Luo Zhen who was standing on the side, Wei Bin clenched his fists and followed suit, more or less, he still had a trace of expectation, expecting that Luo Zhen would not refuse to face him at this time. Luo Zhen looked at Su Tian's gaze, then turned her head away and looked down at the stage. I'm truly sorry for disturbing everyone's enjoyment today because of my business, in fact, this matter was originally a farce, so let's end it today, Luo Dai turned his head to look at Wei Bin, his clear and cold voice seemed to be cut with a knife, a knife that saw blood, Wei Bin Sr., you and I originally had nothing to do with each other, last year, you unilaterally declared that you were not my non-contractor. I did not respond because I felt it was unnecessary, however, since things have become so big, I will respond to you solemnly, thank you, Senior Wei Bin, I have other plans for the matter of the covenant, and I cannot accept your confession, ladies and gentlemen, I have caused you all trouble today and made you all see the joke, so everyone's expenses today are all on my account, so eat, drink, and enjoy yourselves, and don't let this matter disturb your understanding with each other. I still have something to do, so I will retire first, Luo Zhen nodded slightly and bowed, then turned around and walked off the stage, Luo Zhen's cool voice was still ringing in his ears, Wei Bin only felt that his heart was instantly shattered into a field of glass slag, and Su Tian on the dance floor couldn't care less about Wei Bin, the icy electronic sound instantly resounded in his head, so wonderful that it was incomparable. Commander detected the completion of the first random mission. Successfully preventing Wei Bin from confessing his love and putting all the spotlight on himself. Mission completion, 100% reward, 10,000 points. Reward, a physique enhancement card. Use it. Su Tian didn't hesitate and used the physique card right away, having successfully obtained the quest reward, Su Tian held on to Yang Shani, who had transformed into a human form, and walked out as well, there was basically nothing left to gather at today's carnival, if we stayed any longer, it would be nothing more than spending the day drinking. Getting high with this group of strangers was not as much fun as getting high with Mr. Yang, he hadn't seen Mr. Yang in a few days, and his heart was starting to flutter, he stepped on the gas and headed straight for Mr. Yang Shani's house. The next morning, Su Tian opened his eyes from sleep, a night of charming, spare Su Tian's physique has been strengthened, but some can't stand it, looking at Yang Shani still sleeping, Su Tian quietly climbed up and made breakfast, while eating, while watching the morning news on TV, the dome was investigated, this economic organization in the end, what is the ulterior motive, notice. Recently, there has been a lot of magical beast activity in the far outskirts of the practice area, so please ask the citizens of the outskirts to stay away from the far outskirts of the practice area as much as possible, an unknown warship has been detected near an island called Misen Island in our country, our deep snow warship has gone to investigate, there is no sign of war for the time being. While watching the news on TV, Su Tian suddenly remembered the economic organization above the dome, the external kinetic energy core that was removed from Hades that day was still in the commander's warehouse, and after being busy for so many days, he'd almost forgotten about it if he didn't pay attention, Su Tian clicked on the commander's warehouse and took a closer look at it. S-Class External Kinetic Energy Core, the product of the F area in the far suburb of the training ground, it has been completely purified, and when loaded with this kinetic energy core, it can provide an additional 500T of carrying capacity and 500T of kinetic energy deployment system for the machine girl, just the fact that it was produced in the far suburban leveling area F was enough to shock Su Tian, regardless of the rest of the information. Area F of the far suburban leveling area was already considered a very deep area. When Su Tian had fought with the flying steel dragons on that day, he had not even made it halfway to area F, how could Qin Shou have obtained such a forbidden leveling area, how did Qin Shou get that kind of equipment in the middle of a forbidden area, did Qin Shou get it on his own, or did above the dome support him from behind, Su Tian's mind whirled in an instant, but he could not come up with an answer, however, this external kinetic energy core was already completely purified, so it was thought that it shouldn't be harmful to the mecha, or else how could Qin Shou have directly implanted it into his mecha, 
although this thing wasn't very useful for Su Tian, I'm afraid it might play a crucial role for Zhang Yinqing's mother, whether or not she could return to the battlefield depended on it. Thinking about this, Su Tian hurriedly called Zhang Yinqing. Yinqing, are you free today? How about I come to your house as a guest? Well, I have some work to do today, so can you meet me at the maintenance unit? After I finish, we can go home together around noon. Zhang Yanqing's voice was filled with surprise. On the one hand, she really missed Su Tian a bit. On the other hand, Su Tian went to her house, and there was no chance that her mother's problem could really heal. So much so that Zhang Yanqing happily stood up through the phone, okay. Then I'll come to see you later. After hanging up, Su Tian called Yang Shani. On Monday, he could go to the army without going to class, but Yang Shani had to go to work later and would be late. At 9.00 a.m., Su Tian arrived at the maintenance unit on time. Yang Shani was busy sweating in the maintenance room, but it was a matter of secrecy for the maintenance staff, so Su Tian couldn't reach the maintenance and could only wait outside. Su Tian was wandering around aimlessly when he bumped into Zhang Lei. What are you doing here today, Su Tian? Su Tian, what are you doing here today? I'm here to see Nian Nian's father. I'm here to see Nian Nian. I'm going to have lunch at home. And I'm going to help my mother with the maintenance, Su Tian and. Zhang Lei have become more and more familiar with each other over the past few years, and have slowly changed their names, Zhang Lei's eyes immediately lit up when he heard that Su Tian was going to the house, however, as if something occurred to him, Zhang Lei's face immediately fell, you guys go ahead, I might not be able to come back at noon, then you can see what the problem is, just come over and talk to me. Upon hearing this, Su Tian froze for a split second, on the day of the real meeting with the parents, Zhang Lei was not there, missing someone was always not good, Dad, what's wrong, is something wrong, is it difficult, go to the office and talk, when he took Su Tian back to the office, Zhang Lei's expression was completely cold, I don't know what favors above the dome has given them, why is everyone's mouth so tight. Qin Shou had been locked up for so many days, eating and drinking like he was supposed to, but he didn't say a word, not a single word, his servant mechanic is even tougher, how to torture him is useless, his mouth is sewn shut, I'm convinced that the dome is their parents, they've been caught in the act, and they're still defending it. To be honest, these two days Zhang Lei to interrogate out some valuable clues, soft also used, hard also used, as a result, froze out of the mouth of the two did not ask a little information, this makes Zhang Lei, who has been mixing with the maintenance force for so many years, can't help but feel a little bored, this matter, can I participate in it? Su Tian asked. Su Tian opened his mouth and asked. Do you have a way? I have exhausted all the way from the process, you can Zhang Lei cannot. Help but be a little skeptical, this will surely work, Mang Mang will work. Looking at Su Tian's confident face, Zhang Lei took him to the interrogation room of the Imperial Capital Vigilance Unit with a skeptical attitude, to be honest, Zhang Lei had no expectations at all, after all, after these few days of interrogation, Zhang Lei is almost certain that these people must have undergone special training, but not hard and soft, Su Tian's kind of green melon egg. I'm afraid it won't take long to hit the wall. On the other hand, as Su Tian entered the interrogation room, she looked at Hades, the king of the underworld, who had returned to human form in front of her, and her eyes narrowed slightly. Zhang Lei was truly a good person with a conscience, that day, that guy had been injured so badly, but today, he was still able to sit here in one piece, so I think Zhang Lei had gone to a lot of trouble to help her repair him. It's just too bad that these spies don't have a heart and can't tell good from. Bad, come on, tell me everything you know, let me tell you from the beginning, I am not as good tempered as they are, and what I say is not to my liking, if I could beat you up that day, I can still do it today. Su Tian crossed his legs and asked then you kill me directly, I do not know anything, you cannot ask anything. The woman on the other side has a scornful face, as if Su Tian's threat is not painful to her, Tiger does not give up, you really treat me like a sick cat forced login. In an instant, information about Hades, the king of the underworld, was instantly displayed in front of Su Tian's eyes, is it you, the neurological system begins the forced invasion the neurological system invasion is successful, and Hades, the king of the underworld's mind control is obtained, interaction system invasion successful, obtaining Hades, the king of the underworld's interaction rights.
The woman had just realized that someone had forcibly logged into her and was about to kick her. Out of the machine lady system, who knows, without waiting for her reaction, the spirit system and the interaction system collapsed at the same time, for a moment, Hades, the king of the underworld, had completely become a toy in Su Tian's hands. Seeing that the woman in front of him was completely stunned, Su Tian pursed his lips and smiled, it should be said that this forced login function was quite versatile, he himself did not even think that this trick could be used to interrogate prisoners at the time when he had awakened this talent, setting the recorder on the table, Su Tian opened the book of questions that Zhang Lei had prepared beforehand, do you have any other identities above the dome besides the appearance of an economic organization, only seeing the woman's lifeless eyes looking forward, she slowly opened her mouth after hearing Su Tian's question, above the dome is an economic organization jointly founded by several foreign countries, and apart from its headquarters being located in the imperial capital, it actually takes care of the underground equipment manufacturing of the entire mountainous and seaside country. Su Tian didn't ask as many questions as he wanted to, but rather followed the flow of the questions based on the book of questions Zhang Lei gave him, have you thoroughly infiltrated the Imperial Capital Maintenance Force by providing them with economic support? I don't know, everyone's mission above the dome is private and they don't inform each other. Then do you have any idea who else in the Imperial Capital Maintenance Force is above the dome besides the Wu family, the woman's eyes? Flashed with a hint of confusion, as if she was recalling the information in her mind, I don't know, I tried to look for it before, but I couldn't find any clues, but the power above the dome must have already infiltrated the maintenance force, and even completely infiltrated some of the people. How can you tell which people have been infiltrated by above the dome, all of us in above the dome have a cherry blossom on our crotch that can only be seen with a violet light, question after question was asked, and the woman gave the answer she knew to the letter. Even though Su Tian already had a rough idea of what was above the dome, she was still taken aback by the answer, Zhang Lei was right. The financial support they had provided to the Imperial Capital's maintenance force for so many years had really made their forces go deeper and deeper, Sakura, it's hard to believe that the land behind above the dome is actually this land. After turning off the recorder, Su Tian put away his question book and prepared to go to bed, but he suddenly remembered the scene this morning. External Kinetic Energy Core A product of the Forbidden Land Those accessories from the Forbidden Land on top of the dome, did you make them yourself? No, in order to develop our economy over the years, although we have collected a lot of top technology from the Shanghai land, at the moment the highest we can produce is accessories that are below C class, the prohibited accessories are still mainly based on special channels, special channels, what channels? Where are the channels? The special channel was a special underground channel that led to the depths of the Forbidden Land, it was only two kilometers outside the sixth ring of the Imperial Capital, 1,000 meters underground, these last questions completely confirmed Su Tian's suspicions this morning, the top of the dome was indeed connected to the Forbidden Land, and even had a direct channel to the depths of the Forbidden Land. I'm afraid that the industry chain above the dome didn't just cover the human realm, but also the beast realm, no wonder these beasts have been getting stronger and stronger in recent years, and the frequency of the beast flood is getting higher and higher, so there really is someone behind the scenes, if we can chew up that big cake above the dome, combined with the cutting-edge technology of Shanghai country, we might be able to completely kill those steel beasts, moreover, at that time, the Dome would not be broken and would no longer be a thorn in the side of the mountain sea kingdom, after understanding this, Su Tian picked up the interrogation book and recorder and left the interrogation room, Father, what's inside may shock your imagination, don't let others know, Su Tian handed the items to Zhang Lei, smiling slightly as he instructed, Zhang Lei didn't react for a moment, and only after a few seconds did he come to his senses. She told you everything? She told everything she knew, everything, right here in this recorder, so make sure you don't let anyone you don't feel comfortable with stay around while you listen, Su Tian was personally interrogating, and of course he knew exactly how explosive this information was, he's been pulling off one big stunt after another lately, so this kind of small stunt might as well just let Zhang Lei have it. It's also considered a greeting gift for his father-in-law, dad, listen to. Yourself, I will go find Nian Nian, we will wait for you to come home to have lunch together, 
On the other side, Su Tian had just arrived at Zhang Yanqing's maintenance room when he saw her taking a commander out. Thank you, Master Zhang, how much do you think this repair will cost? It's all about contributing to the country, so it's good to talk about the price. I'll give you a discount. Su Tian heard Zhang Yanqing's words. And the appreciation in his eyes grew even more, this is his wife. It was said that when a man falls in love with a woman, he looks at either her face or her body, but like Zhang Yanqing, such a woman, want to face value has face value, want to figure has figure, character is also top, really let Su Tian's heart more and more for the throbbing, how could he, Su Tian, let such an excellent woman become his contracted aircraft maiden? After sending off the last commander and his nymphs, Zhang Yanqing turned back to see Su Tian smiling out of the corner of his eye. Pulling Su Tian back to the maintenance room, Zhang Yanqing asked in a delicate manner, Husband. Where were you just now? I just came out and didn't see you. I went to help my father interrogate a criminal, and I helped him solve his problem so that he could come home with us for dinner, Su Tian's heartbeat suddenly quickened and his head couldn't help but turn around. Su Tian followed Zhang Lei and Zhang Yanqing and they went home together, it was the first time Su Tian had met his mother-in-law, and he was a little nervous, Zhang Lei, who was also nervous, had been waiting for this day since the last time Su Tian said that he would be able to help his wife with her repairs so that she could return to the battlefield, after so many years of waiting, his heart had long been numb with pain. In anticipation, Zhang Lei had even prepared himself for a lifetime of not being able to stand on the battlefield with his wife, but at this moment, Zhang Lei's heart was beating hard again when he saw the incomparable confidence in Su Tian's body, is it possible that his biggest regret could be fixed in his lifetime, he was so afraid that all of this was just an illusion, for a while, Zhang Lei, who was as upright as a poplar tree in the army, could not help but hunch his back at this time. You are Su Tian, right? He really is a handsome person. When the crowd arrived home, a woman with a dusty temperament was already waiting at the door, the moment she saw the trio return, she rushed to greet them, she was smiling softly, and although she wasn't tall at 162, she had excellent proportions, and her legs were slender and long, Zhang Yanqing just like her like 10%, Su Tian do not need to think all no, this is his mother-in-law, Mulan. Su Tian just busy walking forward, towards the woman bowed, Su Tian hurriedly stepped forward and bowed to the woman. My name is Su Tian, I am the commander of Nian Nian, seeing Su Tian's nervous appearance, Mulan's slightly sad eyes faded a bit more, and then a slight smile appeared, come in quickly, come in quickly, are you thirsty, I'll get you some water. Mulan rushed to pour water for Su Tian, who hurriedly called out to Mulan. Su Tian hastily stopped Mulan, mother-in-law, don't be busy, I'm not thirsty, can I take a look at your injured kinetic core first? The moment Su Tian spoke, Mulan's back suddenly froze, to be honest, this old injury of hers had been around for many years and was part of the old injury, for so many years, whenever Zhang Lei heard of a great repairman, she would always take her to see him, and even her own daughter ended up becoming a repairman, however, the part she had an injury on was the kinetic energy core, which was completely beyond repair, how many senior repairers would look at such a serious injury and end up frowning and shaking their heads, Mulan had lost hope long ago, she was only happy that the war had left her with one life, and that she could at least accompany Zhang Lei and Zhang Yanqing's father-daughter duo, that was enough. Some time ago, Zhang Lei returned home and hugged her, saying that the commander of the Nianqing Compact had the means to repair the kinetic core. Although Mulan's face showed joy, her heart could not stop beating, after all, it is an 18-year-old kid, the commanding officer has only just woken up, even how to repair the mech is estimated to have not yet studied to understand it, how to deal with the difficulty of such a big issue, fear is not bragging. But even Yen Yen spoke up for Su Tian and assured her that Su Tian would do what he said, only then did Mulan become more curious about Su Tian, Su Tian, the maintenance room is ready, Mulan, you should go in with Su Tian and come out later, then you can go back to the battlefield. Zhang Lei saw Mulan freezing and hurriedly urged him, he had waited for a day, really too long. Come on, mother-in-law, trust me, I will definitely help you repair the kinetic energy core, listening to Zhang Lei and Su Tian's words, he felt his daughter's clenched hand, Mulan nodded and stopped resisting, inside the maintenance room, 
at this time, Mulan transformed into a vehicle form, it was a military all-terrain vehicle with a high chassis clearance, no matter if it climbed a slope or crossed a trench, it was no problem. However, due to the damage to the kinetic core, its power supply was intermittent, and it was already doing its best to maintain its vehicle form, there was no way for her to change from her machine girl state, seeing Su Tian's frown, Zhang Lei's heart couldn't help but sink, Su Tian circled the buggy twice, gently exhaled, and slowly lowered his eyebrows, if we were to repair the kinetic energy core directly, the difficulty would indeed be too high, even I have no way to repair it. Su Tian's words were still unfinished, but upon hearing this, Zhang Lei's entire body was like a deflated ball, instantly collapsing, you don't really need to repair this broken kinetic energy core if you want your mother-in-law to transform smoothly, I have another method, the mood was like riding a roller coaster, Zhang Lei only felt that his mood was going up and down, up and down, Zhang Lei couldn't help but punch Su Tian. Of course, he didn't dare to use too much power for fear of breaking. Su Tian, immediately, Zhang Lei and Zhang Yenqing stepped back to make way for Su Tian's maneuver. Only to see that in Su Tian's hands, he suddenly pulled out a set of equipment at an unknown time, it was the same thing that Su Tian had taken out after the battle with Qin Shou's Hades that day, although Zhang Lei couldn't understand the maintenance, Zhang Yenqing did, the moment she saw this external kinetic energy core, she knew what Su Tian's thoughts were, Su Tian, how could he come up with such a method, is he a genius? Under the shocked looks of the father and daughter, Su Tian's hands were lightning fast, and every screw was smoothly placed where it should be, Zhang Yenqing had been working as a repairman for a couple of years, and she unexpectedly realized that Su Tian's hand speed was even faster than hers, and his accuracy was also much higher than hers, he no longer even knew what Su Tian's real strength is, but he had a vague feeling that with his SS rank, he couldn't match Su Tian's strength. Without realizing it, half an hour passed in a flash, even though Su Tian was very confident in the effect of his installation, he could not help but be a bit slower, after all, he was doing repairs for his own mother-in-law and had no intention of making the slightest mistake, this set of external kinetic energy core, I have checked it, there is no problem, it can provide an additional 500T of storage and 500T of kinetic energy deployment system, in addition, I also replaced a set of engines. Off-road vehicles with curvature engines will definitely work better, there's also this annihilation, I've also returned it to its original owner, so it won't reduce mother-in-law's overall combat power, upon hearing Su Tian's words, Zhang Lei and Zhang Yenqing's jaws dropped, 500T of bearing capacity and 500T of kinetic energy. Curvature Engine S-Class Annihilation Knowing that Mulan was only an S-Class mecha, after Su Tian's modifications, it had successfully stepped into the S-plus class, mother-in-law, stand up and feel it, Su Tian's words fell, and Mulan slowly sat up. She clearly felt that the strength of her usual life had completely disappeared, Zhang Lei saw the surprise in Mulan's eyes and tugged on her hand to run straight out into the courtyard, excited like a child who's eaten candy, Su Tian and Zhang Yenqing looked at the back of the duo as they ran out and looked at each other and couldn't help but burst out laughing, then rushed to follow them out, only to see the ultimate McKellen mech, which was about 2 meters and 5 meters tall, constantly. Flipping over and over in the courtyard, Zhang Lei sat in the mech's cabin and felt Mulan making it do all sorts of actions she never dared to think of in her life again, the courtyard was filled with the couple's laughter, and the dark clouds that had accumulated over the Zhang family's heads were finally lifted, and the repression of the past few years was completely released at this time, looking at her parents running and jumping, Zhang Yenqing couldn't help but have a sore nose and tears. In her eyes, husband, thank you so much. Her mother's injuries and illnesses had always been a heavy burden on her heart, she had learned mech maintenance for so many years, but she had never been able to learn how to repair the kinetic energy core, every time she saw her mother behind her and her father secretly sobbing behind her back, Zhang Yenqing's heart couldn't help but throb with pain, unable to help herself, she hated herself even more for not being able to learn how to repair the kinetic energy core, at that moment, all of. Her mother's problems were solved by Su Tian, and that heavy burden finally fell to the ground, for a moment, Zhang Yenqing's tears rushed out and dripped all over her face, and Su Tian reached out to hold Zhang Yenqing in his arms and gently patted her back, 
at this time, no sound is better than sound, everything is in no words, until a warm touch came from the lips, only, that warmth and moisture were instantly separated at the touch. And before Su Tian had time to react, Zhang Yinqing retreated and joined in the cheering, I don't know how long has passed. Zhang Lei, who was holding Mulan, ran in to see them both sweating, but he could not suppress the smile on their faces, ha too good, how many years have I not experienced such a boiling blood feeling, wife, we can finally stand side by side on the battlefield again, Su Tian, I really thank you for letting me regain the ability to transform into a mech, Mulan's eyes were slightly red because he was too excited, and his voice was slightly choked, his eyes becoming more and more tender as he looked at Su Tian, when a mother-in-law looks at her son-in-law, the more she looks, the more she likes him, seeing Zhang Lei and his wife in such a state of excitement, Su Tian had the feeling that it was really worth it for him to work for a few hours, mom, I'm just upgrading your own equipment now, after you get used to the new equipment in your body, you can add some more powerful equipment, Su Tian smiled and instructed. Su Tian, these things of yours are not cheap, are they? Whether it's the external kinetic energy core or the warp engine, it's not something you can just get, look at how much it will cost and all, I'm giving it to you, Zhang Lei, although he didn't know much about this aspect of upgrading, but these full-featured high-level equipment were obviously not something that could be measured in terms of money, and although he didn't know if he could afford to pay for them, his attitude had to be right. Dad, you're out of line, I'm just doing what I can to. Help mom, the family helps each other, how can we measure it with money? Su Tian frowned and felt a bit helpless for a while, he had already contracted Zhang Lei and Mulan's most precious treasure, how much money would it take to match that love, if he really wanted to do the math, it was he, Su Tian, who had taken advantage of it, besides, he'd just gotten over 100 billion and a mech modification shop on the dome some time ago. To be honest, the only thing he needs right now is money, Su Tian, mommy knows that you are an able man and mommy does not want to be too formal with you, you can't accept the money, but this destruction, mommy still wants to give it to you, looking at Mulan handing the annihilation to himself, Su Tian was ready to refuse, Su Tian was ready to refuse. Su Tian, mom is really happy to be able to transform back into a mecha and go back to the battlefield, but after so many years, my sharpness has almost worn off, and this annihilation blade is still in my hands, but I can't unleash its power, mom knows that you have no shortage of equipment, but she doesn't want it to be buried in my hands, since S-rank equipment is still rare, and the annihilation can devour the essence of magical beasts and evolve, so take it, each of Mulan's words were. Heartfelt truths. So many years of injuries had dulled all the sharpness in her body, and there was no longer the majestic aura of before, she might still be able to stand on the battlefield one day, but after all, she wasn't the same god-killer mecha she was before. Annihilation will only become duller if it follows her, Su Tian nodded and finally picked up the annihilation blade, when everyone returned to the dining room, the food had already been prepared and the table set, at the table, Zhang Lei asked, Su Tian, the mech modification shop on top of the dome that was awarded to you last time, have you visited it yet? No, there were a lot of things to do a while ago. So I haven't been able to go over and see it, Su Tian replied, I remember that mech. Modification shop can not only modify, there is also a huge parts manufacturing plant behind it, the back manufacturing, front modification, is one, if used properly, for your mech improvement, is quite big. Su Tian was shocked, what, there's an accessory manufacturing plant in the back, then I'll take the time to go there in the next two days and see what it's all about, besides, the national competition will start in two months, so if you have time, you can go to the far suburb leveling area to fight more monsters and at least upgrade your 2S class mechs to 4 stars to get a relatively high ranking in the competition. Also, the magic beasts in the far suburb training area have been getting more and more restless lately, and I don't know what's going on in the forbidden land in the depths, good. It's just hunting magic beasts, I'm happy to do it. Su Tian had originally intended to do this recently, after all, the rewards from killing monsters were still quite high, the slave grade crystals and warrior grade crystals in his hand were good for upgrading equipment when the time came, so the more, the better, after eating lunch and resting a bit. 
Zhang Lei and Zhang Yanqing still had some work to finish, so they went back to the army together, while Su Tian was getting ready to go to a mechmodding shop, mainly to see what grade of accessories the part factory could actually make, at that time, whether it was for his own use or to sell, it would be a profitable business, moreover, if they could access the secret technology, they might be able to develop high-quality accessories on their own, which would be a great achievement. Coincidentally, Yang Shani didn't have classes in the afternoon, so he took the initiative to request to go with him, and the S-Class supercar drove for over an hour before Su Tian finally arrived at the mech modification shop, to be honest, before coming here, Su Tian thought it was just a simple tuning shop, but who knows, it is simply an underground RD kingdom, the super long passage full of sense of technology, even shockwave throttle to the end, have been driving for a long time, Su Tian. Even dare not think, the dome above in the end how much manpower and resources spent before building such a large military kingdom. The moment the gate opened, the heat wave hit his face, there was not a single person inside the parts factory, but all the machines were running in an orderly manner, standard high-tech mechanized production, Su Tian's scalp went numb for a while, he couldn't help but wonder what the Shanghai Kingdom officials were thinking, that they would take such a huge high-tech military kingdom and give it to him for free as a reward, crazy. Su Tian was considered to have a basic understanding of this huge factory, as he had logged into the underground kingdom's network system, connected to the database, and backed up all the information, although this place looked very noble, it was still more or less backward, and the highest quality of the accessories that could be produced was only D-grade, and it was still the most common type on the market. Su Tian was a bit disappointed for a while, he thought that it should be at least some high-level accessories, in fact, being able to produce D-grade accessories is already considered very good, I see that D-grade accessories on the market is already as high as 20 million, seeing that Su Tian was not very satisfied, Yang Shani reassured him, although it is true that the D-level is not much use to me, but when sold, 70% profit, can be said to be profiteering. Su Tian looked at such a high profit, but also relieved, sighed in his heart, no wonder the accessory dealers are all clamoring to be the capital, this is also too terrible it, with such a continuous production line, is he still worried about not having enough money, Su Tian slowed down his thoughts, and then upgraded and strengthened the servers of the underground kingdom, then rebuilt the core algorithms and upgraded the secret keys, the firewall and defense equipment were also completely upgraded, and all personal privileges were revoked. At this point, all the people and accounts that had previously contacted this underground kingdom were unable to log in and access it, after several hours, Su Tian completely changed the name of this underground kingdom, at the same time, a system was set up so that the next time, even though they wouldn't have to go here, they would be able to know all the information and adjust the production plan in real time. When he came out of the underground kingdom, it was already past 5.00 p.m., Su. Tian's initial thought was to go straight home, but after some consideration, he finally turned to the far suburb of the leveling area, Firstly, there was nothing to do if he went back so early, and secondly, he hadn't killed any monsters for a few days, so his hands were a bit itchy, as it happened, he was on his way to the very edge of the leveling area, so he just went there to get his hands dirty, in addition, the slave level crystals he had collected from killing monsters in the far outskirts of the leveling area had already exceeded 700. After he collected a thousand of them, he would be able to upgrade his S rank equipment, although it was impossible to level up the equipment any further, there was still no problem giving it some power so that Yang Shani's star level would also rise faster, by the time he reached the outermost edge of the leveling area, the sky had begun to darken, I don't know if it was because it was getting late, but at this time, the far suburban leveling area was filled with hordes of steel demonic beasts, there were smaller ones like steel moles and steel rabbits that didn't cause much damage, there were also slightly more powerful ones, like the steel falcons that flew through the sky from time to time, however, these were not Su Tian's targets, right now, their position was still at the edge of the farthest reaches of the leveling area, so for Su Tian, these small magical beasts with little combat power, there was no need to kill them, besides, killing them would only expose his position. 
At this time Yang Shani had already changed into a mech form, after all, the movement of the mech that flies up is slightly smaller than the engine roar of a sports car, Su Tian drove the shock wave mech directly into the depths of the far suburb of the leveling area, only slowly slowing down when it had flown nearly 5 kilometers, you try to use your full strength as much as possible. And I'll record your stats and those of the minion class steel beasts, Su Tian had been more than a little. Curious about the Forbidden Land ever since Zhang Lei had told him yesterday that something was stirring in the Forbidden Land, after all, with the current technology, it was completely impossible to detect what kind of existence existed within the Forbidden Land. If one wanted to fully penetrate the interior of the Forbidden Land, it was inevitable that one would first need to clearly understand what kind of magical beasts existed in the first layer of protection of the Forbidden Land, the depths of the farthest outskirts of the leveling area, as well as their characteristics, Supreme Commanders, do not fight unprepared battles. Young Shani hadn't moved since the last beast flood, and she was also excited at this time, especially since Su Tian had loaded her up with annihilation before she came to the training ground this time, she felt like she was much stronger than the last time, when she encountered the steel wolves again, Yang Shani struck, shock wave stood in the path of the iron wolves with the black destruction in her hand, silently standing there. The steel wolves had been hungry all day and suddenly saw a machine woman in front of them, and even though they had a feeling that something was wrong with the situation, they couldn't think too much with their stomachs rumbling, just as the steel wolves pounced on them, Yang Shani moved, there was a strong murderous aura emanating from the annihilation, and this murderous aura seemed to have materialized, causing the air to become distorted. Between raising his hand and waving his sword a steel wolf was cut down, and no steel wolf could withstand a blow from annihilation, in no time, the ground was littered with the corpses of the steel wolves, and an entire group of steel wolves had been completely annihilated, the annihilation in Yang Shani's hand, after tasting the taste of blood, its body glowed black, and after consuming the essence of a group of steel wolves, the annihilation also began to recharge. At the same time, Su Tian's commander's warehouse was slowly accumulating points and slave-level crystals, after entering the Forbidden Land, Su Tian could clearly feel that the number and types of the Iron Demon Beasts were much more numerous than those in the peripheral area of the far suburb leveling zone. Moreover, the biggest difference between the Iron Demon Beasts in the Forbidden Land and the Iron Demon Beasts in the Edge Zone was that they would actively attack, however, it was a good thing that the Shock Wave had undergone several maintenance and upgrades by Su Tian, and at this time, it was almost nothing to worry about for this kind of slave-level Steel Demon Beasts, so much so that wherever the Shock Wave passed through, not a single Steel Demon Beast was able to escape alive, after three hours of frantic killing, from the Forbidden Land to the edge of the farthest outskirts of the leveling area, Yang Shani's energy was basically almost depleted, and he was panting. Slightly. Although the steel demon beasts he encountered weren't high level, and he hadn't even encountered a single battle soldier level, he couldn't help but have a large number of them, and killing them all the way back like this was actually a bit tiring, Su Tian looked at the moon hanging high in the sky and said slowly, on this trip, Yang Shani has killed a total of 326 Iron Demon Beasts and has obtained 326 crystals of the Minion Grade, together with the 781 that Su Tian had originally accumulated, the total was 1107, this had completely met and even exceeded Su Tian's expectations, 1000 Minion Grade Crystals was enough to upgrade an S-Class accessory, but Su Tian still hadn't thought about which one he wanted to upgrade, Far Suburb Training Area, Maintenance Base. Chen Yen had just finished her day's work and was heading home when she heard a sports car roaring outside, before she could get out, she saw a man rushing towards her, he grabbed her in his arms with one hand, compared to Yang Shani and Zhang Yinqing, Chen Yen was almost the person who saw Su Tian the least, but there was really no way around it, after all, Su Tian had contracted three mechs, and Chen Yen's workplace was far away in the suburbs, so of course she couldn't be with him day in. And day out, after not seeing Su Tian for many days, Chen Yen seemed to have gotten used to the feeling of not being able to see him, and then she was suddenly hugged by him, for a moment, her red eyes actually hurt, why did it take you so long to come to me hearing Chen Yen's tender and sticky complaints, Su Tian's heart immediately softened into a mess. 
Chen Yen, who has always been cold to outsiders, also has such a soft appearance that Su Tian cannot help but feel proud, for a while, mixed emotions in the heart intertwined, Su Tian can only hug the person in his arms, hug a little tighter, this day in the maintenance room below, Su Tian and Chen Yen also count mutual understanding, but afterward, Su Tian was busy legs, does not care to come up to see her, I'm sorry, it's my fault, it's okay, I know you're busy, so I don't blame you, Chen Yen. Got out of Su Tian's embrace and saw Yang Shani with a narrow smile on her face and blushed for a while, Yang Shani walked up to hold Chen Yan's hand, Ching Ching sister, tonight, Su Tian will be in your hands, I'm tired for the whole day, and I'll go back to rest first. After saying that, he also invited Chen Yan to gently pat his hand twice, with that, he turned around and left Chen Yan's office, the roar of a sports car sounded outside the door, and Yang Shani decisively jumped out, leaving Chen Yan speechless all the way to the wind, Su Tian almost stepped on the accelerator, ice blue S-class racing car is simply flying fast, looks like a blue flash, in the city of nightfall, blink of an eye and then disappeared, it was only after he arrived home and urged Chen Yen to take a shower that Su Tian's pounding heart slowly calmed down, the entire room was filled with black, white, and gray tones, just like Chen Yan's character, quiet and unchallenged, Chen Yen took a shower and changed into a Chong Sam that was just above the knee. As soon as Su Tian turned her head, she was shocked by the beauty in front of her, the light green Chong Sam is the most white, lining Chen Yen seems to be shining, slender style is her body concave and convex, extraordinarily beautiful stance is highlighted to the full, a look at the heart of people happy, Su Tian cannot help but think, Chen Yen usually always wear the uniform of the security guards, it is really a shame that this good body, however, it was also really cheap for him, Chen Yen. Slowly walked up to him, slim waist swayed, usually cold aura disappeared, replaced by an indescribable charm, Su Tian was not easy to calm down heartbeat again uncontrollable wildly jumping over, then a night of spring color, the next day, two people in the early morning at 6.30, woke up at the same time. Long time work and rest routines, has long made Chen Yang has been on time than the alarm clock biological clock, but also thanks to her long training in the military, the ability of the body to adapt and resist are not bad, at this time there is no special discomfort, Su Tian, on the other hand, was even more cheerful, showing no signs of fatigue at all, according to Su Tian's plan. Today they would continue to go to the farthest edge of the leveling area to kill monsters, and at the same time, Su Tian also planned to record the data of the Ice Phoenix Mecha and see how to improve it when the time was right, because he hadn't come to Chen Yen a while ago, so many good things in Su Tian's commander's warehouse hadn't been loaded for her, fortunately, Su Tian never forgot her and always remembered to keep a copy of the equipment for her as well, the Ice Phoenix mech itself had strong protection, but not very strong combat power, and due to its heavy body, it was not very fast, as a Result, it often acted as a sandbag on the battlefield, taking a lot of damage but having no way to attack. Last time, Su Tian equipped it with the curvature engine, which first allowed its speed to increase dramatically, and then equipped it with the superconducting weapon electromagnetic cannon, which allowed it to have the means to attack from a long distance, in this way, the Ice Phoenix is also considered to be a mech that can carry, fight, and also run. Su Tian took out the reward equipment given by the troopers last time from the commander's warehouse, Grade S equipment, wind stabilizing wings. Grade A equipment, phantom sound gun. These two pieces of equipment, one could give the mech the ability to fly, and the other could give the mech the ability to fight in close combat, whether it was Yang Shani or Zhang Yinqing, they had the ability to fly themselves, so this wind stabilizing wing would definitely go to Qin Yan, as for the phantom gun, Su Tian had also struggled with whom to give it to, but after thinking it over, he decided to give it to Qin Yan. After all, Yang Shani already had annihilation, while Zhang Nianqing's original body was a submarine, so equipping him with a phantom gun was a bit overkill. 
Soon, Su Tian loaded Qin Yan with these two pieces of equipment, and then connected all the systems and energies. Today, Su Tian planned to fight from the outskirts inward, so that Qin Yan could better adapt to these two pieces of equipment as well. After all, the Forbidden Land was no joke. A careless move could easily pulverize one's body. One could not rush in like a reckless person without preparation. That would simply be a death sentence. After all the equipment was installed, Qin Yan. Instantly transformed into his mecha form, name, Chen Yen Comprehensive Rating, S-Class Ice Phoenix Applicable Energy, Nuclear Energy, Solar Energy, Fuel Energy Mecha Material, Rhenium Alloy Steel Plus Special Glass Firepower, Melee, 6000 Ranged, 6000 Comprehensive Battle Power, 13000 Ground State Shield Value, 5000 Accessories. Curvature Engine S, Superconducting Weapon Electromagnetic Cannon S, Wind Stabilizing Wings S, Phantom Sound Cannon A, let's go, let's go to the edge and see how strong it is. Su Tian said and was about to go out, at that moment, Chen Yan's cell phone suddenly rang, what is it, Mama Prison has been taken over, the prisoner mechs have all been looted, do you know who did it, good. I'm going to the leveling area now, you guys stabilize the situation and wait for me there. After hanging up the phone, Chen Yan hurriedly looked at Su Tian, who had heard her call and guessed the situation. In Mamba Prison, the prisoner mechs were not of a very high rank, but due to their severe anti-human tendencies, they were able to erupt with a power that was slightly higher than their rank. But isn't this a gift of points? Su Tian remembered that the first curvature engine was given by Killing the captured mechs, isn't that my weapon? Su Tian excitedly pulled Chen Yen and headed out, worried about not having a suitable opponent. However, the entire Mamba prison could be taken over, and to be honest, Su Tian did have some concerns, after all, the Mamba prison was right next to the Forbidden Land, could it be that the intelligent magic beasts in the Forbidden Land had done this, then, the development of those magical beasts might truly be beyond their imagination. At this moment, Su Tian's cell phone also rang. Hello, Nian Nian. Su Tian, urgent mission, my father has just received information that a large number of high-level magical beasts have appeared near the forbidden land of the far suburb training area, the maintenance force has already begun to gather their manpower and prepare for battle, can you come? On the other side of the phone, Zhang Nianqing's voice was a bit urgent. Obviously this situation she was in touch with Su Tian about the first time she got this message, go, I'll be right there, okay, I will go. Talk to my father now, after saying that, the phone was hung up. Su Tian hurriedly called Yang Shani as well, telling her to go to the far outskirts of the practice area to wait for the vigilant force, so that when they gathered together, they would also be able to use a greater power. With that, Chen Yen transformed into an S-Class racing car and drove Su Tian to the far suburban training grounds. When they arrived, the ice-cold squad was already waiting for them. The last time Su Tian had heroically saved them from the fire was still fresh in their minds. As soon as the members of the ice-cold squad saw Su Tian, their hearts sank into their stomachs. On that occasion, Su Tian had taken on a hundred of them, in the end, he had successfully killed a battle general class steel dragon, this kind of strength was enough to make them feel comfortable and rely on him, at the same time, Yang Shani and Chen Yen met each other for the first time, exchanged pleasantries, and then looked at Su Tian in the blink of an eye in front of the crowd. Su Tian looked at the crowd and said in a deep voice, everyone is here, let's go to the front. The far outskirts of the leveling area, the edge of the forbidden land, the air was filled with the strong smell of gunpowder, and the iron wraiths and the vigilantes had fought each other long ago, a shell was fired from the depths of the forbidden land, a group of VPC members crawled into the trenches, and if they weren't careful, they would be blown to bits, in the sky, the commander was piloting a fighter jet, firing bullets into the depths of the forbidden land like the spring rain in June. As fine and dense as a cow's hair, no, with just one wave of firepower against each other, they were beaten back, in previous beast tides, this kind of fierce confrontation was actually quite common, but this time, it was unusually fierce. 
Stainless steel giants that had never appeared in the past kept hitting the defense line set up by the maintenance troops, falling in waves after waves, as if they didn't feel any pain, as if they weren't afraid of death at all, Captain, we have discovered that the magical beasts in the three regions of the Forbidden Land, G, H, and I, are converging on the F region. And we have not yet gathered the basic information about the magical beasts in the I region, so I am afraid it will be a bit. Difficult John Lay's brows were knitted together, and his eyes were fixed on the locations marked in red, the ominous feeling in his heart grew stronger, I'm afraid that another beast tide, even more violent than before, is about to break out. What exactly was in the middle of the forbidden land? Why do those steel beasts look like they're being manipulated, moving madly against us and those captured mechs, even taking part in the war? Zhang Lei stroked his forehead, there are too many things that can't be explained, behind him, Mulan gently patted his shoulder, some things can't be figured out, don't think about it, deal with the situation in front of us first. At least the fighters in the sky are still resisting and can suppress those magical beasts, this is the only way, Xiao Lu. Organize the defense as planned, just as Zhang Lei calmed his mind and continued to give orders, a sudden change occurred, the radar detector suddenly sounded a violent alarm, the people at the scene looked at the radar detector furiously, only to see a large number of red dots suddenly appear on the screen and slowly flatten into a straight line at a high speed, you should know that each of those red dots represented a magical beast. Are they preparing to build a city wall with their flesh? Moreover, under the all-round coverage of the army's radar detectors, what means did they use to appear so close to them without saying a word Xiao Lu, hurry, hurry to issue a citywide warning, the target of these magic beasts is afraid of the human society behind us Zhang Lei hurriedly shouted to the maintenance team members, then he said to the correspondent, notice, the first echelon of the front will continue to advance 200 meters. Into the depths of the forbidden land, the logistic troops will not move, and all the others will follow them up, yes. Xiao Lu issue an announcement to the city and gather all the senior commanders and machine girls to prepare to guard the city, if we can't resist, they will be the last force against the wraiths, as he spoke, Zhang Lei's voice was slightly choked, but his eyes were filled with light, it was a light of life and death. He must have been ready to die for his country at that moment, wearing the uniform he was so proud of, he died on the front lines of the battle against the demonic beasts, this was the last glory of a soldier, report. Captain. The demons don't know where the guns are coming from, they just keep shooting like they don't need money, our mechs are badly hurt, if they don't get fixed in time, they'll have to report us to the police, Captain. The battlefield maintenance room is already full, the mech repairers are completely inadequate, and the battlefield hospital is full of injured commanders. As he listened to news after news from the maintenance crew, Zhang Lei's eyes flashed with a hint of recklessness, looking at the precarious battle line, he finally realized that this war, I'm afraid, is going to be more serious than the previous times combined, quickly send the wounded airborne troops and the commanding officers to the rear while ensuring their personal safety and empty the battlefield hospital and the battlefield maintenance room as much as possible for the needy. Where's Su Tian, has he not arrived yet, to be honest, Zhang Lei seemed a bit nervous at the moment, if he hadn't really reached the point of desperation, he wouldn't want to blame everything on Su Tian, however, Su Tian was the only one who could turn the tide against the wind in this current situation, last time, Su Tian piloted a shockwave mech and was able to single-handedly take on hundreds of steel giants in the sky, this time, I'm afraid I can only trust him, he's not here yet, but, he's already in the leveling area, so it won't be long before he gets here, I'm sure he'll be here in no time, then I'm relieved, Lan, follow me and attack again, okay, Seeing Zhang Lei's invitation, Mulan didn't hesitate for a second and immediately nodded with a smile on her face. She had been looking forward to this day for eight years, she had never imagined that she would have a chance to stand on the battlefield from the time she was injured eight years ago until now, since Su Tian had given her this opportunity, she would definitely kill enough this time. At the same time, in area F of the leveling area of the far suburb, an ice blue mech and a mech with red light on a black background were riding side by side, under the effect of the engines, the two mechs were racing towards the forbidden land at a speed that was undetectable to the naked eye, Su Tian sat in the ice phoenix mech with a serious face, Su Tian carefully checked the detailed data of the ice phoenix mech, 
unaware that the front line had already reached such a critical point, because before that, he had never used the Frost Phoenix to participate in the battle, so he had to rely on the Frost Phoenix's various attributes, there are still some who do not quite understand, in case the time due to their own negligence, resulting in their own side fell into a critical situation. This would really be a big surprise, while carefully examining the A-Class Phantom Sound Gun, Su Tian suddenly discovered something he hadn't noticed before, the Phantom Sound Gun was not a weapon in the ordinary sense but a pulse weapon that belonged to the non-nuclear battery pulse, as long as Su Tian's energy source was constant, there was no need to replenish the ammunition when using it. The greatest effect of the phantom gun was its ability to disrupt communications by deactivating or destroying the electronic components in the radar system, this was only the effect of a level 1 phantom gun, when the phantom gun was upgraded to level 2 inch it could be fired remotely, even detonating the explosives in the missiles in advance, if the distance was closer, the pulse microwaves emitted by the phantom sound gun could also stun enemy mechs or steel beasts. This was something Su Tian had not noticed before. So much so that after seeing the effectiveness of the level 2 phantom sound gun, Su Tian didn't even think about it and directly upgraded its level with 100 minion grade crystals, coincidentally, there was a steel cheetah running by his feet, Su Tian directly drove the ice phoenix mech and charged up, under the acceleration of the curvature engine, the speed of the ice phoenix was directly increased to full speed, and the naked eye could only see the gusts of shadows flashing through the air. As it approached the steel cheetah, the ice phoenix mech raised the phantom sonic cannon in its right hand and pressed it, the pulse microwave charged, in an instant, the steel cheetah fell straight to the ground, in an instant, the ice phoenix mech appeared on the ground and smashed the steel cheetah's head with a single blow, this thing is really good, when used on the battlefield, wouldn't it be invincible? Su Tian was surprised, he hadn't expected this A-class equipment to be inferior to S-class equipment in the slightest, Qingqing, destination, forbidden land. Set off at full speed. Yes. Far suburb drill ground, frontline, captain, those damned magic beasts are too ruthless, their ammunition is like no money at all, bombing them indiscriminately. The main thing is that their accuracy is terrible, basically no bullets are fired, the guns are accurate, when they fought with us before, even when they fired their guns, they were only 25% accurate, at least they wouldn't cause us so much damage, but this time, our first echelon was suppressed and couldn't move at all, unable to advance even an inch, Zhang Lei's face was white. Even the blood on his lips had faded quite a bit, showing how desperate he was at this moment, after more than 10. Years of fighting these steel beasts, this was the first time he had been beaten without any power to fight back, and his previous combat experience was of no use at all, the situation on the battlefield at this moment was completely beyond his comprehension, and it was quickly spiraling out of control, stop advancing in hurry to make them all retreat. Zhang Lei's order had just been sent less than two minutes ago, and the news was even worse, Captain, it's over, it's all over. The first echelon has already entered the range of the wraith cannons, and there's nothing we can do now, no matter if we advance or retreat, Zhang Lei slammed down on the table and completely exploded, this time, the beast tide had completely exceeded Zhang Lei's imagination, to know, in the past 10 years or so, even the most serious large-scale beast tide had never given him this much pressure. Since the intelligence of those magical beasts wasn't too high, when they launched their attacks. It was nothing more than hard resistance with their steel flesh, even though there were hunters who were able to block the radar and act as an opener for them, because the number of hunters themselves was small and those magical beasts didn't have a unified command, it hadn't brought them any overly disastrous consequences. But this time was different, this time those magic beasts looked like they were under someone else's command, and their goals were quite clear, What's more, those evil cannons of theirs didn't know where they came from, and their accuracy was actually close to 100%, big captain, they are afraid that they have satellite positioning, and regardless of the war rhythm or strategic deployment, it is simply premeditated. Moreover, their cannons seem to be war admiral level magic beasts, with a longer range and better targeting ability than ordinary magic beast missiles. As he watched the frontline commanders and witches fall one by one inch Zhang Lei's heart felt like it was being cut by a dull knife, and he felt a vague pain, a battle general class wraith acting as a turret simply hit a moving target, 
if this continued, I'm afraid they wouldn't even be able to last until Su Tian arrived, and they would all have to die here, Song Kai, Wang Yuanbo. Arrived. Song Kai, you will take over my position as commander, and Wang Yuanbo will be the deputy commander to assist Song Kai in my absence, and the two of you will consult with each other on matters of concern, and I'll leave the rear to you. Before that, Su Tian made some modifications to Mulan, whether it's the engine or other accessories, all of them have been upgraded considerably. Zhang Lei wants to try to see if he can get rid of the positioning of the wraiths under the ultra-high speed of the curvature engine directly hit their back rows to buy some time for the first echelon of his side, the decapitation operation was the only viable option in this desperate situation, whether it was successful or not, it was better than waiting for death here, and just in case it would work. Captain. Do you want to do it yourself, Song Kai and Wang Yuanbo both asked in unison, no, Captain, you have to sit in the back otherwise it'll be a mess, Song Kai hastily objected. Captain, let me go, I'm a four-star commander and my combat strength is also very strong, Wang Yuanbo immediately spoke up, it's not that they're forcing Zhang Lei to stay here and take command, but because the next battlefield will be bombarded by waves of artillery, and it's hard to retreat now, let alone fight, and it's just like sending Zhang Lei to his death, Zhang Lei's decision is final. Zhang Lei and Mulan looked at each other and saw the strong will to fight in each other's eyes, then. Holding hands, they stepped out of the command center, at this moment, the great battle eight years ago flashed before their eyes again, at that time, Zhang Lei's arrogance had caused Mulan to suffer the greatest injury in his life, this time, after eight years of reign, Zhang Lei was no longer the brat of the year, the hatred of the year, today, he would be avenged, in an instant, the ultimate McKellen Mecha appeared. Under the acceleration of the curvature engine, Zhang Lei went straight to the center of the Forbidden Land, However, the reason why the curvature engine was an S-class top equipment was because it itself required a high level of skill, however Ultimate McKellen had only equipped it for two days and obviously wasn't very familiar with it, so much so that right after entering the forbidden area, Zhang Lei received a warning from Ultimate McKellen that it was locked, on top of that, Zhang Lei. Notice that Ultimate McKellen's targeting system had been disrupted, making it completely impossible to aim, Zhang Lei cursed with hatred, Without waiting for his reaction, the Wraith Cannon flew towards them, seeing that it was about to hit the ultimate McKellen, Zhang Lei hurriedly and quickly operated the center console, activating the curvature engine and using a staggered movement to quickly get the hull out of the lockdown and dodge the attack. No, is the lock on the Wraith side that easy to get rid of? Hearing the ding 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 alarms coming from inside the mech, Jean Lei made a dodge and skillfully used the ultimate McKellen's own thunder cannon to detonate the incoming shells in advance, however, the power of the cannonball was obviously beyond Jean Lei's imagination, and the aftermath of the explosion directly shook the ultimate McKellen to the point that it continued to stagger, and the smoke raised by the explosion completely engulfed the ultimate McKellen in an instant, Captain. Song Kai and Wang Yuanbua, who had watched this scene from afar at the command post, exclaimed in shock at the same time, being so far away, the two of them thought that Zhang Lei had been directly bombed and immediately panicked, Zhang Lei, who had just dodged a cannonball, had a look of remorse on his face, his skill was still too low, and his plan to force his way into the enemy's rear had failed, the ideal was abundant, but the reality was bone dry. In the ideal situation, he would have already broken into the rear of the enemy army and carried out the decapitation operation, unfortunately, on the one hand, his skill was still too low, and on the other hand, the S-class curvature engine hadn't been upgraded and couldn't achieve such an effect on its own, at that moment, the enemy's artillery shells were chasing him again, and they were really just indiscriminate bombardments with no regard for attrition, as if they didn't need money, it's... Over, I'm afraid it's really over this time. The S-Class curvature engine was consuming energy too quickly, and after such a long time of dodging, Zhang Lei had very little energy left. The first echelon in the back had no support at all, Song Kai and Wang Yuanbo, who were far away from the command center, could not get through in such a short time, for a while, whether it was the rear maintenance team members or Zhang Lei and Mulan, they were all guessing, I'm afraid they'll really have to stay here. Just as everyone was looking at each other in despair, an icy blue point of light appeared from far and near. From the sky above the command center, it sprinted to the front of 
the first echelon in the blink of an eye, within Zhang Lei's reach, the ice phoenix mecha, which was about 5 meters tall, instantly appeared, Qin Qing, don't worry about anything else, save the people first, the roar of the engine resounded in the air above their heads, Su Tian, finally arrived, the ice blue ice phoenix mecha flashed and appeared right next to Zhang Lei, on the other hand, the shock wave with red lightning flashing all over its body followed closely behind, Dad. Mom. I came in time, didn't I? Upon hearing Su Tian's voice, Zhang Lei's eyes, which had already given up resisting and closed tightly, immediately opened, Bastard, you're finally here, if you hadn't come, I would have been blown to pieces by the cannon. Zhang Lei cursed on his lips, however, he could not hide the smile on his face, Zhang Lei cursed under his lips, but he couldn't stop the smile on his face, Su Tian is here, they are saved. At the same time, Song Kai and Wang Yuanbua, who were staying at the command center, immediately burst out, their faces were filled with tears of hope, it was the Ice Phoenix mech. And the shock wave mech. Su Tian is here. The captain has been saved. Amidst the cheers, Song Kai and Wang Yuanbua's cries were so out of place, however, the excited and beating hearts were unanimous. At that moment, it was as if everyone had forgotten that they were on the battlefield, and the sounds of cheering echoed throughout the battlefield, looking at the two S-class mechs hovering above their heads, the members of the first echelon of the maintenance team who were suffering from the artillery fire couldn't help but burst into tears, when facing a powerful enemy, they did not cry, when they faced imminent death, they did not cry. And now, at the sight of Su Tian arriving with his... Machine Lady, their tears were simply like a flood that broke the dike and raged uncontrollably, superconducting weapon electromagnetic cannon, fire. It was the same familiar commanding voice, the same calm and bright voice, only this time, it was the Ice Phoenix mech taking part in the fight. The power of the S-class superconducting weapon electromagnetic cannon was simply terrifying, and the slave-class magic beasts couldn't hold back at all, and the cannonballs that were locked onto them were pre-detonated the moment they were locked onto by Su Tian, for a while, the entire battlefield instantly resounded with a terrifying explosion, however, the damage done to the members of the maintenance force was pitifully small, holy shit, it's too strong, just too strong. That shock wave, is that the big guy who killed hundreds of magical beasts in the sky last time, the mecha next to shock wave is also very handsome, that electromagnetic cannon must be A-class, can A-class be so fierce, I think it must be S-class. Since when do we have so many big shots in our unit, the last shockwave commander, Su Tian, was so powerful, and now there's another one, I don't know, but I do know that if they come, we'll probably win again, the members of the maintenance team on the battlefield looked at the two mechs that were fighting in the sky, and they were full of envy, they didn't know that these two mechs were all Su Tians. It wasn't long before the terrifying explosions slowly stopped, huh? Why didn't the Wraith side stop releasing grenades? Did they run out? Listening to the diminishing explosions, Song Kai had a puzzled look on his face, then he saw the blue figure on the battlefield darting through the cannon fire like an excellent ballet dancer, dodging all the cannonballs as he spun and jumped. The shells exploding around him instead looked like fireworks applauding his performance, beautiful to watch. Dude, Su Tian and his shockwave were shocking me last time, why is another one really elegant, this mech is also too nice, Kai Kai, I feel like we can win big this time. Just as Su Tian was on a killing spree, ready to kill the enemy's lair in one breath, Chen Yan's voice came, Su Tian, the poor enemy should not be pursued, there is still a squad behind us, in case you are in danger, I am afraid that the rear will suffer, let us go down first to see how the captain has arranged. As a chill squad leader who had fought on the battlefield for years, Chen Yan's concerns were quite necessary, after all, every step they took would determine the life and death of the large force in the rear, Su Tian, who was on the verge of another sprint, stopped at that moment upon hearing Chen Yan's suggestion, indeed. A poor enemy should not be chased, no matter what, how to fight next and to what extent, we have to communicate with Zhang Lei more or less, besides, such a horrible battlefield, a completely one-sided crushing battle situation, was indeed a bit beyond his imagination, it was always right to know more and make more preparations, Su Tian immediately took Ice Phoenix and Shock Wave back to the rear headquarters.
Song Kai and Wang Yuanhua had been waiting outside for a long time, just waiting to see the true face of the commander inside the Ice Phoenix mech, the hatch of the mech slowly opened, and Su Tian's head poked out from inside, and then he jumped down directly, Su Tian, isn't he the commander of the shock wave, then who was piloting the shock wave? Song Kai looked at the shockwave with a question mark in his mind, only to see that the shockwave had directly transformed into a beautiful girl, there was no commander at all, for a moment, Song Kai's brain died instantly and he simply couldn't figure out what the hell was going on, all he could hear was someone whispering behind him, holy shit, it's true, those two S-class mechs are both Su Tian's, you guys don't know, last time, I heard you say that Su Tian can remotely channel energy into... The mecha, and he doesn't just have one mecha, the SS class repairer of our troop is also his contracted mecha, you say he can contract so many mechs, it's not too much to ask for one more, right? Sister, people have more contractors, but it's not that they don't choose, okay, just look at yourself to see if you have an S rank before you say it, on the other hand, Su Tian brought Chen Yen and Yang Shani with him and walked directly into the command center with big strides, by this time, Zhang. Lei had already returned to the rear with Mulan, a bitter look on his face, failed again. Was he really getting old? He couldn't even raid the enemy's rear and almost risked his life, if Su Tian hadn't arrived in time, he was afraid that he would have led Mulan to destruction once again, it really is impossible to disobey old age, yo. Su Tian's flirtatious voice came from behind him, Zhang Lei hastily straightened his chest and hid the despondency on his face, Zhang Lei hastily straightened his chest and hid the despondency on his face. There is still Su Tian. Although he is old, his son-in-law is still young thinking about this, Zhang Lei's mood immediately improved a lot, Su Tian, no kidding, I'm afraid that this war is different from all the previous wars, Zhang Lei told Su Tian about all the intelligence gathered and the situation of this battlefield, the more Su Tian listened, the more alarmed he became, it can't be that the Forbidden Land already has highly intelligent people at its center, the more Su Tian listened, the more alarmed he became, how? Else could he explain such an orderly and premeditated war? Who came up with the method of using war general level magic beasts as turrets, I can go up there and have a try, but it's my first time using it, so I'm not sure I can guarantee success, Su Tian remembered the phantom sound cannon that had just been upgraded, and suddenly had an idea in his heart, what are you going to do, Zhang Lei was a bit uncomfortable, he had experienced it firsthand. the enemy's rear is not something that can be entered recklessly, I'll go in alone, I can't. Without waiting for Su Tian to continue, Zhang Lei hastily interrupted him, listen to me, this is the best idea, I'll go in alone, the target is smaller, I can take care of myself, and I have the means to save my life, even if I can't cut through the enemy's rear, I'm sure I can still come out alive, to be honest, Su Tian himself is not 100% sure. The enemy's firepower was indeed a bit fierce, and the range of the phantom gun wasn't very far, so he had to get very close to the magic beasts in order to succeed, besides, there were definitely more powerful magical beasts hidden in the center of the forbidden land, and with his strength, he really wasn't sure if he could succeed, have you really thought about it and are you willing to go alone? Zhang Lei asked Su Tian for the last time what he thought, and Su Tian had already decided that. It was the only way to go, Exactly, the strength of our big army can't pass through the enemy bombardment area, so to completely open up the battlefield, all I can do is destroy their rear bases and clear the way for our big army, apart from this reason, Su Tian himself was actually selfish, the swarms of magical beasts on the battlefield were one after another, and to him, they were just points and crystals delivered to his door. Maybe this wave would make him rich right away. On the other hand, Zhang Lei thought about it left and right, but he really couldn't find a better way than Su Tian's method, after many years of war, the manpower and material resources of the maintenance force had really been depleted too much and it was almost impossible to fight the wraith head on, it was those cannonballs that didn't cost anything, they couldn't even carry, a few days ago, the scene of Su Tian single-handedly challenging a group of dragons was still fresh in his mind, Su Tian, as the captain of the maintenance unit, I order you to come back alive. Zhang Lei stood up straight and gave Su Tian a military salute, this was a soldier's most sincere wish. Su Tian's heart was moved, and he hurriedly saluted, yes. 
At that time, they were not the father-in-law and the son-in-law, they were just the superior and the subordinate in the maintenance unit, it was the most honorable soldier. As for Yang Shani and Chen Yen, they never opposed any decision Su Tian made, even though they knew that Su Tian's decision this time was very risky, the two women still stood firmly behind Su Tian, after Su Tian left the battlefield, the Wraith side soon started bombing furiously again, at this time, the front line was filled with smoke, and the sound of explosions continued. The ground was filled with craters left by the explosions, countless human and animal corpses were lying around, and... The strong smell of blood made people feel sick to their stomachs. Su Tian used the smoke to sneak into the battlefield, he was very fast and tried his best not to let the enemy notice his presence. Controlling the ice phoenix mech like a shadow, he quickly skimmed over the battlefield buildings that had already been blown to pieces, and by the way, he used his phantom gun to directly collect all the magical beasts he had fought, under the influence of the curvature engine, the advantages of the Ice Phoenix mecha were fully utilized, on the rocky road, the Ice Phoenix was just like walking on flat ground. Su Tian didn't feel any bumps at all, and under the effect of the laser phased array. Multipoint precision tuning radar, the enemy's position and configuration were all clearly mapped out by Su Tian, distance, angle, movement status, all the data was detected and recognized, the display screen inside the Ice Phoenix mech showed Su Tian all this data, Qing Qing, we're about to enter the Forbidden Lands core area, I'm afraid the anti-detection material will be ineffective, prepare to be locked. Several cannonballs flew directly towards the Ice Phoenix mech, Luckily, the Ice Phoenix mech was equipped with a curvature engine, seeing that the shells were about to explode on the mech, it dodged in a flash, the position that had just dodged in the previous second was hit by the cannonball in the next second, however, the next second, several more shells flew right over it, holy shit, it's not over yet. After dodging three or four waves of cannonballs in a row, Su Tian was furious, no matter how good-tempered he was, the curvature engine was used to the maximum, and the Ice Phoenix mech instantly turned into a trail of shadows, the electromagnetic cannons of the superconducting weapon behind the Ice Phoenix mecha kept firing, and one by one, the strategic points were precisely eliminated by the electromagnetic cannons, as for the enemy's multiple Battle Admiral class cannons, they simultaneously targeted Su Tian to knock him out. Without this group of high-precision artillery, the members of the first rank of the VPF also slowly breathed a sigh of relief, Yang Shani saw that the situation on the battlefield was not so intense, and rushed to join the battlefield, too, some people were happy, and some people were sad, the side of the maintenance force achieved considerable success, while the side of the Forbidden Land was caught off guard. Forbidden Land Area J, Command Headquarters inside the secret room that seemed to be filled with technology, a humanoid creature was sitting behind a desk, his entire body was covered in steel armor, the person across from him was clearly Qin Shou, who had just been sent to prison by Su Tian some time ago. Qin Shou, we went through all the trouble to get you out, and this is what you're going to show me this time, didn't you say that the maintenance unit of the Imperial Capital only had a yellow and a black mech that you couldn't handle, tell me, what about this blue mech, of the dozen or so Battle Admiral class artillery pieces on our side, not a single shot could hit it, is that what you call foolproof? I advise you to figure out how to explain this right now, or I won't be able to explain. It to you when Lord Wiener asks, last time that black and red mech decimated a large number of our flying magic beasts, and this time the exact same situation has occurred, you better give me a reasonable explanation, faced with O'Hara's question, Chin Sho didn't know what to say. This icy blue mech, he had never even heard of it, let alone seen a good thing O'Hara gave him a chance to speak, since he didn't let him die outright, that means there's still a chance to salvage everything, Sir, I've never seen this mech in the maintenance force before, we've gathered information on all their highest level mechs, but this one really isn't there, it's probably a new mech that just joined the maintenance force this year. But from the looks of it, I'm afraid its combat power is even stronger than Zhang Lei's, as for the black and red mech, it's the contracted mech of a new commander named Su Tian who was recruited by Zhang Lei this year, and I've already given you all the data of the shock wave. Apart from this mech, all the defensive forces and configuration data of the maintenance unit are no different from what I provided, Qin Shou was now confused as well, 
Some time ago, he was imprisoned by Su Tian and Zhang Lei, taking advantage of that, he gathered information bit by bit and almost mapped out the defenses of the imperial capital, especially Su Tian. He was able to learn all the information about him, the previous beast tide was caused by him, since the imperial capitals. Maintenance force was very weak in air defense and very powerless in air combat, if they used flying magic beasts to launch an attack, they would definitely be able to break through the defense line of the leveling area of the far suburb, at that time, wouldn't the fall of the imperial capital be in their hands? Who knew that a Cheng Bite Jin, a flying explosive sky mecha, would directly kill all of their flying magic beasts in the middle of the road? This time, Qin Shou was almost killed by Lord Wiener, fortunately, he had some old money from the past few decades, and only after it was all contributed did Lord Wiener let him live, the powerful radar jamming system and the precise positioning system were the cards he handed over to save his life, after O'Hara tested these systems many times and found that they worked very well. Only then did he launch a larger scale beast tide, by the time the war began, the radar jamming device and the precise positioning system had given them a considerable advantage, when they saw that, the maintenance forces of the imperial capital were beaten back by them, and the defense line on the outskirts of the city was about to be breached, who knew that two more inexplicable mechs would emerge, one was the same shockwave that had saved the day last time, and the other was the ice blue mech they had never seen before, but they couldn't do anything about it, O'Hara's heart was in his throat as he watched the ice phoenix mech approach their command center on the screen, there was no way, the purpose of the Ice Phoenix mech was clearly revealed, it was obvious that it wanted to destroy their headquarters, so could he not panic, get out of here, if you don't take care of this matter, Lord Wiener will kill you even if he doesn't kill me, yes, sir. I will leave now, seeing the gusts of murderous aura flashing in O'Hara's eyes, Chin Shou hurriedly retreated, if the Forbidden J area was destroyed, let alone him, I'm afraid O'Hara's head would not be saved, the only way now was to preserve the Forbidden J area, then maybe everything would still have a chance to turn around, outside, wherever the Ice Phoenix Mecha's front foot was, a furious bombardment began. Under the steady aim of a dozen or so Battle Admiral class cannons, for a while, the entire battlefield was filled with thick smoke that covered the sky, after such a long period of orbiting, Su Tian was already quite familiar with the situation behind the Wraith, with the curvature engine fully utilized, Su Tian was confident that he could break through and even come out unharmed, which was not impossible, at this moment, the distance to the back of the beast was only about one kilometer, and Su Tian's eyes flashed with light as he fiercely pressed down on the accelerator. Pedal As soon as he was within a kilometer, the Ice Phoenix mech issued a warning, 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 a large number of high-level magical beasts have been detected ahead, please evacuate in time, Commander. Warning. Warning. A large number of high-level magical beasts have been detected ahead, please evacuate in time. Su Tian simply ignored the warning and flew the Ice Phoenix mech straight up, in the blink of an eye, he was close to the beasts, the phantom sonic cannon in the hands of the ice phoenix mech had already been recharged, and Su Tian's eyes were glued to the large red dots on the radar screen, only to see the number of red dots increase, when O'Hara guessed Su Tian's intention, he immediately gathered the magical beasts in the G.H. and I regions to defeat Su Tian, all the steel wraiths spontaneously fired missiles, and the battle admiral class artillery fired one after another. The Ice Phoenix Mecha looked like it was completely blind to the missiles that grazed its face, and every time it flew over a spot, countless magical beasts were decapitated, at this moment, the curvature engine had already reached its peak, and Su Tian was flying around the center console, harvesting lives like a god of death, heading straight for the enemy base camp. His only goal now was to destroy all of the enemy's radar jamming equipment and precision targeting systems, this way, the following shock wave could follow without a commander, after all, all those cannons were battle general level magic beasts, and there was no way Yang Shani could deal with so many of them alone, with another super high speed acceleration, the ice phoenix mech finally entered the range of the phantom cannon, in an instant, the pulse power of the phantom sound gun, which had been stored for a long time surged out and quickly spread out behind the demonic beast troops, all radars and electronic 
instruments fell silent, the wraiths closest to the phantom gun immediately fell into a deep coma. The battlefield, roaring one second, was silent the next, through the machine maiden system, Su Tian's voice calmly entered Yang Shani's ears, Mr. Yang, go. The moment he received the command, the shockwave mech directly charged into the sky, following the ice phoenix mech and going deep into the magical beast's backs, when they heard the deadly silence on the battlefield and saw the ice phoenix mech and the shockwave mech flying into the back of the wraith at the same time, all the members of the VPU let out a deafening roar, I told you, Su Tian is here, we are saved. Long live shockwave, long live ice phoenix, long live Su Tian. Look. It worked. Su Tian really did it. Zhang Lei, who had been watching the front line from the command center with fear and trepidation, stood up violently, he slapped his hands on the desk, shaking the entire command center into instant silence, you bastard, you really did it. Xiao Lu, notify all ground forces to take this opportunity to advance 5 kilometers forward to welcome Su Tian, the air units are ready to cover for Ice Phoenix and Shock Wave, while this side was cheering, on the other side, the members of the battlefield hospital and the battlefield maintenance room had stopped what they were doing, since Su Tian's arrival, the number of casualties they had received in the rear had been decreasing, now, they were only helping the wounded who had been sent. In earlier to recover, and there had been no new wounded for a long time, Zhang Yanqing wiped the sweat from her brow and finally revived the last machinist, it was at this time that she snapped when she heard the cheers from outside, Su Tian. I love you. Su Tian. It's so cool. Su Tian. Hire me, I want to give you a monkey. Nian Nian, what are you doing here, all the machine girls have been fixed, I came to see what's going on, did Su Tian make it? Yes. Su Tian took two mechs, Ice Phoenix and Shock Wave, and fought right into the Wraith's lair, we're going to win. Zhang Nianqing looked at the distant battlefield, her lips slightly parted, even though she was not Su Tian's mechwoman this time, she had no regrets, the battle in the early stages was simply too intense, our troops were simply powerless to fight back, and no matter whether it was a mechagirl or a commander, those who were killed or injured were wounded, although she was Su Tian's contracted mechagirl, she was also the strongest mechagirl in his contract, however, there were at least Chen Yen and Yang Shani in the front line to accompany him in the battle, while the mecha repairers in the back were simply too busy, and the large number of injured and wounded, without their repair, I'm afraid they would really all die, the current situation, I'm afraid, is the one with the most consequences. On the other hand, after Su Tian piloted the Ice Phoenix mech to raid the back of the Wraith, she put the most advanced core equipment directly into the back, into the commander's camp, that thing was so fearsome that it could turn the tide of battle, it would be a shame if it broke, anyway, after a bit of eating and taking, Su Tian looted all the goodies in the back of the wraith. Only then did he look at the surrounding group of magical beasts that were watching him, the surroundings were full of magical beasts that were surrounding him, almost like ants, too many to count, the phantom voice gun was almost smoking, but it hadn't cleared the group of beasts, Fortunately, the phantom sound gun had been upgraded to have a stun effect, otherwise, Su Tian wouldn't have been able to escape for a while, at that moment, Yang Shani also finished dealing with the large number of magical beasts and rushed to Su Tian's side. Su Tian, I can't, I only have 20% of my energy left, I'm afraid that if I use the curvature engine a few more times, I'll run out of energy. Su Tian then remembered that he had just focused on attacking the back with his Ice Phoenix mech, and he didn't have enough energy to provide energy for the shock wave, at that moment, when he heard Yang Shani talking to him, he hurriedly turned on the remote recharge, in a moment, Yang Shani had the feeling that the energy he had just used up was slowly on the rise again. As Yang Shani felt the energy in her body slowly filling up, her eyes looked at those Battle Admiral class cannons, they were the ones that had just blown her up so fast that she couldn't even dodge them, almost becoming a pile of metal fragments, for a moment, Yang Shani's eyes turned cold, the quantum pursuit cannon behind her back slowly rose, and under the energy of the abundant energy, a round of cannonballs went straight at the war general class wraiths, the backs of the magical beasts were instantly engulfed by raging flames, and a large number of magical beasts were engulfed by the sea of fire before. They had time to scream. 
Holding annihilation in his right hand, Shockwave stepped into the sea of fire, flashing red electricity, annihilation desperately drained the last bit of life force from the magical beasts, and wherever it passed, not a single magical beast could survive, with the Shockwave mecha in front of him, the Ice Phoenix behind him was also much easier. As he stepped on the corpses of a group of magical beasts and received the constantly increasing points in his mind, Su Tian couldn't help but smile. Slightly, cool. At this rate, he was afraid that even if he saved a bit more, he would not be able to afford the items in the commander's mall, thinking about this, Su Tian piloted the Ice Phoenix and joined the battle, the two mechs coordinated with each other, and it didn't take long for them to reach the location of the War General Class Wraith, at that moment, behind the War General Class Demonic Beast. A large number of Minion Class Demonic Beasts were still rushing out, so many that Su Tian was shocked. Just by looking at them. The phantom sound cannon in the Ice Phoenix mech's hand was used once again, and the powerful pulse energy rushed towards the minion class demonic beasts, instantly quieting the battlefield once again Mr. Young, follow me. Su Tian shouted loudly, driving the Ice Phoenix mech directly into the open space in front of the war general class magical beasts, just now, he couldn't see them clearly from a distance, but now that he saw them face to face, Su Tian's brain was buzzing, one after another. They were truly monster artillery, their butts were sitting on the ground, the turret was a full 5 meters high, and the huge barrel was their nose, which was longer than the height of the turret, unorthodox, just monsters. Shockwave glanced sideways at the Ice Phoenix mech, and Su Tian in the cockpit glanced at each other, and suddenly rushed out together. Under the acceleration of the curvature engine, Shockwave dodged in a flash and appeared on the side of the firecracker wraith. With annihilation raised high above his head, Yang Shani let out an explosive scream and slashed out with all his strength, a slashing knife, annihilation instantly exuded a rich murderous aura, the moment the knife light flashed, the side of the artillery beast was directly cut off, and the knife light did not go out, on the way, took away two or three sets of Artillery beasts, with just one slash, several battle general level magical beasts, their souls returned to the west, the majestic aura of annihilation erupted, and the entire battlefield instantly fell into a deadly silence, even Su Tian inside the Ice Phoenix mech was in a state of fear, S-class mechs with S-class weapons were simply terrifyingly powerful, at this moment. The young Shani was simply a merciless killing machine, and it was also a melee killing machine, violent and direct. Giving people no chance to react, killing a War Admiral class Wraith, 155mm light cannon grade a War Admiral class Crystal Asterisk 1 points increased by 500, Soul Power of Destruction increased by 500. Kill War General class Wraith, 155mm light cannon class a War General class Crystal Asterisk 1 points increased by 500, Soul Power of Annihilation increased by 500. Icy electronic sounds came one after another in his mind, and the expression on Su Tian's face immediately lost control, holy shit. This reward is truly generous a 155mm light cannon, this is simply the most powerful long-range attack cannon on the battlefield. Cow power, cow power. While the shock wave decimated the War Admiral class magical beasts, Su Tian piloted the ice seal mech and started another round of looting, there were bound to be a lot of high-quality grenades near this kind of War General class artillery, as expected, Su Tian soon found an arsenal where the wraiths stored their artillery rounds, and it contained 500 Excalibur precision rockets. No wonder they didn't feel any pain at all when they opened fire on the maintenance forces, this reserve of artillery shells was also too large, although Su Tian knew that the wraiths were inevitably inseparable from the dome, he thought that the equipment would be more advanced and have more reserves. But he never thought that there would be so many of them, he also didn't know if it was provided to them from above the dome or if they made it themselves, with the nervous system and the co-sensory system all connected, Chen Yen felt Su Tian's shock at the first moment, and also knew the question in his heart, then he said from what I've heard, those magic beasts are said to have very powerful manufacturing and reproducing abilities, and as long as they have enough energy, they can build. 
accessories or finished items according to the designs, I'm afraid that in the deepest part of this forbidden land, there really should be highly intelligent magical beasts, but their intelligence might not be the highest, so they can only produce relatively low-grade accessories and finished products at the moment, while they can't produce top-grade S equipment. Su Tian nodded, what Chin Yen said was in line with his assumption, it looks like we'll have to continue to strengthen our forces after we return this time, and I'm afraid we'll inevitably have to come to the Forbidden Land a few more times, however, there's nothing wrong with fighting monsters, not only can we add points, but we can also explode equipment, so why not? Su Tian loaded all the grenades into a brain and then went to the battlefield, because of the fact that killing monsters can. Make Annihilation Upgrade, so Su Tian driving the Ice Phoenix mech, only responsible for the high level of beast control, all the killing all to the shock wave, not much time, the enemy dozens of artillery beasts, will all be killed, Su Tian all got 37 sets of 155mm light cannon. After that, he found a few places to store ammunition one after another, and in total, he got nearly two 000 Excalibur Precision Guided Missiles, if this was put on the market, I'm afraid it wouldn't even take two hours for them to get grabbed, Su Tian's side was full of crops, on the other hand, Su Tian's side is full of harvest, on the other hand, Qin Shou, who was attracted by the huge commotion caused by the shock wave and the ice phoenix mechs, hid in a corner and secretly watched the two. God of warlike mechs, he was directly scared to sit on the ground, it's over. Forbidden Zone J command was completely finished, he was afraid that his little life would not be saved. For a moment, Qin Shou hurriedly got up from the ground and ran towards the deeper part of the Forbidden Zone at high speed. Over here, Su Tian led the two girls, Yang Shani and Qin Yen, in a frenzy of killing monsters and collecting points. However, the high energy output for a long period of time really made Su Tian feel a bit overwhelmed, just at that moment, a violent alarm came from the radar detector, ding ding warning. A unicorn class magical beast has been detected 800 meters away, please evacuate in time. Ding ding warning. A commander class magical beast has been detected 800 meters away, please evacuate in time. Upon hearing the warning sound, Su Tian's mind shook, Commander Class Magical Beasts. It was one level higher than a War General Class Magical Beast. To be honest, Su Tian really wanted to fight with a Commander Class Beast to see who was stronger and who was weaker, but after such a long time of fighting, his energy was no longer enough to allow him to continue fighting with a powerful beast, Mr. Yang, Retreat. For safety's sake, Su Tian hurriedly called Yang Shani to run together. If you leave a green mountain behind, you won't be afraid of having no firewood to burn, in any case, all of the strategic resources in this area had basically been taken away by Su Tian's madness, so there was almost nothing useful left behind, he would strike back next time when he had more energy. In a flash, the shock wave mech and the ice phoenix mech didn't linger, and under the super high speed acceleration of the curvature engine, they left the command headquarters of the Forbidden Area J in the blink of an eye, before the commander class magical beasts even showed their faces, the two mech's exhalations could no longer be seen, on his way back. Su Tian opened the commander's panel and checked the rich results of this battle, battle result statistics, hunt and kill situation, minion. Class Beasts, 2286, Warrior Class Beasts, 368, War General Class Beasts, 37 Energy Crystals, Minion Class Crystals, 2286 total, 3293 Warrior Class Crystals, 368 total, 400 Warrior Class Crystals, 38 total, 39 points, 78660 total, 126204 Annihilation Soul Power, 18500 total, 33200 looking at the tablet full of harvest, Su Tian really wanted to shout, this is the first time I've seen the two mechs in battle, Su Tian really wanted to shout, this is damn awesome. Although it was true that he was a bit tired, these points were just like a gift for nothing, a beast tied battle could be much faster than him being alone in the far outskirts of the leveling area, searching for magical beasts all over the place. Today's one-day battle results were more than all of his previous ones combined, he was even able to make himself rich overnight by collecting the energy crystals in a huge wave. Annihilation has reached the evolutionary state, will it evolve, Sue? 
Tian didn't even think about it and upgraded directly, Su Tian didn't even think about it and directly upgraded, it was all thanks to shock wave and annihilation that the monsters he killed today were still alive, evolution in progress evolution complete. Destructive power increased by 20% 36545-40,000 when Su Tian returned to the command center with the shock wave mech and the ice phoenix mech, he saw from afar that a large group of people were already waiting below. Su Tian jumped out of the cockpit, and the two mechs instantly transformed into human forms, Father, I've brought you something good, 2155mm light cannons were placed at the entrance of the command center in an instant, at the same time, a whole thousand rockets were also arranged and placed neatly next to the cannon, to be honest, Su Tian himself was not a stingy person, and the Imperial Capital Guard was really too poor, this time, if they didn't try their best to wait for him to arrive. I'm afraid they would really be destroyed by the group, although the Wraith side was indeed fierce, to put it bluntly, it was also because their side was really too weak or else they wouldn't have been defeated without a fight, those 20 cannons are also considered his contribution to the troops, and he can't use that many cannons by himself. Thinking about Shock Wave and Ice Phoenix, they couldn't even pretend to be that kind of cannon, otherwise it would probably be a problem to even take off, on the other hand, Zhang Yenqing might be able to pretend, but he would have to check again when the time came, so Su Tian kept some for himself and gave the rest to Zhang Lei, seeing the trophy Su Tian returned and the news that the beast's command center had been breached. The entire maintenance unit was completely overwhelmed, I want. To cry, thank goodness we have Su Tian otherwise I would have died on the battlefield. Can't you be a little more open-minded, today is a great day for our unit, after so many years, Su Tian is the only one who has attacked the Forbidden Land, representing our unit, finally able to reach the Forbidden Land. Ice Phoenix is awesome. We made it. Salute. Under Zhang Lei's shout, all the members of the maintenance unit saluted Su Tian at the same time. At this moment, whether it was the commander or the machine girl, their movements were all in unison, with their right hands at the same level as their eyebrows, their faces were either excited or serious, respectful or grateful, for a moment, the respect that came from the bottom of their hearts filled the hearts of all the members of the maintenance force, Su Tian's heart stirred, his body tensed, and he returned the salute to all of them, as the beast tide came to an end, Su Tian was finally able to take a break, it was only after saying goodbye to everyone that Su Tian felt indescribably exhausted, to be honest, after a few hours of super high-intensity combat, coupled with the fact that he had also reached the farthest reaches of the leveling area yesterday, Su Tian really couldn't take it anymore, not only was his physical strength exhausted, but the consumption of his mental energy was even more difficult for Su Tian, so much so that he fell into a deep sleep while sitting on. The shockwave racing car, when he opened his eyes again, the warmth of the sunlight on his body, baked Su Tian warm, a burst of fragrance into the nostrils, Su Tian's stomach growled. Looking at the familiar room, Su Tian had a moment of confusion, could it be that Yang Shani had brought him back, he did not even know how he got back to Yang Shani's house, couldn't Yang Shani have carried him back, that would be too embarrassing, Su Tian put his head into the pillow with a face of shame, Next time, I definitely can't fall asleep again, it's too embarrassing. Just then, the door to the room was pushed open, and Yang Shani, smelling of shower gel, walked in, husband. Wake up. The sun is shining. I'm going to serve you breakfast, so hurry up and get up. Seeing Su Tian sitting up, Yang Shani turned around and went back to the kitchen, the breakfast was not very rich, but it was well balanced, Su Tian thought about it and prepared to go to the Hundred Battles mercenaries, not to take over the mission, after all, he had just finished solving the beast wave, and he was still a bit slow. However, he had heard that the Hundred Battles mercenary corps not only had the ability to take on quests, but also had a lot of powerful equipment for sale, after this battle, Su Tian still felt that Yang Shani and Chen Yen were too weak even though they were already strong as S-class mechs, if they wanted to rise to a higher level, they were a bit behind, the necessary equipment would have to be a bit better. There was also Zhang Yenqing, the SS-class nuclear submarine, although the 
Equipment it was equipped with was already very luxurious, but there were still gaps in the top-level weapons that needed to be filled in as well, therefore, Su Tian planned to use the time he had today to go over and see if there were any suitable ones, anyway, he had money, so if he happened to find a good one, he figured he could afford it, on the way, the shock wave could be considered out of this world. The body flashing with fiery red electric light attracting countless passers-by to look. Back. As a nationwide mission organization, the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps naturally had quite a few agency points in the Imperial City, however, Su Tian didn't go to those small agency points, he went directly to the Mercenary Group's HQ Union, after all, the HQ Union had the first-hand information, and the missions with the highest commissions were always issued by the HQ first, after all. Su Tian was not the only one who would choose this place, most of the powerful high-ranking commanders. And machine girls would also choose to come here to receive missions, as for those high-grade melee weapons or long-range weapons, they would only be qualified to purchase them if they were able to meet the requirements of the Union, under Yang Shani's high speed, the headquarters of the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps Union was reflected far into Su Tian's eyes, it was a large skyscraper that was dozens of stories high. And even in the downtown area of the Imperial Capital, it looked so. Abrupt. And in the center of the oversized square in front of the Union, there was a 10-meter tall statue of a war maiden, majestic but also lacking the beauty that belonged only to women, the statue of the war maiden was like a god of war guarding the earth, with an icy gaze that looked like it was trying to break through all the evil sycophants, inexplicably, Su Tian felt a strong sense of oppression, however. After the feeling of oppression, there was a complete sense of security, after arriving at the Mega Plaza, Su Tian emerged from the shock wave, and Yang Shani also returned to his human form, the plaza was already large, but there were countless people coming and going, making even the Mega Plaza look a bit crowded, catching a passing glance, Su Tian was surprised for a moment in his heart, they were all strong people. Even if they were not SSS class top tier powerhouses, they were still existences whose strength could not be underestimated, however, this was not an uncommon thing, after all, the first threshold for joining the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps was that one's strength had to be at least be rank, otherwise, after accepting a mission, one would only be sent to die when facing super strong opponents. Among the people who came and went, there were quite a few whose eyes revealed a murderous aura, after years of accepting missions and living a life of licking blood from a knife's mouth, a little more vigilance is not bad, and sometimes it is the most important thing to save one's life, husband, are we going to the quest hall now, Yang Shani took Su Tian's arm and asked, let's go to the quest hall and see what suitable quests are there, and by the way, see if we can buy some suitable equipment, Su Tian's goal is clear, he is here for the quest rewards, the quality of the equipment should preferably be S rank, if not, A rank equipment with special functions could also be considered, after all, the quality of his contracted machinima was too high, so if the equipment was bad, it would be better not to have it. As for himself, he had two empowerment skills, Red Flame Cross Slash, which could use a strong attack power, and Beyond Death Sphere, which could directly slay a dying enemy, these two empowerment skills were already powerful, the inferior equipment was indeed a bit inconspicuous, while walking and thinking, the two of them unknowingly entered the guild hall, in the middle of the hall, there was an oversized tablet, and the writing on the first line at the top was directly bold and read, Su Tian. Couldn't ignore it even if he wanted to, SSS class quest. Three S's in a row made Su Tian's pupils tremble, I've heard that this SSS class quest has been around for more than a year, but no one has completed it yet, I've heard that this demonic beast is extremely strong and has caused quite a bit of destruction to the forces, so much so that the officials have directly issued this mission. And the team or individual who decapitates this demonic beast will be rewarded quite generously. As a teacher at the Mecca Academy, Yang Shani had always paid close attention to such official announcements, however, she hadn't expected that a quest from a year ago would still be hanging around, SSS Great Quest, Hunt for the Demon Beast Monarch. Mission Content a demon monarch class demon beast intermingled with the human world a year ago in human form, and it is known to have the ability to transform into a mecha form, and can even simulate functions similar to the mecha nymph system, mission requirement, identify and kill the demon monarch level demon beast from the human world. Mission reward, 
100 billion dragon coins, an S-class engine, an S-class cold weapon, and an S-class hot weapon, requirements to obtain the mission, SS rank or higher commander or S rank or higher mercenary group. Note, the war power of the magic beasts is unknown, their level is unknown, and they are extremely dangerous. Commanders and Mercenary Corps, please think twice. Looking at the mission information on the mission board, Su Tian's eyebrows furrowed, Demon Monarch level magical beasts. In this world, magical beasts were divided into a total of nine ranks, Slave Class, Battle Soldier Class, Battle General Class, Commander Class, Lord Class, Monarch Class, Demon Monarch Class, Tyrant Class, and Juggernaut Class. Two days ago on the battlefield, Su Tian had briefly sensed the presence of a Commander Class magical beast while retreating, of course, at that time. He was too exhausted and simply did not have enough strength to fight a Commander Class beast, so Su Tian did not know. What the strength of a commander class beast was, however, there was no need to think about it, the combat strength of a commander class demonic beast was definitely several times that of a war general class demonic beast, just like the commander and the machine lady, the difference between each rank was not a fraction of a point. Who could tell if a commander class demonic beast would have something like Su Tian's SSS class commander's exclusive talent or something like that? If it did, with Su Tian's depleted strength, it would just be a fish on a cutting board, a typical meal delivered to the door, at that time, the commander class magical beast had already made Su Tian's brain buzz, and the object of this SSS class quest on the quest panel was actually a demon monarch class magical beast. It even had the same transformation ability as the machine lady, and even had something similar to the machine lady system, this was puzzling, how could it, a demon beast, make it look like a mecha, most importantly, this demon beast had even intermingled with the human world in human form, which couldn't tell the difference between a human and a demon beast. Doesn't this mean that the entire human world is unsafe everywhere? However, Su Tian's mind suddenly came up with a bad idea, he was able to forcibly log into the machine lady, and this demon ruler level magical beast also had a system similar to the machine lady. I wonder if, when the time came, he could forcibly enter the demon monarch class demon beast directly and manipulate its spiritual power directly at that time, just like he did the last time he interrogated Hades, the king of the underworld, if that were possible, wouldn't it be an easy task to complete the mission, the corner of Su Tian's mouth curled into a wicked smile, but he also knew that there was basically no way for this situation to materialize, he didn't even know where the magic Beasts were, at that moment, an icy mechanical sound immediately rang out in his head, random mission now issued, complete the SSS ranked mission, hunt demon monarch ranked magical beasts. Mission time, unlimited. The moment he heard the mission, Su Tian's entire body instantly froze, he hadn't heard it wrong. Hunting a demon monarch level magical beast, this commander's mission was really something to look up to wasn't it just to let him die. The imagination was beautiful, and the reality was terrifying, just imagined mandatory landing demon monarch level magical beasts that can only exist in the imagination, this to become reality, it is not possible to wait for him to mandatory login, was chopped into pieces, this is a demon monarch level demonic beast, 10 of them aren't enough for others to take a look at. Fortunately, there was no time limit for this mission, if he hired an SSS class mecha and equipped it with top of the line equipment, he might actually be able to fight a demon monarch class demon beast, right now, I don't think so, this mission has been sent out for over a year, and the mission rewards were so generous, I'm afraid that a large group of people would have accepted this mission by now. Why hasn't it been completed yet, there are only two reasons. Where is this demon monarch level demon beast? it took human form and lived in the human world, so as long as it didn't want to reveal itself, who could find it, if you can't even find it, how can you talk about completing the mission, second, what is the strength of a monarch class beast, demon monarch class magical beasts are second only to dominator class magical beasts and tyrant class magical beasts, their strength is bound to be extraordinary, not to mention ss class commanders, even. 
SSS class commanders, I'm afraid they'll lose their lives if they're not careful, no wonder no one has come to claim such a generous reward for such a long time, however, a large amount of dragon coins, S-class engines, S-class cold weapons, and S-class hot weapons, regardless of these rewards, just taking them out would be enough to make everyone's heart flutter, not to mention that completing the mission would be a direct way to take all the rewards. Seriously, Su Tian's heart was truly moved. Seeing Su Tian's urge to complete the mission, Yang Shani's voice rang out in time. Dear, are you going to accept this mission? You need to think clearly, this mission, but it's issued uniformly across the country. So far, more or less all the commanders have given in to this mission, not to mention the fighting, they haven't even seen it, it's not even certain if it's in the imperial capital, Su Tian couldn't help but nod, indeed, finding it is a big problem. However, it's not in the way anyway, even if it's received, it doesn't mean that it has to be completed right now, with this in mind. Su Tian still took this SSS level quest directly and claimed it, just as Su Tian had finished accepting the mission. A cold snort suddenly sounded behind him, what kind of thing dares to accept an SSS ranked mission and doesn't care about its own weight, Su Tian turned his head back to follow the voice only to see a young man wearing an extravagant suit, surrounded by women who could not be counted on one hand, coldly looking at the mouth with a still confiscated snicker, Su Tian could not help but frown, Su Tian couldn't help but frown, at a glance, he knew that the man in front of him was a second generation rich man with a playboy attitude, who was used to being rude and despised everyone he met, as Su Tian turned around. Young Shani, who was standing beside him, followed suit and turned. Around as well, the young man looked at Yang Shani for a moment, and a ray of light immediately flashed in both of his eyes, she's more beautiful than the five, six, seven, eight women around him. Kid, be reasonable and let me have this beauty beside you. Upon hearing this, Su Tian almost laughed in anger. Be reasonable, what are you, the key is five dollars each, do you deserve it, seeing Su Tian's disdainful look, the second generation ancestor in front of him was on fire, do you know who the hell I am, oh, who are you, huh, boy, look, I am the Magic City Luo family, Luo Yi, you can call me Master Luo. Luo Yi finished with a cold smile, every time he revealed his identity everyone would cower and apologize to him, this time, after he finished, he waited for Su Tian to tremble like the others, instead, Su Tian asked, then you know who I am, Su Tian rolled his eyes, the moment he asked, the murderous aura he had acquired from killing on the battlefield involuntarily radiated out, for a moment. The few beautiful women around Luo Yi couldn't help but take two steps back, even Luo Yi felt the temperature around him drop by two degrees. Roll. Su Tian suddenly burst out with a murderous aura, Luo Yi was usually arrogant and used to it, how had he ever seen this kind of situation, for a moment, he was scared and stepped back several steps in a row, but it was Luo Ye's side of the machine lady, the first time to pull out a cold weapon, blocked in front of Luo Yi, glared at Su Tian don't point your broken knife at me. A female voice suddenly rang out from his side just as Su Tian was about to make a move, Luo Yi, are you tired of living? When Su Tian heard this female voice, he instantly stopped, Su Tian turned his head to look at Luo Dai. Last time at the 100 Battles Mercenary Corps party, they had a chance to meet the SS plus level fighter, but unfortunately, a man with bad intentions missed them, upon hearing Luo Dai's voice, Luo Yi, who had just acted like a second generation ancestor, instantly shrank and lowered his eyebrows, living like an aggrieved little daughter-in-law. Sister Luo Dai ignored the slightly apologetic look and looked directly at Su Tian, Su Tian, that little brat didn't bully you, did he? I'm fine, this person is Su Tian looked at Luo Yi with a question mark on his face, and then looked at Luo Dai, this is not much like ah, he is my cousin, usually eat and drink over in the magic city and not learn, this is not recently come to the imperial city to play, everywhere to cause trouble for me, I have caught him several times, Luo Dai's face was. Dumbfounded, his eyes couldn't help but blanch at Luo Yi a few more times, truly, hating iron is not enough, looking at Su Tian's icy cold eyes, Luo Dai carried the person directly to Su Tian, why don't you hurry up and apologize to Su Tian, sister, even if you don't help me beat him up, are you going to make me apologize to him, 
without waiting for Luo Yi to finish his sentence, Luo Dai slapped him directly, making you apologize to Su Tian, don't you understand? Luo Dai's slap not only blinded Luo Yi, but also blinded the group of machinists around him, even Su Tian was stunned by Luo Dai's slap, seeing the red slap marks floating on Luo Ye's white face, Luo Dai was afraid that he had used his full strength in that slap, Luo Dai, how dare you hit me, slap. Luo Yi came back to his senses and was about to curse when he turned his face to receive another slap from Luo Dai, a reddish slap mark immediately appeared on his right cheek as well, seeing Luo Dai's hand raised high again, Luo Yi gave in, I was wrong. I'm sorry. Do not apologize to me. Su Tian, I'm sorry, I was wrong, I shouldn't have provoked you, and I shouldn't have insulted your machinima, the tone of the apology was very sincere, without any trace of hesitation. Su Tian couldn't afford to pick a fight anymore, it's okay, be more restrained next time, hurry and get out, don't force me to slap you again these two days, nothing to do, hurry and get back to Magic City, don't let me see you again, Luo Dai like not to relieve the general, cursing, Luo Yi also do not dare to stay more, with his beautiful machine girls, hastily slipped away, Su Tian today is really eye-opening. The last time it looks cool and cold, gentle and soft girl, suddenly in front of him to reveal such a tough side really led him some surprise, is it really the same person, on the other hand, looking at Luo Ye's back running away in ashes, Luo Dai gently shook his head, and the expression on his face also became the same as when Su Tian first saw her, serene, light, and elegant. To be honest, if it hadn't been for her Luo family messing with Su Tian today, Luo Dai would never have cared, on the day of the party, when he killed the S-rank commander on the spot, Luo Dai knew that she should never make Su Tian angry, even if she and Su Tian did not make a deal, at the very least, the Luo family should never hold a grudge against a monster like Su Tian, on the night of the party. The scene of Su Tian killing the S-class commander on the spot was still fresh in their minds. He was ruthless, yet he left enough room for his opponents and had his own bottom line, this kind of brave and resourceful person, it would be best if he could be used for me, if not, he must not be an enemy, after all, Su Tian's current contract is only an S-class mecha, if one day in the future he contracts a top-class SSS-class mecha. I'm afraid that those who have a grudge against him will definitely not have a good end, you guys, are you ready to accept the mission? Luo Dai looked at the mission board on the side and then asked. Yes, I want to see what kind of mission is suitable for me to go and practice, Luo Dai's eyes looked at Yang Shani beside Su Tian, remembering this woman, the last time she was in the party, Su Tian drove her, today is quite a coincidence, are you here to receive a mission as well, however, I remember that you don't have a contracted commander yet, Su Tian bumping into Luo Jin here was indeed a bit unexpected, after all, Luo Dai didn't have a contracted commander yet, and the strength she could use was very limited, so I'm afraid it would be difficult for her to complete the mission alone, no, I heard that Luo Yi was here, and I was afraid that he would pick another fight, so I rushed over to look for him, luckily, I came early, I never thought that he would mess with your head, Luo Zhen had a speechless face and couldn't help but be a little happy that he had come. I'm really a little sorry about today, why don't I make you understand that even though I haven't gone on a mission myself, I'm still very familiar with this place. Upon hearing Luo Dai's words, Su Tian smiled, thinking about the monstrous power of the Luo family in the imperial capital, he finally nodded, after all, having a trusted person to recommend is much better than wandering around alone like a headless fly. As he followed Luo Dai and looked at her slender figure, Su Tian's gossipy heart couldn't help but overflow, by the way, do you still have no commander under contract, that Wei Bin from the party that day, didn't he come looking for you afterward, only to see Luo Dai, who was leading the way, stiffen and turn around with a sad face, speaking of which, I have some news to tell you, and it's not good news, Su Tian froze and asked. At the party that day, the video of Wei Bin confessing his love for me and the video of you instantly killing an S-class mecha were uploaded to the internet, and as a result, a big family over in the magic capital accidentally found out that Wei Bin was the lost bloodline of their family. In the past two days, Wei Bin had already gone to the magic city, as if he was about to recognize his ancestor. When Su Tian heard Luo Dai's words, he was a bit surprised, but he didn't have a trace of fear. And trepidation, 
rather, it made Luo die somewhat unexpected, you accidentally caused such a big trouble, aren't you afraid at all, seeing Su Tian's light-hearted expression, Luo Zhen asked worriedly, it was important to know that Luo Dai had already figured out Su Tian's situation long before she ever met him, of course, she knew that Su Tian didn't have much of a background, he didn't even have parents, so how could he talk about a background? But with no power behind him, what made him so calm, scared, what's the point of being afraid, will Wei Bin spare me if I act trembling, Su Tian shook his head, the faint smile still on his face, a large family in the magic city, the magic city and the imperial city are thousands and thousands of miles apart, and there are countless mountains and rivers in between, He Wei Bin is the child of a big family in the magic city, then He Su Tian is still the meat and potatoes in the heart of the Imperial City's maintenance force, earlier, when he made a merit, Zhang Lei had told him that the Shanghai Congress would do its best to cultivate and protect him, how could they let him be scooped up by the big families of the Magic City, even if he played dirty, with his SSS level talent and the high level mecha he'd signed up with, he wasn't to be messed with. Attempting to move would at least cause him to peel off a layer of skin, on the contrary, you made him fall down in front of so many people before, aren't you thinking about what to do, Su Tian asked, before, the strength of his SS rank commander was actually directly passed by my family, however, he has the power of the magic capital side as his background, so my family is hesitant again, however, I always feel that he's not suitable for me, whether it's his strength or his sincerity, Su Tian nodded, then asked again, what will you do then, if you refuse, will you be embarrassed by his family and your family together?" Luo Dai shook his head, a confused look on his face, I don't know, but since I've already clearly refused him, I'll never change my mind, besides, with his family's conditions, it might not be impossible to find a better machinima. This is not a false statement, the last thing the big families lacked was high-level talent, after saying that, Luo Dai once again took the lead and walked out in front of them, Yang Shani who had just heard Luo Dai's words with his heart beating fast, hastily took the opportunity to secretly tug at Su Tian's clothes, husband, this way Bin, can you really handle him, we beat his brother to the point of peeing his pants the other day, and we didn't even leave a face, I'm now the meat and potatoes of our imperial capital's maintenance force, they hold me down for fear of falling, contain me for fear of melting, how can they watch me get killed, relax, it's okay, Su Tian didn't care about this matter at all, with a firm tone, which also let Yang Shani breathe a sigh of relief, then I am relieved. Under Luo Jin's guidance, Su Tian and Yang Shani arrived at the place where they received their quests, looking at a whole wall of quests, Su Tian couldn't help but look at them with two eyes, not knowing which rank to choose, with the strength of my SSS ranked commander with an S given mech, which mission rank would be better to pick, Luo Zhen looked like he knew everything and explained to Su Tian. These missions are all from F rank to SSS rank, generally speaking, individual commanders. Have to start with the lowest ranked F ranked missions, and after a large number of completed missions, they will slowly increase their rank before they can receive higher ranked missions, however, as an SSS ranked commander, along with the fact that you've participated in many wars before and have combat experience, you can easily cross the ranks to receive missions, but you can only go as low as D ranked. And if you have a mercenary group of 3 or more, you can go as high as C ranked. The highest you can go is only level C, I'm afraid that if you go back to crossing levels at night, you'll run into dangers that are difficult to deal with, a lot of commanders are just too arrogant and end up getting killed on the spot, remember, don't be too ambitious, Luo Zhen said very carefully, after all, Su Tian this is the first time to come, the first time to accept the mission, Yang Shani although is the teacher of Mech Academy, although know a lot, but after all, did not personally. Come over to see it, also half understand, listening to Luo Zhan's instructions, Su Tian nodded, then let's go for a C-class mission, the mission reward is not bad at all, don't underestimate the C-class mission, it is dangerous everywhere, and the magical beasts to be dealt with in the C-class mission are commander class magical beasts, and if you are not good at it, there might even be lord class magical beasts in the area, which is not something someone like you, who has just awakened as a commander for a month, can handle. This is not something that someone like you, who has just awakened as a commander a month ago, can do, 
at this point, if a lord level demon beast brings a commander level demon beast with it, let alone completing the mission, it's doubtful that you'll be able to come back alive, Luo Zhan's words directly awakened Su Tian, who had never thought that a C-class mission alone would involve a lord class beast, and that a beast of that level was really not something he could handle, if you want me to tell you that the first time you accept a quest, why don't you just accept a D-class quest? First of all, the magic beasts in the D-level quests are generally war general level magic beasts, even if there's a lord level magic beast in the area, you can't beat it, but there's still room to escape, in addition, the first time, like a long time to see, a bite cannot eat a fat, if you think it's easy, it's not too late to come back for a C-class mission. Su Tian seriously considered Luo Zhan's words, which were very fair, in the end, it was decided that he should take a D-level mission first to test the waters, then let's do this, the full detection of Sunset Mountain. D-level mission, full detection of Sunset Mountain. Mission requirement, Sunset Mountain is suspected to be infested with inexplicable magical beasts at night, please conduct a full detection, mission duration, 5 days, mission reward. 10 million dragon coins, among the dazzling missions, Su Tian finally chose the Sunset Mountain detection mission, not for any other reason, just because of its proximity, among all the D-rank missions. This one was the closest to the Imperial capital, so it would be easier to leave early and return early. Thank you for today, if you need any help in the future, you can look for me, Su Tian politely finished his words and was ready to take Yang Shani home, on the contrary, Luo Zhan was a bit confused, I'm looking for you, you should leave me a phone number, how else can I contact you? In this world, if you don't intentionally look for someone, you probably won't be able to see them in this life, this person really used that person to throw a little bit of no mercy, Su Tian's footsteps immediately stopped, turned around to look at Luo Dai, that, when are you going to go to Sunset Mountain tomorrow, go early and come back early, just detection, should not be difficult, this, can I go with you? I don't have a contract commander, so I've never been on a mission before, I just want to go and take a look, without waiting for Luo Dai to finish speaking, Su Tian directly nodded his head and agreed, fine, if you want to go, wait for me at the maintenance unit tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock and you will go with me, Luo Dai himself was within Su Tian's reach. After all, SS plus class fighters weren't that common to see, at the very least, it would be a great boost to his strength after he had captured Luo Zhen, going together to complete the mission this time, even if he couldn't contract her directly, it would be good if he could provide some convenience for contracting Luo Dai in the future, all in all, a steady profit, as if sensing Su Tian's thoughts. Yang Shani also nodded and gently squeezed Su Tian's palm, the future of an SSS class commander. Would definitely not be just one of their mechs, SS plus class fighters, Yang Shani also knew how rare it was, so of course she wouldn't stand in Su Tian's way, on the other hand, as soon as the words were uttered, Luo Zhen regretted it a bit, after all, Su Tian was not her commander, and it would not make sense for her to follow him on a mission, however, she was too eager to go out and see. As the most outstanding SS plus level machine girl among the new generation of the Luo family, she had been protected by the family since her awakening. Although she said protection on her lips, Luo Dai only felt like she was trapped in an invisible cage and was just a puppet being manipulated by the family, commander, she had no choice, the family gave her a choice, she could only choose which one, missions, she couldn't do them without a commander, and even normal training, she was told she couldn't participate, she was an SS plus class fighter, destined to ride the wide skies. How could she be willing to be trapped in an invisible cage by the clan that guarded her so closely? After two meetings, Luo Dai's opinion of Su Tian had changed greatly. Although she still felt that Su Tian was a playboy, at least in terms of character and strength, there was a complete reversal, at the very least, if she was given the choice to go out with someone to see if that person was Su Tian, she wouldn't resent it in the slightest, however, she hadn't expected Su Tian to agree to it outright, this made Luo Dai rather surprised and happy, only, I'm afraid that when the time comes, it won't be easy to explain to the family side, okay, tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, I will wait for you at the entrance of the maintenance unit on time, 
after returning home, Su Tian immediately locked himself in his room, after all, he was going on a mission tomorrow, so he more or less had to give himself a little boost, after buying some improvement cards from the commander's mall, Su Tian immediately used them all. Congratulations, your physique has been permanently increased by 1%. Congratulations, your spirit has been permanently increased by 1%. Accompanied by a gush of white light, Su Tian's body radiated a burst of warmth, however, after Su Tian had used all the low-grade cards with all the attributes, a beep suddenly sounded in his head, it has been detected that your body has developed a resistance to the use of cards with the same attributes, and you will not be able to improve any further, so it is recommended that you use a higher-grade card, note. A top-grade gold-colored card will not develop drug resistance. No wonder the screen won't let you buy a second low-grade attribute card, this would be a real bargain if every card had a permanent 1% increase with no limitations, however, the golden cards were only refreshed by luck in the luck box, thinking about this, Su Tian clicked on the luck box. Unexpectedly, among a large number of white cards, there was actually a spiritual power enhancement card that shone with a golden light, I don't even think about it, Su Tian directly bought the card and used it decisively, in an instant, Su Tian's mind felt as if it had been sprinkled with mint leaves, a cool sensation filled his entire brain, the questions he usually couldn't figure out vaguely seemed to have answers. The chaotic fog in his mind was instantly cleared, congratulations, your spiritual strength has increased to four times, activating the spiritual strength attack, the opponent's spiritual power will be weakened by 10% when it is placed outside your spiritual power, you can use 50% of your mental power to unleash a mental power attack that creates an aura of suppression and ignores the opponent's level, and the target of the suppression will be unable to use any power for 3 hours. What a perverted spiritual attack! Su Tian's entire body froze when he saw this attack skill, ignoring the level of the opponent, directly suppressing for 3 hours without being able to use any power, in other words, even if it was a dominant level magical beast, when he used his mental power attack, it would be a younger brother, it's too strong, isn't it, this is really another life preservation skill although, with his current strength, it is basically unlikely to run into a powerful magical beast, but one more life, preservation skill, can have one more way to live is really too strong, Su Tian hastily called out his attribute panel, SSS class commander current commander level, 2 star energy core, Chiyuan can provide all kinds of energy, biokinetic energy conversion rate, 100% contractable mecha types, all. Current contract mecha nymphs, SS class deep sea nuclear submarine, S class shockwave, S class ice phoenix current mastery skills, replacement equipment upgrade equipment s plus class combat skills commanders exclusive skills melee combat techniques talents infinite mecha synchro twice the mental strength twice the body speed twice the physical fitness small increases to various attributes of the entire body red flame cross chop beyond the fear of death other skills mental power attack available accessories 17 155 mm light cannons a class commander points 11 inch 5004 total assets, 120 billion early in the morning of the next day, Su Tian took Yang Shani and went to the vitality unit in a gust of wind, the night before, Su Tian had contacted Zhang Yanqing and Qin Yan and explained that he would be getting up early today to go on a mission, and the two women had happily agreed. By the time Su Tian and Yang Shani arrived, Zhang Yanqing and Luo Yan had already arrived, and Qin Yan was in the farthest outskirts of the leveling area, which was a constant situation on the one hand, and on the other hand, there was some distance from the maintenance team, so he was slightly late, accompanied by the roar of the engine, the ice blue racing car stopped in front of the crowd with a tail swing. In the twinkling of an eye, the ice phoenix race car immediately transformed into Qin Yan, I'm sorry for the delay, but I suddenly ran into some problems over there, it's not my fault, don't know why, there are always magic beasts in the distant outskirts of the level area, and she, the captain of the ice team, is always incapable of getting out of the way, it was only when she was able to come out today that she swapped shifts with someone else so that she could find the time to come out, after all, it was Su Tian's first time out on a mission, everyone was going, and she didn't want to be left behind. However, now that the crowd is here, 
but how to get to Sunset Mountain has become a problem, Dong Shani is a two-seater racing car, it simply cannot take so many people, Zhang Yanqing was a deep-sea nuclear submarine and couldn't be used on land, although Luo Zhen is a fighter, she doesn't have a commander, so she can't fly far, now, we can only hope for Chen Yen, although Chen Yen is also a race car, but it is a five-seater race car, which is just enough to pull them all up, Su Tian smiled. And joked, hearing Su Tian's words, Chen Yan's face turned red and quickly transformed into an ice phoenix racing car, the front and back doors of the car opened at the same time, after everyone sat down and stabilized, Su Tian didn't dawdle, and with a kick of the accelerator, he directly made the ice phoenix roar and charge out. Ever since Chen Yan had been replaced by the curvature engine, the speed had simply increased by leaps and bounds, the ice blue body instantly erupted with a blinding light, and in the next second, the ice phoenix, which had already reached super high speed itself, directly tore through the air, leaving a trail of residual shadows behind, Zhang Yanqing and Yang Shani had long been used to the curvature engine. Su Tian had installed curvature engines for all of them, and this kind of speed was child's play, but Luo Zhan hadn't changed anything, and this was even her first time experiencing the feeling of a curvature engine. A strong pushing sensation hit her back, her whole body was pressed against the seat, she couldn't move at all, whoa whoa, it's going to fly. Feeling that the wheels of the ice phoenix were a bit off the ground, Luo Zhan couldn't help but cry out in shock, Su Tian slowly released the accelerator and gradually stepped on the brakes, the speed of the ice phoenix immediately slowed down. Su Tian, why are all your racing cars so fast Ice Phoenix's engine, did you replace it for her, this engine sounds so good, what kind of equipment must this be, I just felt Ice Phoenix flying, this speed is really scary. After feeling the speed of the car slow down, Luo Dai's heart, which had been beating straight up, gradually slowed down as well, only slightly trembling voice, still revealed her excited mood at this time S-Class curvature engine. I've replaced all my racing cars with S-Class curvature engines, that's why the speed will be so fast, however, I feel that the upper limit of this engine is definitely higher than S-Class, so it's possible that I can directly raise its class through empowerment, upon hearing Su Tian's words, Luo Dai's heart, which had been beating violently, immediately cooled down. Her eyes couldn't help but dart between the faces of Yang Shani and Zhang Yanqing, it was known that the three women in front. Of her were all Su Tian's wives. In other words, at the very least, Su Tian had replaced the S-Class warp engines with three mechs, this was too scary, wasn't it? A person who had just awakened the commander less than a month ago could directly take out three S-Class equipment, even the Luo family was afraid that they wouldn't be able to do it so painfully. Luo Dai's heart continued to tremble, and her eyes couldn't help but look at Su Tian in the driver's seat, she had always known that Su Tian was very powerful, but she never thought that Su Tian would be so powerful, for a moment, she was actually a little jealous of the three women in front of her, of course, she was the highest ranking mecha, but why wasn't she equipped with a warp engine, what, envious, if you want one, just hire Su Tian's husband and he'll definitely install one for you. Of course, you have to be his contracted machine girl. Zhang Yanqing, who was sitting in the back row, looked at Luo Zhen's expression and said flirtatiously, Luo Zhen, who was pierced by her thoughts, immediately reddened her face, at the same time, this unrealistic idea also woke her up, behind her was the Luo family, her future path had already been paved by the Luo family, whichever commander she might choose in the future, she couldn't decide for herself. What was the point of being jealous? For a while, Luo Dai couldn't help but show a pained expression on her face, Su Tian in the driver's seat saw Luo Zian's expression through the rearview mirror, of course, he knew what Luo Dai was thinking at this time, but he didn't want to force it, what is forced is not willing, and at that time, a small setback might make her question whether what she has is the best or not. Only willing, only willing to go through fire, only willing to face bumps in the road again and again, more determined to make their own choices, after that, the accelerator under her foot was pressed down again and the speed of the ice phoenix was increased to its highest level, soon, with the ice phoenix at full speed, it didn't take long for the crowd to reach the area near Sunset Mountain, Su Tian parked the car on a large open area, and the three women also got out, Su Tian parked the car. 
In a large open space, and the three women got out of the car as well, with a clicking sound, the shockwave mech, the ice phoenix mech, and the undead reaper mech instantly appeared on the open space, aren't you going to change your body, Su Tian looked at Luo Dai who was standing still and asked, I don't have a commander, I'm afraid I don't have enough energy, that's okay, I think our mission will be over before you run out of energy. Su Tian curled his lip for a moment, after all, today is just an exploration, can avoid the battle if possible, even if it is unavoidable, Luo Dai only need to protect their own, his three mechs, always able to handle the issue, Luo Zhen's words fell, accompanied by the sound of his voice, Luo Dai's words fell, accompanied by blasts of metal clashes, only to see a giant incomparable mecha rising from the ground, Su Tian the moment he saw the heavenly dome battle sound mecha, the whole person's. Jaw was about to fall to the ground, the prototype of the SS class Zhang Nianqing Mecha was already a full 10 meters high, and the heavenly dome battle sound in front of him was feared to be 20 meters high, Su Tian was afraid that he would not be able to see the Mecha in front of him. It only had one extra plus, but it was a full 10 meters taller. Although it looks oppressive, it is very tall and beautiful, well-proportioned body proportions, so she looks short waist and long legs, pink body is full of girlish sense. However, the ion cannon on her back made her look less like someone to be messed with, all in all, the feminine qualities were not lacking in the dominance of a hot weapon, so. Let's go to the mountain, Su Tian retracted her gaze and looked at the not-too-distant sunset mountain with an uplifted face, to be honest, after seeing Luo Zhan's prototype mecha, Su Tian's heart to contract it became even stronger, at this moment, he could fully feel the power of the heavenly dome battle voice, the kind of intimidation that even Zhang Yanqing didn't have, however, now was not the time. Of the three contracted mechs, Su Tian finally chose the shockwave mech, on the one hand. He had been piloting this mech for the longest time and was most familiar with it, and on the other hand, the shockwave's current comprehensive combat power was the highest among all the mechs. Our mission today is to fully explore Sunset Mountain, so we shouldn't use force if we can, even if we encounter a magical beast, we should try our best to use melee attacks so that we don't have to use hot weapons that would cause us to disturb the powerful magical beasts, Luo Yen, you are in charge of detection, if you run into danger, first take care of yourself, just run, Nian Nian, Qing Qing, don't be impulsive. If we encounter a magical beast, gather with the others first, don't get. Involved in the battle Su Tian's words fell, and his spiritual energy was directly split into three strands, powering the three mechs at the same time, in an instant, even Zhang Yanqing, who consumed the most energy, felt a steady stream of energy rushing towards her, with Su Tian's command, the mass of mechs immediately took off and headed towards Sunset Mountain, when they were just at the foot of the mountain. Su Tian and the others could still see some green grass, but the further they flew into the mountain, the more they felt that Sunset Mountain was full of dead air, and it was a completely barren and deserted mountain, I heard them say that Sunset Mountain wasn't like this in the past, because a hundred years ago, Sunset Mountain was also a place with clear water and extremely beautiful mountains. But later, a poisonous beast suddenly appeared here, and it has been destroying the landscape here day and night, and over the years, the green mountains and water are gone, and Sunset Mountain has become a barren mountain, this magical beast was once one of the tasks on the list of the Hundred Battles mercenary group, but even though this magical beast had been killed, there was no way to deal with the poison it left behind. So after so many years, Sunset Mountain was still barren of grass, on. The way Luo Dai told Su Tian about the news she had inquired about, and Su Tian looked at the barren land under her feet and also had a look of pity on her face, let's explore closer places today, don't go too far, before nightfall, we must retreat to a safe area, and for the rest, we will explore again tomorrow, if there is a problem that can't be solved, first try to run as much as possible if you can. If you really can't run, you must try your best to drag it until we gather. Staying alive is the ultimate answer to our mission this time. Listening to Su Tian's instructions, the four mechs nodded at the same time, just as Su Tian was about to fly away in his shock wave, Luo Dai's voice suddenly rang out, Su Tian. Is there anything else, if there's any danger that can't be solved, please make a temporary contract with me. The expression on Luo Zhen's face was incomparably serious as he stared into Su Tian's eyes through the mecha hatch, Good. 
But we shouldn't be so stubborn, a class D mission is just a class D mission, even if it's a group of war general level magic beasts, I won't take it lying down. Su Tian laughed, and the atmosphere immediately became much brighter, Su Tian's words fell, for mechs took off at the same time, and a huge roar sounded, the empty, deserted mountains instantly echoed, and the thrilling sound gave people goosebumps. Underground, the crimson magma bubbled away, and the dry, hot air gave people a sensation of dehydration, a burning smell filled the air, and the hot ground made it impossible for people to gain a foothold, clearly, this was no place for a human being, as we reported, we found a man and four women who had entered Sunset Mountain, all of a sudden, a small steel butterfly swooped in from outside the lava cave, spit out human words, and slowly said in the dark direction of the cave, look closely, there was indeed a slender beauty looming in that shadowy direction, the firelight of the lava was shining on her long golden hair as if she were a heavenly god, and her beautiful face, which was not demonic in nature, was glowing with the natural aura of an emperor, no one could resist her beauty, her curvaceous figure was hidden in the darkness, but the part that was vaguely revealed was enough to guess that she must be a stunning figure both front and back someone is coming. I'm afraid your trail has been discovered, Find a few who don't have a high level of spiritual intelligence and release them to attract their sight, be sure, be sure, don't let them notice my existence, do you understand? The woman's voice resounded in the cave like a silver bell, it was clear and cold, as if it was going to freeze this molten magma, the beautiful peach blossom eyes flashed with a hint of stern danger. Lest the next second would be a killing spree, master, I'm afraid they're not that easy to dispatch, this human is an SSS rank commander, and the three women beside him are all below S rank, what, upon hearing steel little butterflies reply, the pretty woman exclaimed in shock, how could they send an SSS rank commander to this barren mountain? Could it be that they have already discovered my trail, damn it. Damn it. If this king hadn't fallen for their tricks the last time, he wouldn't have been injured like this, if Su Tian were here and heard the words of the pretty woman, he would have been shocked, because that pretty woman was the same SSS ranked quest he saw on the list yesterday, the demon king ranked demon beast, master, do you want steel, little butterfly s voice immediately cooled down, and his tiny body burst out with an amazing killing intent, how many stars is this SSS level commander, it feels like two stars, not too powerful, the wraith queen lowered her head and thought for a long time before slowly shaking her head, no need to kill him, after all, it is only a two-star SSSC commanding officer, this king does not put it in his eyes, this kind of SSSC commanding officer who is not strong can be rare, it is better to kill him than to make a specimen of him and study him well. The Wraith Queen's face shows a teasing smile as she stands up and steps out of the shadows, Master, you can't do this, you're injured, you can't underestimate this human, if word gets out that you're here to recover from your injuries, then it's all over. Iron small butterfly anxious wings fluttering non-stop, the tone of voice cannot help but with a certain amount of impatience, but the Wraith Queen pretended that she didn't hear the little butterfly's words and straightened her waist, she didn't take Su Tian seriously at all, to be able to awaken an SSS rank commander means that his genes must be extraordinary, if we don't use his low star level to get rid of him, I'm afraid that he will be another powerful opponent in the future, this king's. Mind is made up, this time it is necessary to completely fuse the strongest human genes, perhaps this king really has the opportunity to be promoted to tyrant, the wraith queen's laughter echoed in the lava cave for a long time. However, Su Tian on the other side was completely unaware of the danger that had crept up on him, unconsciously, half a day passed in the blink of an eye, the group of people who had split up finally reunited before sunset, Nian Nian, Qin Qin, Luo Zhen, have you found anything on your side? Only Qin Yan and Luo Zhen shook their heads at the same time, this mountain is just a barren mountain, not to mention the magical beasts. I haven't seen a single tree, flower, or even a piece of moss. Chen Yen said, showing a lost expression, obviously, not finding anything has made her very frustrated, me too, there's nothing at all on this mountain, Luo Yan also shook his head, what about you, Nian Nian, have you found anything, Zhang Yanqing nodded, thinking about what she had just seen, she couldn't help but have a perplexed look on her face, this mountain is definitely not a barren mountain, I just discovered a metal magic beast, only, this magic beast was just lying there, 
motionless as if it was sleeping, and its body color was exactly the same as this barren mountain, so if I didn't look closely, I wouldn't be able to tell anything at all. If it weren't for the fact that my sonar system's ability to detect and locate targets is relatively strong, I'm afraid I wouldn't have been able to detect it either, however, this magic beast is only at the warrior soldier level, so it's not a very powerful magic beast, and it seems to have fallen into a deep sleep, not even waking up when I went over to check it out, when the crowd heard Zhang Yinqing's words. They were not only terrified, so they had spent most of the day investigating. Today, all for nothing, a magical beast that had become one with Sunset Mountain, and they hadn't even discovered it, I remembered, Luo Zhen suddenly exclaimed as the crowd looked at her with questioning faces, I've heard our family's elders say that there are many magical beasts that are good at hiding themselves, and once they merge with the surrounding environment, even their body temperature and vital signs are hidden along with them. What these kinds of magical beasts are best at is ambushing, and once you fall into their trap, it's almost impossible to run away, there are just too many kinds of magic beasts, like this kind of metallic magic beasts, some of them are extremely good at sensing, and they can probably even sense two mountains away, there were also beasts that were similar to signal shielding beasts, and beasts that were good at assassination. Upon hearing this, Su Tian and Zhang Yanqing glanced at each other. And their minds couldn't help but recall the assassination they had experienced in the downtown area that day, Hunter Killer. Right. It seems to be called that, you know, Luo Zhen nodded with a surprised face, Su Tian had encountered a hunter assassination when he was in the downtown area before, luckily, I rushed to the scene at that time, so it didn't lead to a big disaster, before Zhang Yanqing could say anything, Qin Yan and Yang Shani asked at the same time, husband. When did this happen and why don't I know, Su Tian shook his head, it's okay, it's all in the past, it's good that we were lucky enough to save a life back then. However, it seems that this exploration of ours will definitely not be completed today. The sun is about to set and the sky is getting darker and darker, with today's experience, let's make another trip tomorrow and try to find these magical beasts that can hide with direction and purpose, today, we will go back first, at least we have to retreat to the safe zone first, otherwise, in the middle of the night, it is very likely that we will be surrounded by those magical beasts. Su Tian looked at the sun that was about to set in the west and said seriously, at that moment, Su Tian's face flinched and his eyes instantly widened, really, there is the aura of a magical beast, for a moment everyone's minds instantly focused, especially Luo Dai, she had been detecting for a whole day, her energy was almost at the edge of exhaustion, and at this moment, her senses were already very, very weak, it shouldn't be a magical beast that's too strong, its strength is only at the war general level. But we're not sure if it's the only war general level magical beast in this area, if we accidentally walk into its lair, it's over. Zhang Yanqing's detection ability is the strongest, and the moment Su Tian finished speaking, she also discovered the sleeping magical beast that had blended into the environment, hurry and retreat, Luo Zhen, if you don't have enough energy, you can sit in Yanqing's cockpit, let's retreat to the safe zone first, at the moment of crisis, Su Tian's decision was very decisive, just as everyone was getting ready to leave, a strange phenomenon occurred, a small butterfly with colorful wings looked, very beautiful under the setting sun, even though the wings were made of metal, when it flew up, it didn't feel heavy at all, on the contrary, it was light and airy, so people couldn't help but be mesmerized by what they saw, the metal butterfly fluttered its wings and stopped in front of Su Tian, who couldn't help but reach out and gently catch it. But just as Su Tian was looking at the small butterfly in the afterglow, a huge object rose from the ground, with a huge roar, a metal magical beast that was taller than Luo Dai's mecha form slowly stood up, looking at it, it was feared to be 30 to 40 meters tall. It's broken. Hurry, everyone transform into mecha form. Luo Zhen, go inside Nian Nian's mecha and save yourself first. Damn it, why did it awaken all of a sudden? Su Tian's heart sank as he quickly commanded, Roar the metal magic beast stood up and hissed and growled at the sky, as if it was very unhappy with the group of humans who had disturbed its sleep, the surface of the demonic beast's body was covered with a thick layer of steel armor, and at this time, after no longer concealing itself, the color gradually changed back to the original silver-white. 
With a snarl, the two eyes of the steel beast immediately focused on the several mechs in front of it, and its icy gaze made people's hearts sink, but that wasn't the only thing that made things worse, after that metal demonic beast roared, the crowd immediately heard the entire mountain rumble as if a mudslide had erupted, and the loud rattling sound echoed through the barren mountains, quickly retreat, quickly retreat, this mountain is full of magical beasts. Su Tian's spiritual energy instantly connected with the three mechs, and through his spiritual energy, he shouted explosively at the crowd, the current situation had clearly gone beyond his imagination, a war general level demonic beast and a group of war general level demonic beasts were not in the same weight class, besides, who could guarantee that there were no commander class demonic beasts inside. The 36th plan, walking is the best. However, just as the three mechs were about to take off, the ground near their sides instantly burst open, and a huge metal claw rose from the ground, beneath the sturdy and sharp giant claw, the land of Sunset Mountain was simply like a piece of white paper, a large hole ripped open with a gentle tear, another huge magical beast that stood 40 to 50 meters tall, the moment it appeared before the crowd, it was simply like a small mountain, covering the sky and the sun, and the powerful, Feeling of being suppressed made it impossible for people to even feel like fighting, Su Tian's brain buzzed, it wasn't that he hadn't seen battle general level magical beasts before, but this was truly the first time he had seen such a large and powerful one, the previous war general level artillery was just a younger brother in front of it, how to fight, defense and strength are all full marks, I'm afraid the quantum chaser cannon is just like scratching an itch, right? Attack Sensing the strong fighting intent of the three women, Su Tian roared, and the energy core operated at a super high speed, providing 100% power to the three women, for a while, a dense killing aura filled the entire battlefield, a shockwave mecha instantly appeared in front of the steel geoduck, annihilating the blade with the light of the sun, slicing straight into the body of the steel geoduck. Straightforward killing moves without the slightest hint of hesitation, looking at the ink black. Blade slicing at him, the steel dragon's eyes rolled over, not taking this blade seriously at all, relying entirely on its hard body to resist Su Tian's blade, the mouth roared towards shockwave roar, this roar even turned into shockwave, there is a kind of destructive momentum, Su Tian hooked his lips a smile, the killing gas eyes flourished more. Shockwave does not stop at all, a knife is cut off, the curvature engine is started again, a flash from the sky, destruction of the knife light in the sundown illumination is increasingly blinding, without waiting for the steel dragon to react, annihilation will chop again, this time the target is its head, like cutting tofu, annihilation cut straight from the center of the steel dragon's head ruthlessly, through inertia, this knife directly from head to tail, this steel earth dragon didn't even have time to scream in pain before it was sliced in half and fell to the ground with a loud crash, even if its defense was no longer strong, it was still only a warlord class magic beast, how could it compete with the S class annihilation? Just because a war admiral class demon beast fell to the ground didn't mean that this battle was over, one by one inch the steel ground dragon surrounded Chen Momo's side, and as far as the eye could see, there must be a hundred or eighty of them, each of them was like the one just now, 40 to 50 meters tall, battle general level magical beasts, Luo Dai, who had never seen a battle before, was stunned for a moment, she had never seen so many magical beasts, and all of them were at the general level of battle, so her voice couldn't help but tremble, is this a beast flood, Su Tian's spiritual energy was connected to the three mechs and naturally heard the words of Luo Zian sitting in the reaper, this is not quite a beast flood, but there are only a hundred or eighty of them, but it will take a little more effort to kill them, and it is possible that behind this group of war general level beasts, there are also commander level beasts in the city, so everyone be careful. Su Tian's voice rang in everyone's ears, after facing the supersized riot in the far suburban leveling area, the crowd's attitude had relaxed when they were faced with only a hundred or eighty magical beasts, at least with Su Tian's energy supply, the girls would definitely not be in too much danger as long as their energy was constant, come on, girls, push through Sunset Mountain. Su Tian's explosive voice fell, and the three women's bending engines started at the same time, one of them locked onto a steel earth dragon, Zhang Yanqing pulled out the black and yellow lance and slashed at the steel dragon's head, while Chen Yen took out her phantom sound gun and stunned a large number of magical beasts, 
Yang Shani, on the other hand, flew high above the heads of the magical beasts, and the quantum pursuit cannon behind him slowly rose, shining at the large swathes of magical beasts and firing. Too violent. Too exciting. Luo Dai, who was sitting in the undead reaper, looked at the wraith heads erupting in front of him, his face excited and agitated, it was truly too powerful. Was this the strength of SSS rank commander Su Tian, that day at the party, the strength Su Tian displayed was nothing but a child's play. No wonder, no wonder that so many powerful machine nymphs were willing to make a deal with Su Tian, intense killing aura, terrifying killing, these three human mechs in front of them, which they didn't even have in front of their eyes, actually caused this group of magical beasts to stop trembling at this moment, no, the killing wasn't over yet, these were general level magical beasts were simply like a harvest of leeks. Before they could react, they were reduced to a field of rubble, although they were toys, killing too many of them would make this king's heart ache, just like Luo Dai was shocked, just like the crowd was addicted to killing. A cold and emotionless voice suddenly sounded in the crowd's ears, Su Tian felt goosebumps all the way to the top of his head, and a wave of chill spread out from behind him, the other people even softened their arms, even the warp engine could not be used, Su Tian steered the shock wave and looked back fiercely, only to see, in the void, a beautiful girl was sitting on a fire-lit chair, looking at the shock wave with a smiling face, no. She was looking at Su Tian through the shock wave's mecha hatch, the girl looked at the shocked Su Tian with a smile on her face after her mischief had succeeded, at that moment, the demon beast queen, who had lost her aloof, godlike aura in the lava cave, smiled like a little girl who loved to play pranks, appearing mischievous and adorable, in the afterglow of the setting sun, the girl smiled brightly, revealing her clean and white teeth, her thin lips with a lava-like color, looking like red, petals wet with dew. However, in Su Tian's eyes, this extremely beautiful picture has completely changed its taste, and all Su Tian could feel was that the girl in front of him was extremely dangerous, even before, when he bravely ventured into the backlands of the magical beasts, Su Tian had never been as scared as he was now, the foot that stepped on the accelerator trembled a bit uncontrollably, escape. Escape quickly. Don't look back, run. Su Tian hissed at Chen Yen and Zhang Yenqing with his spiritual energy, the moment the command was given, Su Tian's energy supply was instantly increased to full capacity, forcibly maneuvering the three mechs to violently rush towards the outside of Sunset Mountain, this woman was not human at all. As he looked at the inexplicably silent wraiths beneath his feet, the woman's words echoed in his ears once again, she is a magical beast. A humanoid magic beast, the SSS level quest I saw on the list yesterday appeared before my eyes, demon monarch level magic beasts. Can turn into humans and hide in the human world. Battle strength unknown. Rank unknown. Extremely dangerous. It's okay, it's okay. If the guess is correct, the girl with the harmless smile in front of her is the object that always hangs at the top of the character list, the demon monarch class demon beast, Su Tian's brain instantly went blank, and his body, according to his subconscious, moved on its own, however, it was completely useless, the three mechs scurried out several hundred meters in the blink of an eye under the effect of the curvature engines. But who could tell them, why did the girl they had left far behind? Somehow appear in front of them, even the chair made of flames hadn't changed at all, the radar detector looked like it had gone out of control, with no alarms at all, Su Tian's heart was desolate, Su Tian's heart was desolate. This time, I'm afraid it's really over. Feeling the completely blocked signal, Su Tian's heart was also desolate, there's no hope of escaping, and he can't even send a distress signal, isn't it obvious that he's waiting to die? Su Tian, make a deal with me. Luo Zhen, who was sitting among the undead reapers, gathered her courage and said, she is the strongest mech Su Tian can use, in this kind of life and death situation, she can't care about anything else, if Su Tian can fight this demon monarch level demonic beast in front of him with her help, she won't regret it even if she dies, it was useless. She's a demon monarch level demonic beast, even if she contracts with you, I'm afraid she can't help her, Su Tian's words made Luo Zhen suck in a breath of cold air, how could this be, wasn't this a D-class quest, 
why would they encounter a demon monarch level demon beast, Luo Zhen's soliloquy made everyone's hearts sink and sink, the demon beast queen in front of them, on the other hand, had a casual look of not caring about anything and didn't do anything, just sat on her chair with her. Legs crossed and looked at them with a giggling face, Nian Nian, Qing Cheng, listen to me. I've come to give you a chance to escape, you turn the curvature engine to the maximum, don't look back, no matter what happens to me, don't stop, and make sure you get out of here. Faced with the demon monarch level demonic beasts, the people present already had no idea what to do, Su Tian could fully empathize with them, so he firmly gave them orders, husband. Su Tian. Zhang Nianqing and Chen Yan opened their mouths at the same time, but were stopped by Su Tian, don't say anything else, listen to me, if you don't want my words to be your last words, then listen to me. For a moment, Zhang Nianqing and Chen Yan were instantly silenced, haven't you discussed how to escape yet, the Wraith Queen slightly raised her eyebrows, looked at the three mechs in front of her, and spoke softly, the metallic voice was even colder than the electronic voice in Su Tian's head, like a machine without feelings, it was simply terrifying. Su Tian's mind was shaken, a demon monarch level demonic beast already had the ability to change human form, and it could even spit out human words, wouldn't that mean that demon monarch level demonic beasts and dominator level demonic beasts would be even more intelligent, could it be that their intelligence was even higher than that of humans? Thinking back to the time when that beast flood erupted in the far outskirts of the leveling area, Su Tian felt that this was definitely not an assumption, and he feared that there really were human-like life forms that dominated the battlefield, after all, the magical beasts themselves were also a kind of intelligent life form, you're really an interesting commander, can you tell me how you managed to manipulate three mechs at the same time, Ha truly deserves to be the man this king has his eye on, this king has seen countless SSS class commanders, and I'm afraid you're the most perfect one, everyone else is too far from you, even. Though she didn't get an answer from Su Tian, the demon beast queen didn't get angry at all, she just talked to herself, and at the end of the day, an uncontrollable laughter rang out in the deathly silence. The wraith queen saw through the mind, and Su Tian came to her senses and asked back, how did you know, your facial expressions and gestures just now, I can clearly see and analyze them, and I also heard your conversation, that woman sitting in the mech bay, do you intend to contract her? The Wraith Queen didn't beat around the bush, explaining to Su Tian in a straightforward manner, to be honest, not to mention Su Tian. Even if they were all together, they wouldn't be able to touch a single hair on her head, so she didn't take them seriously at all and said everything she should or should not have said, your mechs are really advanced, especially their engines and weapons, they are terrifying, did you empower them? The Wraith Queen's question made Su Tian feel even more cold. He felt like a newborn child in front of her, with absolutely no secrets. The most terrifying thing was that the Wraith Queen was only guessing from their expressions and conversations, that IQ, how heavenly must it be, perfect human, are you willing to come with me, your genes are the treasure I have been searching for, even though the Beast Queen was asking Su Tian, it didn't have the feel of a request, it had the feel of an order. Su Tian's head buzzed is it possible that high-level magical beasts have already started studying human genes, this is too scary. Right? Yes, the genes of a perfect commander are necessary for this king to advance. Don't worry, this king won't harm you, at least not until the gene fusion is successful, listening to the words of the demonic beast queen, Su Tian stabilized his mind and replied, I'll go with you, but you have to promise me to let my machine nymphs go, this time, it was the Wraith Queen who was confused, leave, why should I leave? They're just a bunch of broken brass with no research value, what's the point of keeping them, it's not as useful as feeding them to my puppies, although the demon beast queen looked no different from a human girl, she was still a beast, although her IQ was high, she didn't understand human emotions at all, she really didn't understand why such a worthless thing should be left behind, things of no value should be torn apart. Do you think I'll go with you then, kill my machinima and ask me to work for you, I thought you were a smart one inch but I didn't realize you were an incredibly stupid animal, the wraith queen cocked her head, let her go and you'll come with me, yes. Then go, I'll give you two minutes to leave the range of sunset mountain, hurry before this king changes his mind, or else all of you will just stay here. The demonic beast queen's voice grew colder and colder, 
but at least she was considered to have agreed to Su Tian's request, at this very moment, Su Tian's mind finally resounded with that familiar electronic sound, it detected a total of two machinima systems in the area that could be forcibly landed, namely the SS Plus ranked Heavenly Vault Battle Voice and the SSS ranked Wraith Queen, holy shit. This really works. Taking advantage of the time he was dragging with the Wraith Queen, Su Tian detected the nearby devices that could be forcibly logged in, and to his great surprise, he actually detected the Wraith Queen. They might actually be able to get their lives back as long as they could forcibly log into the Wraith Queen system, although it's dangerous, it's the only way, Su Tian swallowed hard, calmed down, and told everyone, Yang Shani, Chen Yen, Zhang Yinqing, take Luo Dai and get out of here as fast as you can. Don't look back, don't hesitate, and don't think about fighting for your life with her. After you escape, don't rush to ask for help, if nothing happens, I'll try to contact you tomorrow morning when the sun rises, remember, through spiritual power, Su Tian's words were heard intact by everyone, Su Tian, are you sure you can do this, Yang Shani's voice was incomparably calm, yes. I am sure. After you leave, do not reveal her existence to the outside world and wait for my news, Su Tian was even calmer than Yang Shani, as if he was not the one who was about to face the Beast Queen, Yang Shani's voice fell and the mecha hatch opened, Su Tian grabbed the hatch and jumped straight down, go. Su Tian roared explosively, the three women's curvature engines instantly exploded and disappeared in place at a speed undetectable to the naked eye. Looking at the three mechs disappearing into place, the Wraith Queen's face did not change, instead, she looked at Su Tian who jumped out of the mechs with a promising smile on her face, really young, you should have awakened the SSS rank commander not long ago, right? I'm sure you have many, many talents that have yet to be tapped. It doesn't matter, leave it to me, I'll make sure that you become the best commander in the whole world, Su Tian's heart which had been flying high after realizing that he was able to forcibly log into the Queen of Wraiths, finally landed on the ground, at this moment, he had a relaxed face and was not the least bit afraid of the Wraith Queen's questioning, indeed, I have just awakened the commander for a month, however, can you tell me what you want my genes for, is it difficult to cultivate? The next generation, the Wraith Queen froze and asked with her head tilted, are you bothering me? Su Tian froze, he didn't mean it. It won't work, don't look at the fact that I look the same as you humans, but I am ultimately a magical beast, with reproductive isolation, it's simply impossible to have a baby beast. The Beast Queen explained in a serious manner, completely ignoring Su Tian's increasingly embarrassed face, by the way, time's up. Su Tian came back to his senses, how long has it been, I'm sorry, this is the king's territory, this is the king's word, the words of the Beast Queen completely enraged Su Tian, who never thought that the beast in front of him would be so unreasonable, Su Tian's voice rang out, causing the Wraith Queen who was about to strike to freeze, forced Logan, what the hell, in the next second, the Wraith Queen's body shook violently, and the electronic voice in Su Tian's head sounded at the same time. Neurological system begins forced invasion, neurological system invasion successful, obtaining the Wraith Queen's mind control. Interaction system invasion successful, gaining the Wraith Queen's interaction rights, the strange changes emanating from the body instantly made the Wraith Queen's face freeze, only to see the demonic Beast Queen immediately close her eyes, her eyebrows furrowed as if she was fighting something inside her body, no matter how much she resisted, there was no effect at all, at this moment. The demonic Beast Queen truly realized Su Tian's terror, what the hell did you do to me, the demon beast? Queen's eyes snapped open, and her cool and indifferent expression finally began to crumble, the panic that flashed through for a split second allowed Su Tian to catch her, don't you want my genes, if you have the ability, come and get it, don't renege on your word and change your mind in the middle, aren't you brutal, let's see you do it again, today, let's see whether you come to study my genes or I come to study your kinetic energy core, Su Tian's eyes flashed with a hint of malice, just... Now, the Beast Queen changed her mind halfway and was about to make a move on the three young Shani women, but he saw it clearly. If he didn't have the means to forcibly enroll them today, he feared that the young Shani girls would be in real danger, worthy of a beast with no morals to speak of, no integrity at all, nevertheless, Su Tian directly logged in in the background to check the details of the Wraith Queen in front of him, 
Mechanical Archetype of the Wraith Queen, Steel Nine-Tailed Fox Comprehensive Rating, SSS Grade Genesis Nine-Tailed Fox Applicable Energy, Nuclear, Solar, Fuel Energy Body Initial Quality, SSS. Contractual Relationship, Uncontracted Temporary Contract History, Zero Body Condition, Battle Scarred Current Status, Severely Wounded and Weakened Less Than 30% of Strength Talent, Charm, Interferes with the Enemy's Spiritual World Tier, Whether it's a Melee or Ranged Attack, It Carries a Signal Interrupt, Shields, Disrupts or Even Fakes All of the Demon Lord Signals, Can Shock Enemies Below Its Level, Causing Them to Lose Power While Increasing Its Own Power, Demon Monarch Commander, can command all demon beasts below demon monarch level, demon monarch level demon beast exclusive talent, simulation, powerful simulation ability, can simulate a human female mecha system creation, possesses terrifying creation abilities forms, nine-tailed archetype, human form, mecha form, iron nine-tailed fox demon beast looking at the extra long attribute table in front of her, Su Tian couldn't help but suck in a mouthful of cool air, holy shit. This is too much. A demon monarch level demon beast was actually that strong, I'm afraid that even a top tier SSS class mecha couldn't even come close to her, right? The strong power she had just unleashed, Su Tian wondered, she had no power to resist at all, even this kind of strength was less than 30% of her strength. Then how strong she must have been at her peak, but then again, if she was so strong, how could she be so badly injured, battle scars, the mech is almost shattered, right? Su Tian's head was confused for a while, and he couldn't understand anything about the demon beast queen in front of him, however, at that very moment, the wraith queen immediately stared intently into Su Tian's eyes, are you spying on my secrets? When the demon beast queen felt Su Tian's no-nonsense curiosity, she could not help but feel a surge of shame, she had lived for more than 1 inch 800 years, and this was the first time she had encountered someone like Su Tian, do you know what fairness is, sorry, I forgot, you're a beast, not a human, Su Tian spread his hands with a dead pig face, making the demon beast queen even more furious, worthy to be the man this king has his eye on, I didn't expect that this king's best efforts to simulate your human's machinima system would end up becoming a means for you to bind, this king, to be honest, this king has become more interested in you, the Wraith Queen wiped away her smile and instantly appeared in front of Su Tian, reaching out to grab him, fortunately, Su Tian's speed had been improved, and the moment the Wraith Queen dodged, he also dodged a step to the side right after her, are you crazy, your kinetic energy core is in my hand, as long as I pinch your kinetic energy core, all of your 1800 years of hard work will go down the drain, I advise you to think carefully, Su Tian's back was cold, but his voice was as calm as an old dog, if he shows any cowardice at this time, the Wraith Queen will kill him without mercy, as expected, after Su Tian let out an explosive scream, the demonic beast queen actually stopped moving. She stood still and stared into Su Tian's eyes, as if she wanted to see through his eyes and read his true thoughts, if it were someone else who said this, she definitely wouldn't take it seriously, it was just that the person who said this was Su Tian, the perfect SSS rank commander that she had personally nodded her head in recognition, this had to make her appreciate the gold in Su Tian's words. Now that the system she had simulated had been forced to log in by Su Tian, she really didn't. Dare to gamble, if Su Tian really laid down his deadly hands, then she was really finished, for a while, the Wraith Queen really stayed where she was, not daring to take a step forward, on the other hand, when Su Tian saw that the Beast Queen did not move, he knew that he had bluffed her, the tablet in his mind immediately flipped a page, the four forms of the Wraith Queen were neatly arranged one by one in front of Su Tian's eyes. The first thing that caught her eye was a very small reddish red fox, Su Tian nodded suspiciously, guessing that this was the main prototype of the Demon Beast Queen, only that it was too small and its height was less than one meter, however, this fox's appearance is strange, two eyes are big and round, and do not have that kind of metallic feeling of ordinary steel magical beasts, each hair is without wind, looks especially soft and good to touch, Su Tian immediately felt very sweet, could not resist to look down, 
the second is the human form of the Wraith Queen, Su Tian just glanced at it and quickly moved his eyes away, the human form of the Wraith Queen in the picture was no different from the girl in front of her, except that the picture showed her only simulating her human form, so she didn't wear a single piece of clothing. As for the glimpse that Su Tian managed to catch, even though he couldn't see it too clearly, the human form of the demonic beast queen was in no way inferior to his three wives, even though the shape of this body had been created by herself, she had almost fused all the points of a human girl and avoided all the mistakes, a combination of all perfection in one, no wonder Su Tian was impressed after just one glance. The Wraith Queen's mecha form also continued her aesthetics, tall and tall with a concave and convex golden proportion, her body was crimson with some white accents only on the hand and foot parts, only the nine tails that represented her identity were hidden, the last one was the demonic beast form of the demonic beast queen. A 40 to 50 meter tall giant steel magical beast that retained most of the appearance of a nine-tailed fox, the four legs retained sharp steel claws, and the nine tails on its buttocks were also made of metal, the fox's face, which looked like it was wearing a steel helmet, was mysterious, it looked like there was hardly any human element in it, you've had enough, you're stomping on my nose, you're bullying me to talk nice to me. Su Tian's unbridled snooping had obviously been caught by the demon beast queen collectively, for a moment, she was both shy and annoyed, the tips of her ears could not help but redden, and the thin mist on her cheeks slowly spread, Hearing the Wraith Queen's petulant anger, Su Tian reached out and rubbed and squeezed her hologram, in the blink of an eye, the Wraith Queen's footsteps that were ready to sprint became instantly softer, and her face turned red as if it was about to drip blood. Don't go too far. The look of shame and anger on the demonic beast queen's face simply put Su Tian in a doubly good mood. This feeling of having a top-tier powerhouse pinched in his hand was simply not too good, watch your tone. Saying that, Su Tian's hand immediately changed direction and grabbed another hand, this time, the Wraith Queen was unsteady and sat directly on the ground, if eyes could kill, I'm afraid Su Tian would have died thousands of times in front of the Wraith Queen's eyes, Su Tian, how dare you insult this king like that. You deserve to die. To be honest, the Demon Beast Queen really wanted to kill Su Tian, no matter how much she resisted, at this moment, Su Tian was practically like a master in her simulated system, when Su Tian raised his hand and threw his feet, the power she had just accumulated was dissipated once again. Seeing that Su Tian was about to kiss her conscious body, the Wraith Queen hurriedly screamed, Stop! I was wrong, let's talk things over, everything is negotiable. At this moment, a demon monarch class demon beast was actually forced by Su Tian to have red eyes and a dumbfounded face, I don't know what to do, when you captured me and killed my wife, why didn't you tell me to talk to you, now you know that you're afraid, Su Tian snorted and rolled his eyes, if apologizing is useful, what do we need the police for, however, Su Tian's heart was half hanging in the air at this moment. Even though he was able to forcibly log into the Wraith Queen, the Truth was that he could do absolutely nothing with her other than make some irrelevant moves, in other words, if the Beast Queen forcibly broke through his forced login, he would immediately lose all initiative. Su Tian, let's talk about this, I'll try my best to satisfy you if you have any requests, the Beast Queen was already in a state of confusion at this point, and other than the search for a way to reconcile with Su Tian, she had absolutely no idea what else to do, Leave your broken brass and iron far away from here, everyone retreat. Su Tian looked at the large group of steel beasts, cold voice said, he didn't have a single mecha at this time, if the wraith queen found out about his little trick, even if she didn't do anything, this group of steel wraiths would be able to eat him alive, that is definitely not a good thing, dream on, what am I supposed to do when they're gone, the way I see it, you really want to die. The Wraith Queen didn't even think about it and directly refused, even though these were general level wraiths weren't of a high rank, if Su Tian really managed to destroy his own system, they would be able to protect themselves in time even if Su Tian didn't harm himself, these were general level wraiths would be able to act as a deterrent, so he wouldn't dare to make a move easily. Once they were allowed to retreat, their safety would be completely gone, the negotiations broke down, and the suppressed anger of the demonic beast queen suddenly erupted, if soft didn't work, then let's try hard. 
Anyway, she was already battle-scarred, and she didn't care if she got hurt a little more, besides, even though the other party was an SSS-class commander, he had only been awakened for a month after all, so whether or not he had the strength to hurt himself was another story. At this thought, the demon beast queen's demon monarch body aura instantly erupted, an icy voice rang in Su Tian's ears. And the air was filled with a murderous aura, in an instant, Su Tian felt an unspeakably powerful feeling of oppression sweeping towards him, and this aura made his mind go blank for a moment, feeling that his body was unable to move, Su Tian's face changed drastically, it's over. This time, it seemed like he had really overplayed his hand. Detection of Demon Monarch Level Demonic Beast Aura Outbreak, Please Command Timely Aura Suppression. The cold mechanical sound in his head made Su Tian's mind shake, yes. I had almost forgotten the life-saving skill I had drawn that day. Aura Suppression. Spiritual Power Attack. Spiritual Power Attack Unleash. Su Tian's voice fell, and at the same time, the spiritual power attack was unleashed, for a moment, all Su Tian could feel was that half of his spiritual energy was instantly drained away, and the feeling of emptiness that came violently made his eyes turn black, the prerequisite for a spiritual energy attack was to drain half of the commander's spiritual energy in order to launch the attack. An aura suppression could be generated, ignoring the opponent's level, and the target of the Suppression would be unable to use any energy for three hours, the moment the spiritual energy was drained, Su Tian felt the oppressive power around him disappear, this sudden change made the ferocious Wraith Queen even more dumbfounded. What? You were actually able to crack my demon lord's power, damn it, what other crushing means do you have? The demon monarch queen's original intention was to use the demon monarch's power to scare Su Tian, and then use the opportunity to drive Su Tian out of her simulation system, and then it wouldn't be up to her. However, she never expected that the demon monarch's power, which had been used a hundred times, would be directly broken by Su Tian within a few breaths, and the posture of the two of them was truly not considered elegant. At this moment, the posture of the two of them was incomparably strange, as the Wraith Queen rushed forward to subdue Su Tian, her cold hand grabbed Su Tian's neck and squeezed him to death, feeling the Wraith Queen's soft and boneless hand, Su Tian could not enjoy it half as much. The fear of dying surrounded Su Tian's heart, where was he in that charming state of mind, the moment the mental attack was launched, Su Tian's eyes turned black, while the Wraith Queen was directly suppressed by the aura, at that moment, all she could feel was that all the power in her body could not be used, and the hand that was crushing Su Tian to death weakened, and she collapsed directly toward Su Tian. What is the situation? A trace of shock flashed through the demonic beast queen's eyes, when she was a demon monarch level demon beast, where did her strength go? Taking advantage of this, Su Tian also slowed down, and just as he opened his eyes, he saw the delicate face of the demon beast queen right in front of him, and the soft and boneless body in his arms revived his spirit, for a moment, the aftereffects of unleashing his spiritual attack disappeared. Su Tian gritted his teeth, and a stern light flashed in his eyes, either way, the situation was already like this, is it possible that we still have to retreat? A real man would never do anything to retreat, besides, even if he were to retreat now, would he still be alive after the three hours of aura suppression, it would be better to do it now and just let go, when you fight, you can turn a bicycle into a motorcycle. What if this wraith queen changes her mind in the middle and doesn't want to kill herself, today, I will teach you, this demon beast queen, what is called heaven and earth, the commander is the greatest. Under the stunned gaze of the Wraith Queen, Su Tian directly made a U-turn and pushed the person to the ground, three hours later good tactics. Good talent. I really can't bear to kill you the Queen's voice at this time is incomparably calm, like a pool of stagnant water with no waves, there were sparse sounds coming from the side, and the Queen put her clothes back on with an icy face, her gaze faintly passed over Su Tian's face, as if nothing had just happened, don't be like this, according to us humans, you are now my machine, and I am your commander, so calm down and be calm. Don't murder your own husband, Su Tian swallowed and eagerly replied. To be honest, the more calm the Wraith Queen appeared, the more Su Tian felt weak, compared to the current cold and piercing Queen, he still preferred her imposing appearance right now, 
killing your own husband, get it straight, you are the one who is insulting this king. Hearing the demonic beast queen scream in anger, it was obvious that Su Tian had poured salt on her wounds once again. If you want me to say it, you should make a contract with me, contract? Hearing Su Tian's direct words, the demonic beast queen was clearly stunned, a human trying to contract with a steel demonic beast, don't be ridiculous. Right. Contract. Our human contract is marriage, so I'm not going to insult or joke with you right now, but I'm seriously confessing to you after deep thought, contract with me and be my contracted machinima, is that okay? At this point, the three hours of aura suppression had ended, and Su Tian was betting that the Wraith Queen wouldn't be willing to kill him just like that, and that there was something else in him that the Wraith Queen wanted, are you worthy? Seeing the Wraith Queen laughing contemptuously. In front of him, Su Tian replied without hesitation, Su Tian replied without hesitation. Of course I am worthy, you said, besides the fact that my age is no match for you, what else is it that makes me unworthy of you, besides, age itself is not a problem. As for talent, you're an SSS class magic beast, and I'm an SSS class commander, it's true that I'm not as strong as you, but I've only been awakened as an SSS class commander for a month, and I'm already a 2 star commander, but in less than 10 years, I'll definitely become a 9 star commander, the Wraith Queen looked into Su Tian's eyes and asked with incomparable seriousness. Your human lifespan is simply too short compared to us magical beasts, full count, you can only live for a hundred years, so why did you sign a contract with me, a short contract is like chicken ribs to me, being able to communicate means that there is still room to turn things around. Su Tian's eyes lit up and he continued have you ever seen an SSSS ranked commander? Have you seen what a 9th star SSS rank commander is like after a breakthrough? I now have 4 times the mental power of an ordinary human. And my speed and physique and so on are many times that of an ordinary human, so who can guarantee? That I won't one day break the limits of human life. The Wraith Queen froze, followed by a frown, it's useless, this king is a magical beast, and you are a human. The moment these words were uttered, Su Tian's entire person instantly resembled a cat whose fur had exploded, you damn well know that I'm a human and you're a magical beast, so what did we just do, what did you say you wanted my genes for when we first met, are you teasing me, looking at Su Tian, who was so angry that she jumped to her feet, the Wraith Queen's heart couldn't help but pound, thinking back to what had just happened, she couldn't help but nod her head, seems like theirs. Nothing wrong with what you said, oh, originally, there was nothing wrong, after taking your innocence, I will be responsible for you, Su Tian nodded and said in a serious manner, I will be responsible for you, Su Tian nodded and said in a serious manner. Without waiting for Su Tian to be happy, the Wraith Queen's next sentence followed, however. I also said, the current you are not worthy to be my commanding officer, although the talent is still okay, but the strength I am not convinced, if it is not this king now only 30% of the strength left, a finger can squash you, Su Tian was frozen, what does this mean, he said that he wants a contract, but he also said that he is not worthy to be his commander, in the end, it is a contract or not, I will make a temporary contract with you, but the duration of this temporary contract is permanent, when you reach a level that I can recognize, I will turn it into a formal contract with you, Su Tian scratched his head, that's okay. What do you mean, it's okay? The Wraith Queen instantly exploded, if it weren't for the broken system of your human machine, where you have to set the contract bit to work, this king wouldn't even want to get the contract bit. None of you human commanders are even qualified to contract this king. Including you. If I give you a temporary contract, you can just enjoy yourself, but you'll still look like you've been wronged, Su Tian stood up violently, no, a contract. It was only at this point that Su Tian finally breathed a sigh of relief, Su Tian, White Feather is about to make a temporary contract, the sympathetic system docking is successful. Nervous system docking successful. Kinetic system matching successful. Interaction system matching successful. 
Soon, the temporary contract was successfully completed, and Su Tian felt an indescribable connection between herself and White Feather, the Queen of the Beasts, it was similar to the contracted machine girl, but not exactly the same, the next moment, Su Tian instantly entered White Feather's consciousness space. Just because it was a consciousness space and not a cockpit, Su Tian was not standing in front of a console similar to the pilotess, but rather an empty space, and all that Su Tian could see was the world that White Feather herself saw, nice guy. To contract a magical beast, is this really what it feels like? Upon leaving White Feather's consciousness space, Su Tian froze, the White Feather in front of him had a slightly white face and a slightly despondent expression, completely lacking the joy of contracting. What is it? Uncomfortable. Su Tian snapped, remembering White Feather's current battle scarred state, and asked for a moment with some heartache. Su Tian, I may not be able to accompany you, I know that you've spied on my current condition, and I won't hide the fact that I'm seriously injured, because for some reason, I'm not only being pursued by you humans, but even some of the powerful magic beasts are hostile to me. I'm afraid I'll need a long time to recover from my injuries, so I can't follow you. Upon hearing Bai Yu's words, Su Tian asked hurriedly, Where are you going? How long will it take to recover? Going to a place you humans don't know, time, I'm afraid it will take at least 10 years. Su Tian was shocked. 10 years? That long? Right. In those 10 years, not only do I have to heal my wounds, but I also have to influence the sovereign level, which I'm afraid I won't be able to do in my lifetime in your human world and it is best to reach a level that will make me recognized in this decade time, as a gift of confession, at that time I will officially contract with you, or else White Feather's words did not end. But his hand compared to a hand knife from the neck of the virtual cut, Su Tian immediately felt a cold neck and nodded his head strongly. I won't be able to do it, but I will be able to do it, Hearing Su Tian's confident voice, White Feather's stock of intimidation instantly faded, and he muttered to himself with some annoyance, I really am crazy to have such high expectations of a human, what the hell, I don't know if I owe you anything in my previous life, this is for you, White Feather raised his hand and threw it in the air towards Su Tian, a very, very small golden fox landed on Su Tian's arm and instantly turned into a golden fox tattoo, what was that? Not to mention that this little fox is kind of cute, except for the fact that this tattoo only has a tail, it's almost exactly the same as White Feather's prototype, this is what that king researched himself, the demon lord's true seal, what exactly is the use of it, you research it yourself, this gift, which was like a gift to witness the two of them saying goodbye, directly made Su Tian break his defenses. Even though he had not known Bai Yu for a long time, how was it possible for Su Tian to say goodbye without any attachment when they had done the most intimate thing in the human world in the past three hours? Bai Yu, will we meet again in these ten years? Bai Yu's face stiffened and he said softly with a voice that was barely audible, I do not know either, can you tell me where exactly you wraiths are from? This question that had been festering in Su Tian's heart for a long time finally, Forced him to ask, on the one hand, Su Tian really wanted to know where these magical beasts actually came from, but on the other hand, Su Tian didn't know if he would become a public enemy if the fact that he had made a deal with a magical beast got out, of course, even if the whole world was against him contracting with White Feather, he would never regret it. Su Tian, this issue is not something you can know right now, all you need to know is that I have no interest in the war between magical beasts and humans, there is one thing you are right about, the SSS class 9 stars is definitely not the end of the human race, and likewise, the dominant class is definitely not the end of the magical beasts, Su Tian, I will leave now, as White Feather's words fell, he instantly transformed into a residual shadow and appeared in front of Su Tian without warning, his slender fingers gently caressed Su Tian's lips, immediately, a soft kiss fell on Su Tian's lips, I've been waiting for you for ten years, the girl's voice still echoed in her ears, but the faint fragrance had faded when Su Tian opened his eyes again, the white feather had already disappeared, no one knows where it will go and for how long, the distant sky suddenly resounded with the hissing sound of a fox, immediately, all the steel geoducts surrounding Su Tian scattered, for a moment, it seemed like Su Tian was the only one left alive in the huge sunset mountain. Who would have dared to think that I would actually retrieve a life from the hands of the demon monarch queen, 
who would have dared to think that I would actually make a deal with the demon sovereign queen, Su Tian shook his head, unable to contain his emotions, to be honest, in just a few hours, Su Tian felt as if he had spent several years, and his mood was even more alarming, who would have thought that after a deranked quest, he would encounter the SSS ranked demon monarch demon beast. Which was at the top of the quest rankings, for no good reason, this luck of his was truly a bit heavenly, although Su Tian was indeed relieved, at least her life was guaranteed, however, the heart that had been tantalized by her couldn't help but make his heart pound a little, a ten-year engagement, then let's see you at a higher level, Su Tian slowly breathed out, slowly bringing him back to his senses, at this time, the sky was already very dark, with the bright moon hanging in the air. But it was shining brightly on Sunset Mountain. It was thanks to the fact that Sunset Mountain didn't produce a single blade of grass or tree, otherwise it wouldn't be so bright, at this moment, a familiar electronic sound sounded in Su Tian's mind, ding. Congratulations on successfully contracting the SSS class Genesis Nine-Tailed Fox. Ding. Congratulations on receiving a reward of 30,000 points. Ding. Congratulations on activating the prestige board. Ding. Congratulations on receiving a golden physique card reward. Thing. Congratulations on receiving a curvature engine. Ding. Congratulations on receiving an electromagnetic railgun. Upon hearing this generous reward, Su Tian's entire body instantly froze, no, I only have a temporary contract with White Feather is a temporary contract considered a contract, she is not on a temporary contract with you oh. Although there are two types of contracts in her body, they are both permanent contracts, and the one she has with you is a slightly inferior equal contract, White Feather gave him a permanent contract. Then why did she say that the one she gave herself was a temporary contract, could it be that she herself had no idea that her two contracts were permanent contracts, or did she say that on purpose so that she would work harder in those ten years, the sudden reward again caused Su Tian's mind to be confused, and he was completely unable to guess White Feather's intentions, however, I'm afraid that the only way to answer this question is to wait for the next meeting, that being said, back at. Su Tian, he suddenly remembered the temporary mission he had accepted that day when he was at the Hundred Battles Mercenary Guild, killing Demon Monarch Rank SSS Demonic Beasts. Killing a Demon Monarch Ranked Demon Beast might be even more difficult than decapitating a Demon Monarch Ranked Demon Beast, right? Wasn't this still not the end of the mission, as if it knew what Su Tian was thinking, that cold electronic voice sounded again. Dear Commander, the Demon Monarch level demonic beasts are only contracted as equals to you and do not have a submissive heart towards you. So you are not officially contracted to the Demon Monarch level demonic beasts and therefore are not considered to have completed the mission. Didn't that mean that this mission would have to be completed 10 years later? Su Tian smiled bitterly, however, if he couldn't complete this quest, others would be even more unable to do so, and besides, the reward could only be his own in the end, so there was no rush, after Su Tian explained his doubts, the electronic tone sounded again, ding. Congratulations on obtaining the Demon Beast Queen's exclusive Demon Monarch True Seal. Ding. Congratulations on activating your exclusive talent title, Queen Driver Ding. Congratulations on earning 50,000 reputation points. Queen Driver, what's the use of this talent title and reputation points, Queen Driver, when used, doubles your constitution, strength, speed and mental power. Attached skill, consumes 50% of mental energy, doubles the power of the move, and has a tearing effect, disadvantage, the Queen's harness can reduce the hostility of female magical beasts by 50%, but increase the hostility of male magical beasts by 50%, I'm really convinced. How can there be a downside to this talent title, when I go into battle, won't male magical beasts chase me to death, I didn't steal their women, so why should they mess with me? However, Su Tian quickly became indifferent to this shortcoming, after all, when he used the talent title, his physique, strength, speed, and spirituality all doubled, one must realize that Su Tian's various attributes had all been greatly improved, especially the mental strength, when the talent prestige was turned on, it was instantly eight times that of an ordinary person. What a cool concept! 
Thinking about it, Su Tian directly used the golden physique card he had just been rewarded with, in an instant, Su Tian's physique directly doubled, a gush of warmth came out of his body, and his body that had been consumed for a whole day instantly became light and airy, with no feeling of fatigue at all, moreover, Su Tian happened to notice that with the doubling of his body size, the recovery of his heavily consumed spiritual energy also seemed to be much faster, after receiving all the Rewards, Su Tian remembered Yang Shani and the others, he didn't know how they were doing now, at the foot of Sunset Mountain, the bonfire piled with wood burned enthusiastically, roasting the cold wind of the late night, the firelight crackled and seemed incomparably clear in the deathly silence, the four women sat anxiously in a circle around the fire. They had no idea what had happened to Su Tian, it had been a few hours and there had been no news, Zhang Yenqing's face looked like it was covered in a layer of cold ice and her tightly wrinkled forehead emphasized her inner panic, Chen Yen, although the words are like that, but the sentiment is not at all superior to Zhang Yenqing, only after years of working on the front lines of combat, she has developed this kind of fearlessness in the face of danger, Miss Yang, aren't you a little too relaxed, aren't you worried about Su Tian at all? Just now, we both had no intention of leaving, but it was you who didn't even think about it and turned your head away, are you or are you not Su Tian's contract machine mother Zhang Yenqing looked at Yang Shani's appearance and became angry, and his voice couldn't help but sound a little bit gloomy, Luo Zhen looked at Su Tian's three contracted machine nymphs fighting, and for a moment, she did not know what to say, however, in the face of an opponent who had no power to fight, Su Tian actually chose to let his subordinates run away without looking back, which impressed her as well, sacrificing his life for righteousness, this man of his was truly heartwarming, is it useful to worry about him, Yang Shani's voice sounded slowly, when the three women heard this, they all looked at Yang Shani, who happened to open his eyes, and were about to reply, but Yang Shani's next sentence stunned them into silence, he lives and I live, he dies and I die, since Su Tian let us go, it means he must have his own idea, so let's not get in his way, and if he really fails and dies, then the big deal is that I'll go with him. Seeing the determination in Yang Shani's eyes, Zhang Yanqing and Chen Yen froze, and Luo Yen, the only one who hadn't made a pact with Su Tian, was even more shocked in her heart, is this the love that goes both ways, Su Tian chose to face the demon monarch level demonic beasts alone in order to let his machine woman live, and for his sake, his machine woman didn't hesitate to follow him, regardless of life and death. At that moment, love truly took shape in Luo Zhan's heart, and Su Tian's face became clearer and clearer in her heart, at this moment, the three women's hearts instantly shook, sensing Su Tian's mental power control, the fear on the three women's faces instantly disappeared, and they fiercely stood up to look in the direction of Sunset Mountain, Teacher Yang, Nian Yan, Chen Yan, it's all right on my side, come over here, Su Tian's voice echoed in the three women's minds. In an instant, the three mechs instantly completed their transformation, and Zhang Yanqing immediately stuffed Luo Yan into the cockpit before disappearing into thin air, it didn't take long, Su Tian, who was waiting for the three women on Sunset Mountain, suddenly felt a warm and delicate body rush into his arms, Yang Shani did not cry when she faced the SSS class demon beast queen. Yang Shani did not cry when Su Tian let Yang Shani go, Yang Shani did not cry when Su Tian was nowhere to be found for a few hours, however, when she really hugged Su Tian at that moment, the feeling of being lost and found again made Yang Shani's tears fall like broken pearls, the ups and downs of her mood were like a roller coaster ride, immediately followed by the second petite body, the third petite body, Su Tian opened his arms wide and felt the emotions coming back from the three women, don't cry, is my husband okay? Su Tian gently reassured the three girls and patted their backs one by one. You know, this is an SSS class demon monarch class demon beast, ten of you won't be enough for her to eat. Zhang Nianqing roared loudly, but her choked voice made her roar sound full of grievances, and even though Qin Yan didn't say anything, her hands tightly clasping Su Tian wouldn't let go, after some coaxing, the heads of the three girls in Su Tian's arms slowly lifted. When they saw Luo Dai hugging his hands to the side, they couldn't help but blush, even though they were quite familiar with Luo Zhen today, they were still more or less outsiders. And to be looked at by her like this, it's 
really a bit uncomfortable, by the way, Su Tian, where's that demon monarch level demon beast, Chin Yen looked at the corpses on the ground, but he didn't see that demon beast queen, so he couldn't help but ask, she left, and by the way, she also sent those steel earth dragons away, how could she let you go, Zhang Yanqing, how could she let you go, Zhang Yanqing shuddered at the thought of that pretty girl, her SS class machine girl was nothing compared to that girl, we made a deal with her, she agreed and left, what kind of deal, I can't tell you, it's a secret, Su Tian had a mysterious look on his face and played dumb, after all, there was still a Luo Zhen who hadn't made a deal with him, who knew that if she went out and talked about it everywhere, if she made a deal with someone else at that time and told about it, it would be really bad, the three girls glanced over to Luo Zhen's side and knew Su Tian's scruples, so they didn't ask any more questions, still, so many magical beast corpses, how? Should we deal with them Su Tian was a bit helpless, the corpses of the steel geoducks scattered on the ground were really a bit too big, but the corpses of these magical beasts, these are real treasures in the machine lady era, all kinds of metals are essential, and those thousands of strange steel magical beasts became the first source of metal. Because when the beast is alive, steel armor under the soft flesh and blood body, but once the beast dies, no vital signs, is completely turned into a puddle of metal, and this is only for humans to solve the problem of the source of metal, for example, in the previous wars fought in the far suburbs of the leveling area, after the army retreats, the corpses of those killed metal magical beasts would be collected by the professional staff, after a series of dismantling and refining, they were divided into different levels of metal and used for different purposes, like the construction of skyscrapers in the city, most of the source of metal was the dead magic beast on the battleground, and the border of the coastal region, in the hundred years of war between humans and magic beast also accumulated all kinds of metal to build the steel walls to withstand the magic beast, even so, the demand for metals throughout the country was still quite high, especially rare metals, which were even more affordable, such a huge ground beast, that can all be money, so many giants, even if they're all chopped up, but also can't be brought back ah, uh, this how to finish it Su Tian is a little difficult, he really can't bear to give up so many resources, this can be left to me, we have several heavy trucks in the ice cold squad, it's more than enough to transport these things back, Chen Yan's words directly solve Su Tian's urgent problem, the metal beasts on the ground soon turned into pieces of metal with Su, Tian and Zhang Yanqing, the two excellent mech repairers, early the next morning, when the sky was about to turn white, Chen Yan called the farthest outskirts of the leveling area, an ice-cold squad received orders to send heavy trucks directly to Sunset Mountain.